jewelry makers how are we all oh it's wet outside isn't it drizzly oh it's more it's proper wet rain as my dad used to say it is proper wet rain look who's with me today it's the lovely nikki hello how are you doing beautiful i am so good so good this morning we've already had a laugh we have a so we've we've started off have with a giggle. giggle yeah gotta have a giggle it's a good 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 uh, <laughs> um foundation to the day absolutely I feel. get started like with the smiles on our faces we've we've covered a bit haven't we so already much. this morning <laughs> so not sure how much could go on air but quite a lot no no <laughs> uh, uh, it's not too bad. We've covered the fact that, you know, um, Adam flashing his pants. At every occasion, <laughs> apparently. Not actually. Not actually. <laughs> <laughs> not actually, only joking. Oh, my goodness. We've got a wonderful Tuesday plan for you. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I just seem to do this to you all the time lately, don't <laughs> Reputation ruined. <laughs> he's a very nice boy, is Adam. I think that's why I do it, because he's such a lovely person. <laughs> um, <laughs> we've got such a Tuesday, such an amazing Tuesday. Can I start by your deal of the day today? Because I'm absolutely smitten with these. I love... You know, we always talk... In fact, yesterday we were talking, Debs and I, we were saying about how jewellery is incredibly incredibly sentimental and often not just the gifting and the occasion of why uh, of when you gift your jewelry but the design the meanings behind the design because deb's had uh, morse code jewelry yesterday didn't she so we were saying it's quite a discreet yeah um definitely. uh message i suppose um i was researching your deal of the day which are gem encrusted these interlocking link bracelets and I love the oh, connection. It's, it's not just like a marriage or a, um, a relationship. It's a friendship. It's mother and daughter, father it's and everything. son. It it's is. everything, that connection yeah. between it's two beautiful. people. I love them. I mean, I, I know where I'm going during break time. Yeah. I'm going to be on my phone. Yeah, I I, well, yeah, me too. <laughs> and we've got them in, as you can see, three oh. different gemstones. We've got it in Tanzanite. We've got it in Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. And we've also got it in your beautiful ruby. Wow. I mean, how amazing. You can't quite see the interlocking links. Let me just link it, push it forward. Look at those. That's They're funny. so beautiful. So these are your 10 o'clock jewelry maker. They're finished pieces of jewelry, but obviously as jewelry designers that you are, you could absolutely go on and reconfigure this you can add to it if you wanted to there's nothing stopping you doing some little bubble style charms on there um you've got the extended chain as well so these are at 10 o'clock today can i also show you coming up at 11 o'clock now these are mickey moto inspired Ooh. and they're pretty much identical they are. yeah pretty <laughs> much but what isn't identical quite clearly is the price tag um i'm loving these so you know you said you were shopping with the deal of the day I'm 100% shopping with these. Oh, they're, um, they're, they're Clio. I mean, they are Clio in an earring. Yeah, uh, they're gorgeous, aren't My they? My daughter, yeah. And they're like £1,700 on Mickey Moto for something almost exactly the same. Okay. And it's her birthday next week. So Is it? She's, I mean, she's not watching now, so she's getting them. There you go. Yeah, that would be a lovely birthday present. So these are coming up in the 11 o'clock hour. Um, we mentioned it yesterday as well. We have this unbelievable oh. strand of a new deposit, Mozambique Amazonite. Can you believe that's Amazonite? The quality of the of the oh, stones. Wow. It's totally natural, incredibly. Um, they're 10 millimeter rounds, and that's the only opportunity that we have from that parcel. So we don't have, you know, sometimes we have like the eight, sometimes we have the six, sometimes we have the four. Um, oh, really? Okay, so Ooh. Ross is saying, I guess actually, Elle, if it, you know, if this sells out today, which that's inevitable, Ross. It is. Isn't it? That's inevitable. Um, they're going to endeavour to get more, but at the moment, this is all we have in the business um, and it's natural. We said earlier on, just quickly on this, because you know the Peruvian ice Amazonite that has, David German has bought the remaining quantity of it so it's gone we cannot get any more of that that has been confirmed it's gone um so there was pre that previous parcel we brought you in shorter strands from the Peruvian deposit from this new deposit which they are hailing as the best in the world um we have just one opportunity so that's coming up in today's show i've also got oh you can see it just there Chris is showing you peeking over the top of your deal of the day. Um, we've got a beautiful parcel of Nan Hong. Um, and if you've been watching recently, you'll have heard the recent news that the Nan Hong mine is now mined out too. Wow. Mined out. 
So, you know, it happened previously, centuries ago, mined out, they found a new deposit, that new deposit is now mined out. Um, and then Ross, in his wisdom, was like, I'm gonna bundle it. Um, <laughs> but let me explain why. Yeah, I will explain why, just to, just to uh, yeah, fight your corner. Um, Ross, I can't believe he's doing this to us, to be honest, but he's going off on holiday. I know. He's, go he's having some time off. I mean, I think, frankly, it's quite rude. Yeah, it is his birthday this weekend. It's no excuse. So it's not an excuse. No. Um, you know, I'm not angry, but I am disappointed. Yeah. Um, so Ross is off this weekend for his birthday. And actually, you're off quite a lot this month, aren't you? So anyway, um, the moral of the story is, I do sound like I'm just <laughs> moaning now. Um, the moral of the story is, um, he spoke to Wayne, he was like, look, this is going to be one of my last shows, not ever, but like for the foreseeable. Yeah. Um, so do I have free reign? And uh, uh, amazingly, he said yes. Amazingly, he said yes. And he said, Wayne, what's the best deal that I can possibly, possibly pick? And he said, you choose. Did he? That's good of him. Yeah, that's nice. Gave you free reign of the vault. And this was the deal that Ross came up with. So he could have chosen anything. He could have chosen pearls. He could have chosen jadeite. He could have chosen anything. But he went with Nan Hong on the latest news, mine closure. He went for that opportunity and bundled it. This might be one of the few opportunities that it's ever been bundled. It's coming up today at 11 o'clock on the nose. Um, and the savings that Ross has been bounced around, bouncing around is ridiculous. They're the long strands, not the short strands. Mm. So, um, yeah, ridiculous saving on that. So if you're a Nan Hong lover, then make sure you're watching at 11 o'clock today. We've got your early bird as well. Let me just flip this round to our Chris. You've got these very... I'll have to look, tilt it forward. Um, they might be tiny, but what they can create... And this is a bit of you, Nikki. Solderable accents. Oh, I love them. Honestly, I love them. Do you know what? This show today, it's, yeah. it is, is the it kind big? of show that I would just empty my bank balance yes, on. Yes, me too. It is. Yeah, it is. And th these are definitely a bit of you. So look, you've got your sort of flora and fauna inspired with your flowers, your butterflies and your bees. I love the bees. Oh, they're very sweet, aren't they? And them. then you've also got your celestial theme as well with your uh, stars, moon <sighs> and like a sunburst effect um so you get three of each they're in the, on the hour now so you can shop ahead on those jewelry makers Ooh. they're items number one and two um got a lovely first hour says roscoe this uh um but remember they are also on a curfew so you do need to make sure you check them out we've got magnetic class with the clips these every jewelry wearer not jewelry maker every jewelry wearer should have one of these um, because if you've got a necklace in your jewellery box that you've not been able to wear for ages because the clasp is too fiddly, then just fit one of these you know, automatically without, without you know, breaking a necklace or deconstructing a necklace. Just literally attach these. Definitely. This is what they use on Gemporia, by the way. This is how those presenters whip off their necklaces super fast um, because they have these attached. Um, and you get two of them as well. Loving those. So are these in this hour, Ross? Got a premiere showcase Ooh. at 11 o'clock. So launching that amazing <coughs> bundle of Nan Hong. So those are coming up in the 11 o'clock hour. As always, come and say hello to us. We'd love to hear from you. Say hello to our gorgeous Nikki. Yeah. You're oh, looking lovely you. today, a vision in pink. Oh, thank you so much. I'm feeling pink today. You're feeling pink? Yeah, You look lovely. So. Apart from the crazy hair. No, I like it. excuse that. I'm going a little bam bam. I like that. But you know, why I not? do that with Tiggy's hair, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I like it. It's really cute. I I'm wish my hair would just... Finding my inner child today. You look... Ah. Oh, yeah, but it's nice to isn't it, sometimes. Yeah. You know, just have a little play around. Cause Absolutely. I, find I get some days and I'm like, oh, I don't know what to wear. And then I think, right, I'm going to wear something a bit off the wall. Off the wall? Well, you look lovely. Thank you, you so much. Look so lovely. You. you look lovely. Um, should we talk about your amazing projects today as well? Because <gasps> yes. these are stunning, Nikki. I have gone wild with my projects today i have to tell you i really have i could have made and made and made and made i actually had to stop myself well the jewelry that i see in front of you right now i have to say is so you it is so so it you because you're very much inspired by the sea aren't I you i am yet yeah, sea and nature and i was so lucky to be given these this is without going too much into it this is a component that i've used for a number of years but it's very hard to get 
extremely difficult to get in this country and it's very mm. sought after. Are we talking about a particular strip? We are. Mm. We are. We are. There you go. Yeah. So that's at nine o'clock. That's at 12 12 o'clock. Yeah. Show us your nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Well, our gorgeous Katie asked me what I would like to work with and I said, of everything, jump rings. Yes, you do love, love your jump, jump rings. rings. Yeah. I do. And my, my, my goodness me, the jewellery's amazing. Uh, well, you know what? It just shows you what you can do with a humble component, but I'm going to qualify that and say that these are not humble components. These are not jump rings, as you know jump rings. Okay. These are extraordinary. These, to be honest, they're too <coughs> gorgeous to be called jump rings. They are jewellery components. Oh, they my are. goodness me. Uh, they are lovely elements. And the gemstones oh. as well as your bronchoronyx absolutely gorgeous it's and you know what to work with it it was beautiful it's so peaceful it's just it is a peaceful stone i, I agree beautiful. and of course totally natural yeah. so it is going to be a cracker as we said get your text messages in come and say hello to us we'd love to hear from yeah. you this very rainy oh. very very rainy tuesday morning it come is. and say hi we'll have a lovely morning together um should we say hello to our fabulous crew because they are fabulous lauren hello beautiful Ooh. is she there yeah, she's there. There she is. Um, keeping us all in check. On cameras, we've got a treat. What well, lovely Chris. Oh, Hi, Chris. Hi. You have to poke your head in because oh. otherwise we can't see you. There you go. Ooh, there he is. There's lovely Chris. That was a nice treat this was, morning. Yeah. Um, we've got handsome Adam. Hello, yeah. handsome Adam. How are you doing? You're good. Can't <laughs> see. <laughs> Too, we too still haven't got the, the camera telly. in the gallery, unfortunately. And we've got the man with the deals. We've got our lovely birthday boy, soon to be Roscoe. Yeah. Uh, how young are you, Ross? Oh, 34. He does not look it. 34. No, I know. Awesome. I know. 34. <laughs> it's a good age, that is 34. It is. It's a good age. It is, yeah. I think so. Yeah. I far preferred my 30s to my 20s. I mean, yeah, I think so too. I mean, there's certain portions of my twenties I don't even remember. I've got to be honest. <laughs> same. <laughs> same. I think you. I think you just kind of chill out a little bit in yeah. your thirties. You don't find you? yourself. I think you do find yourself a bit more. You sort of grow into yourself. Don't yeah, you? and you're less. Yeah. You're less bothered by yeah. uh, sort of other people's opinions and things like yeah, that. You is. know, you I, just I chill out a I little agree. bit. And then forties, yeah, just I'm horizontal. <laughs> <laughs> 40s. Oh, I don't. I'm not, I've just reached the next decade after that. You never have. I have, thanks for never. that. Never. Yeah, I saw I was 50 in September. Do you know what? It brings with it a certain kind of relief. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know what it is. You just sort of like, oh, you know, you just, you do find yourself telling people how old you are all the time. Yeah. 50 years of age. Good. Well, not so doing it, that it's anymore. something to be proud of, isn't it, I yeah, think? Yeah, I do. I've always said age is but a number. It is. It is but a number. It is. I mean, my mum is 87, oh, still bless her. works. Does still, she? Yeah, yeah. She's still terrorising, you know, love lo it. locality and that. Yeah, she's full of I memes. love that. I think I can relate yeah. to your mum. Oh, yeah. Amazing. She's a character. <laughs> right then, let's get cracking, jewellery makers. Have a little look on the website, all the W's at jewellerymaker.com um, and click watch live and you can shop ahead remember you can combine your order it's one postage and packaging all day but also remember that this hour times out at nine o'clock so um, don't just leave it loitering in your basket so you can always add to your order should we start with some beautiful sumptuous red onyx in your beautiful oh. cabochons comes packaged together like so Look at those. So um, we might have a certain element coming up with Nikki a little bit later on that will be mm. perfect for these. Absolutely perfect. And I've used these cabochons in my jewellery and they are gorgeous. I, I've done like a nature scene with a sunset oh. and I've used the uh, red onyx cabochon and they are stunning. Oh, and that's the sun. Yeah. How amazing. Well, on that basis, you know, you're looking for an amazing deal, aren't you? Yep. Pack of three, beautiful red onyx, genuine gemstones. How's about... <clears throat> Behave. It's a band. Band. <laughs> it's a band. Chris. Band. There you go. Very good. Very good. I like that. Very one. good. Or 33B. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, actually, yeah. Oh, gosh. 25B. 25B. Let's not forget the box. <laughs> 
throw the box in free. Yeah. <laughs> have it, have it, have the box for free. It's a pound. Oh, you know it, jewelry makers. That's how we Incredible. start our days here. Um, love it, absolutely yeah. love it. It's become a signature, isn't it, our Roscoe? One pound deals. The box alone. Oh, it's. It's got one of those boingy boingy filmy doobies. You know, buy it for the box and use your stone. Give the stones away. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the guys are just taking the mickey about me saying, oh, the boingy, boingy, doobie conversation. Yeah, yeah, that's it. It's just really satisfying, isn't it? Look, <laughs> <laughs> if Alan Sugar was watching right now, I'd be like, yeah, that's, that's amazing. That's amazing. That's <laughs> the best presentation ever, isn't it? The boingy, boingy, doobie film. Um, well done, everybody. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. Shall we do some Ratnakiri cinnamon zircon? Oh. Again, for the fact that you get the certificate alone, um, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, I can already feel like today is going to be a good show. Yes. It's going to be a nice, fun show. It is. Surrounded by lovely people. Um, so cinnamon, think, think almost champagne diamonds, but with actually a rarer gemstone in your zircon, not zirconia, we're no. talking zircon. You can, as Debs was saying yesterday, you can sand cast with these. Yes, you can. They're very, very tough. They tough are. gemstones. And sparkly, very so sparkly. sparkly. Very, very sparkly. Look at those. It's a burn. Oh, I can't do it now. The voice is going. <laughs> uh, Natalie in Hertfordshire says, I'll have 10 at that price. Thank you very much. Why not? It's amazing. I don't blame you. Beautiful, genuine gemstone. Not to be uh, confused, of course, with your synthetic uh, cubic zirconia. Pound. Hello. I know. <gasps> Hello, Miss Janet saying, hi, gorgeous girls and team jewellery maker. Settled in for a terrific, tempting Tuesday. Oh, absolutely. Enjoy the show, everybody. It's going to be all of those things, Miss Janet. It is. It's it going is. to be terrific. It's most definitely going to be tempting. And it is Tuesday. Absolutely Tuesday. It's definitely Tuesday. Um, well done, everybody. Congratulations. Let's do some what, sorry. Okay. This one. Ooh. Okay, that's an unusual name. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't know why. But it's referred to as Indian blood agate. Sometimes the descriptions of gemstones won't win awards for, <laughs> for the beauty of their name. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. It's still a beautiful <laughs> gemstone, isn't it? It's an agate. I would just focus on the agate. Yeah. It's also a pound. That's beautiful. <laughs> it's a pound. It's a pound. Pet, 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 pet. Yeah. <laughs> it's gone. Well done. Oh, wow. Well done. Well done. Um, okay. White quartz briolette pack. That's here. Oh, they're beautiful too. We can't do a pound, says Ross. But but he can do. Okay. Oh, look at those. Two pounds. Two pounds. <laughs> oh my goodness me. I know. Uh, look at that. Two pound for your beautiful briolette, genuine clear quartz. Um, but it's more than that. It's beautifully eye clean. It's exquisitely faceted. You get, what is it, five? Five solitaires there. So if you are a, um, a gem setter, you could use these in your mounts. If you work with the strip that uh, Nikki's bringing today, oh, that yeah. would be amazing. Yeah, well. um, a beautiful, genuine gemstone. Again, there's a big difference between quartz as a mineral and quartz as a gemstone. Quartz as a mineral is not particularly beautiful in jewelry. However, quartz as a gemstone is very diamond-like, like these. Two pounds only. Loads of you getting involved. Natalie says, I'll have five. Well done. Paula's having three. Rachel's having four. Lynn, Chris, Hillary, Linda, Kate, Joe, uh, Dawn, Kim, hello to you, Julie, West Midlands, Jan, Tracy, Yorkshire, congratulations, everybody. Make sure you're checking out your baskets and don't be shy. Come and say hi. We'd love, oh, I'm a poet and I didn't know. Love that. Don't be shy. Come <laughs> and say hi. Um, no. I didn't do that intentionally. <laughs> that should be my catchphrase. Do you reckon? Yeah. You know, like, like Davina McCall. What's, what's Davina's? Or what was it? Do you want another one? Please oh, do yeah. not swear. Yeah, I should say that one yeah. too, shouldn't I? Although that would be stealing her catchphrase, so um, amazing. Don't be shy. Come say hi. There you go, it's catchy. It's catchy. No, you're not liking that, Chris. <laughs> um, amazing. <laughs> uh, let's do 
a bundle of aquamarine. Oh. That sounds pretty oh, inviting, doesn't I have it? These. Do I you? Have these and I love them. I can imagine if you are inspired by the sea and you live by the sea, Nikki, don't you? Yeah, within I, a mile of the sea. I'm there you know? every day. How nice is that? Yeah. Um, if you are a fan of the sea and all its beauty and splendour, then yeah. I should imagine aquamarine is definitely one of your favourite gemstones too. You get a parcel of graduated sizes. They are Beautiful glorious. azure blues. I want those. Yeah. I can imagine your creations with something like this. They are amazing. I love the idea of teaming this alongside the red onyx, I think, just oh, to yeah. have that colour contrast. Yeah. Um, beautiful aquamarine. We always mention it. That I think aquamarine is the number six, uh, you know, of the big five. Definitely. It, it was it's it actually so within popular. the big five. It was actually the gemstone of engagement before De Beers yeah. swooped on in there, didn't they? Yeah. Swooped on in there with their marketing campaigns. Now, I mean, 20 carats, beautiful aquamarine. You've got, just to clarify, 10, sorry, 12, 10, nine eight said this wrong 14 12 10 9 8 there you go and uh, those are the measurements that you've actually got um and you get all of them as well you haven't got to choose from seven and a half carats in the 14 mil down to one and a half carats in your eight that we're color. at seven pounds for a genuine aquamarine sorry 10 where did seven come from sorry <laughs> ross i was i think i was reading 7.5 that's where that came from Okay, £10 a stone for a beautiful aquamarine. That's amazing. Easy. Any day of the week. The colour of those Absolutely. is incredible. Absolutely. You know, when I was in Tucson a couple of years back, you wouldn't find an aquamarine for a tenner. No chance. How about then? Bypass the £7. Let's go to £5 per stone. That's the 10 49 pounds Bypass the 7 £5 per stone. Oh. Wait a minute. You know when you have that moment? Oh, I've just remembered. Unbelievable. It's under £20. Use March 20 and get an extra 20% off. But we're not stopping here either, jewellery makers. We're going even lower. London says, thank you very much. I'll have that parcel times four. Hopefully you've yes. used your March 20 discount code. We are going even lower though. So you'll get a further uh, further money back into your pocket. I mean, imagine, I love aquamarine with pearls. I think that's just the most beautiful. Me too. You're going to gentle want to combination. For, yeah. for, for later on in the year as well, in summer, you're going to regret if you don't have these. Absolutely. And you definitely are. alongside your 12 o'clock today, where yes. you have a certain strip. Yes. Definitely. We should clarify what that strip is. We really? <laughs> um. Yeah, it's definitely. I mean, nothing to do with me and my clothing. I promise you, you're safe. It's you're talking bezel strip, bezel aren't you? Strip. Bezel yeah. strip, which this will be absolutely amazing for. Incredible. How many do we have, Roscoe? Fifty available opportunities. Grab them, grab them, grab them. You get all five of them as well, jewelry makers. Are you ready? Remember to use your March 20 discount code as well to get a further 20% off that price tag. Amazing. Because we're bringing you the five totally natural, not even heat treated aquamarines, 20 carats of in total for under £10, but then you get another 20% off that. So it's eight. Wow. Eight pounds. That's ridiculous. <laughs> eight pounds. That's like what, £1.80 per stone? Is that right? About that? If it's eight pounds because you've got your 20% off, divided by five, one pound 60. And they are so saturated those. They're, yeah, they're not like little pale white things. They're the wishy-washy ones. They're gorgeous. No, no wishy-washy aquamarines no. here. And it's totally natural. Candy, well done. Maker in London, well done. Deborah, Deb, um, new customers, Cheryl. And, 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 and FYI, if you get this parcel next month, at month of April, you yep. won't be getting the twenty percent off. No, you won't be getting this price tag. So definitely get them now. And I do that sometimes. You know, you you you'll be shopping. I don't know online, whatever. I'll get it next time. 
I'll get yeah. it next time. And then you go next time and it's more expensive. Yeah. Or the price gone. has gone or they've sold out or something yeah. like that. Yeah. And they will go. They will. Well, there's loads of people with it in the baskets and a lot of multi buyers. Hiya, Liz. Hello to you, Deborah in Bedfordshire. Nice to see you. Rachel in Yorkshire. Cheryl in Yorkshire as well. Hello. Hillary in London. Hello to you. New customer on the phone lines. Hampshire, Chris, Angela, Tracy in Powys. Um, good morning, everybody. It's lovely to be with you. Where is when is the spring weather starting? I'd like to know, just so you know. I'm just kind of thinking, when is that spring? Because remember, I was thinking about this when I was getting ready this morning. At the beginning of um, of lockdown, we had blistering hot weather in March, didn't we? Yeah, we did. It was boiling. I boiling remember, hot. Yeah. yeah. I think it's the aquamarine that's that's making me mention that again because it is a summery gemstone. Eight pounds or one pound sixty per stone of aquamarine, and it's totally natural, not even heat treated. Perfect with the bezel strips that's coming up, and I do yeah. also see a lovely gold colour, which is rare yeah. um, in in your bezel strip. So get them now, and you know that it'll be it, it's in your it's in your basket. It's been ordered already um, for your masterclass today. How many do we have? Do you say we have fifty? I've got 16 of them left in the vault. Keep on dialing through because you've got 35 minutes on um, on this hour. Amazing. Don't also forget your solderable accents because these will go beautifully alongside those. Definitely. Let's stick to our parcel of beautiful, genuine gemstones. Should we do a brand new low? That's just how we roll. Oh, amazing. Amazing, amazing. You've got ruby lights in here. If I put a white piece of paper behind it. Now, the last time that this was on air, we're going to show you. That was thirty-four ninety-nine then on our oh, screens, right? Oh, wow. You've got ruby lights in here. And you've got a heart cut. Look at the heart cut. I buy it for the heart cut. $19.99. These closed on air at this price tag. I think I remember, you know, Ross. You've got an indicolite blue. Look in the top. The little marquise. In yeah, the, top, the marquise. Yeah. You've got a ruby light heart. That oval most definitely is rubellite as well. There's almost watermelon one that I can see. Yeah. Oh my it's goodness, look at this definitely. round down there as well. How beautiful that is. Let's take it to a brand new low. And just so you know, you'll have a minute at this next price tag. Oh my goodness, the quality of these tourmalines are amazing. Adam, your recording is stunning up close and yeah, personal. Yeah, that's fabulous. Look at that. What? Oh, and tourmaline what? is so popular. Yeah. It really is. If you get tourmaline jewellery out and you make your jewellery to sell, tourmaline jewellery always sells because it's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what, Nikki? I I'm going to be really honest. Here at Jewellery Maker, it's not... No, I know. I don't know why, though. I don't know why. Don't. If you speak to any gemologist, yep. if you speak to any jeweller, yep. you know, this is one of their favourite gemstones. Absolutely. You and if you go on any sort of um, jewellery making website yeah. where people sell the gemstones, You've got the high-end jewellers selling tourmaline at high-end high prices. High prices. I follow one um, jeweller that she used to specialise predominantly in um, pre-owned jewellery, but now she's started her own collections. But anyway, I I'll never forget, there was a, um, uh, a pink tourmaline, it wasn't ruby light, but a pink yeah. tourmaline ring in um, rose gold, just had the tiniest yeah. diamonds either side, and I was completely in love with this mm -hmm. ring. Um, but it was like fourteen hundred pounds yeah. or something. That's the price of tourmaline. Easily, though. you know, it's not four ninety nine. No. No well done, near. everybody! Congratulations. Um, right, let's do some shepherd hooks. These are silver plated Yay. base metal. We always need them in our stash. And look, you've got a nice little, nice little stash here as well. Um, Loads there, isn't there? Also, Ross is saying he's made a big error on two I items. Oh dear. You're not going to mention what, but some of you have noticed and you've shopped ahead. If you go to jewelrymaker.com, click watch live, scroll down, you'll see all the items. Just go and have a little look and you'll find Ross's mistake. Oh dear. Well, he's saying go and get them. A mistake on two items. Uh. Oh. Okay. Uh yeah, I've seen a few that look like mistakes, Ross. Yeah, so have I. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. I can see one. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Looks like there's a few there, Ross, to be fair. Um anyway. Um 
an absolute must. You know, I, we were talking about this the other day, uh, yesterday actually, with Debs. We were saying that, you know, you need your silver, especially when you're talking about gemstones like Nan Hong, your Mozambique, Agates, your Jades, you yeah. know. Uh, um, there's certain gemstones that absolutely justify and command the precious metal. But on occasions, you're looking for something that little bit more affordable. It's still silver plated mm -hmm. as well. Look at where we're starting. You've got 50 pieces, so 25 pairs. Um, the piece of jewellery that, as jewellery wearers, that we change the most is a, is a pair of earrings, apparently. Yeah, I would think apparently. so. Apparently. Yeah. I'd agree. I think it's probably the item that I buy the most, earrings. Yeah. Most popular. Um, yeah, and you can mix them, can't you, and swap them around. So, you know, as I, I know Mark, I think, used to uh, quite often do, if you buy that suite of jewellery, you can get the earrings for free. Is it like oh, a, a, good idea. a reward that's for our customers? Because it takes minutes to make a pair of earrings. Yeah. We're basically at 20p per pair of silver wow. plated shepherd hooks. We're not even stopping there. And I, I remember the conversation that we had, we were talking about, it was in prep for uh, um, a deal of the day that I brought to you. And I was showing you chunky statement bracelets. And then I was looking at lots of the big designer brands like your Masomas, for example. And I was going, it said silver plated, but then I was like, yeah, but silver plated what? Because we would also automatically assume it's precious metal yeah. given no, the price not. tags. But it wasn't the case. No. It was base metal too. So they were selling silver plated base metal like these for three figures. Yeah. Three figures. Six pounds and 99 pence for 25 pairs. Um, that's working out at per pair 30p. Wow. But there's a purple clock. Wow. <laughs> There are 60 available. Stock up your stashes whilst yeah. you get the chance. I can't These remember the last time. They, they definitely yeah. are. Can't remember the last time I actually had silver plated shepherd hooks. Is it a bit quiet today, Roscoe? Oh. Oh, nobody, nobody's texting. Okay, Ross has got a question for you. What oh. is your favourite hot food to eat cold? Not pizza. I no. don't like cold pizza. No. My... my do you know that's so weird? Because Tom was talking about this the other day. He's like back in his twenties. Yeah. On his way, it's AB now. He used to buy two pizzas, one to eat on his way home and one for the morning. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> what? Um, favorite food to eat cold? Ooh. I'm gonna say something like, I don't know, like roast dinner meat in a sandwich, mm. something like that. You know, like if you've got, if you've cooked like a roast, like a beef or something like that, and then you put it in a sandwich. Yeah. What's Adam's? What's yours? A samosa, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah, are definitely. good cold. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what's yours, Nikki? Ooh. You see, the thing is, you know that everybody says their favourite food and it always sounds really classy and stuff. Mine is chips. I love chips. Do you like cold chips? Oh, I eat chips anyway, hot, cold anyway. I How just are you love so chips. Oh, I wish, I, do you know, I only have to look at a chip though. Love them. They are good. Yeah. Cold chips? Yeah. I'm not sure about cold chips. Yeah, I'd eat cold chips. You like cold Chinese food? No. No. No, That's no. That's just... Because it just kind of congeals. It, it's it, like congeals together. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Chris, what's your favourite? Well, I think it's weird, but okay. <laughs> I quite like lasagna cold. Oh that's yeah, no, that's all right. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not sure that. about cold lasagna. I'm on board with. Cold Is it lasagna. nice? Okay. Yeah. Right, we need to wake you up, says Roscoe. Yeah. Text in what's your favourite hot food that sh that you eat cold. Um, okay, we're going to go lower just because, yeah, all right, sometimes we've got to sort of ease everybody into the day. We're at 4 99 but we are not stopping there. We're going even lower. Even lower, just because sometimes, you know, the day's a little bit slower to get going. Um, hello, Kathy in Buckinghamshire saying roast pork shoulder, cold in a sarnie with nice. apple sauce. Yes. yes. Oh, oh yeah, I'm in. Amazing. Leftover Chinese cold is my fave, says Rachel. There you go, oh. Ross. Rachel's with you. Really, I find it kind of, it kind of congeals, doesn't it? I mean, don't get me wrong, I will reheat a Chinese. Yeah, me too. Absolutely. I'll do that, but I don't know if I can do it cold. And pasty as well, I quite like a cold pasty. Cold pasty, yeah. quiche. Yeah. But then most people eat quiche cold, don't they? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I, I'm trying to think now. I do th agree with the pork sandwich, though. Yeah, right. I do. think any kind of cooked meat. Cold cuts. Yeah. Yeah. I like cold meats. Yeah. It's a very Boxing Day thing as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. amazing cold meat yummy yeah. yummy 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 what about like a like a pie you could eat a pie cold couldn't yeah. you definitely yeah you could do that <laughs> i like this conversation I'm talking I'm about food now. i know we'll make everybody hungry three pounds and 99 pence only that's oh. amazing bit of gammon you're just talking food yeah, now just, aren't uh, you food yeah. Now, yeah yeah cold ham is great yeah yeah, yeah. That's really good too. Hello, Tracy. Good morning, lovely people. Cold homemade rice pudding, especially oh, for breakfast. Oh, I was going to say rice yes. pudding. Absolutely. Oh, I love rice yes. pudding. It's delicious. And um, and my dad used to go, ooh, I love the skin on rice pudding oh, me as too. well. It's delicious. Yeah, yeah it's delicious. Um, Susan Wiltshire saying veggie lasagna. I prefer it cold. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. And. Chloe, Ross's uh, fiance, hers is what? Is what? A Big Mac. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. That's wrong. It's rubbery. Very rubbery. Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. You, I think you're quite. I get like a, like a quarter pounder, just put it in the fridge for the next day. Really? Yeah. Really? Does it not go floppy and limp? No, no oh, more okay. like a frisbee, probably. <laughs> 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 amazing amazing <laughs> okay well done everybody keep these messages coming through fantastic cold veggie lasagna that sounds nice yeah that sounds nice that sounds like it could be a side dish as well yeah what's that we mentioned about the nanhong earlier on we actually have got the transparent Ooh. silk bundle for you that we're going to do in this hour and there's 10 available it's ten. like gold dust it is like well the mine's closed now yeah the mine closed it was announced we learned this only on the back of this is why this is why our team go to places like hong kong not just buying to find the news in the market so this is the one that ross is saying i made a mistake on so all four we've set you've set the price where far too low Especially when we consider, literally a couple of weeks back, the team landed from Hong Kong Gem Fair, arguably one of the biggest gem fairs in the world. Mm -hmm. And of course, there you're going to know about, learn about gemstones like Nan Hong. Um, Nan Hong is totally natural agate, and it is as high regard as many of your um, uber rare jades. Now, if you want, if if we if we look at the ten millimeter on its own, firstly, that strand on its own has been on air twice and yeah. completely sold out and it sold out at how much 99 pounds and 99 pence yeah, yeah that seems fair so ross has bundled with three other strands one of which is graduated ross then you've got eight so 12 9 6 to 13 yeah so so wait, the 12 mil would be more than the 10 mil. Oh yeah, of yeah, course, yeah. So I've, held, I've held this wrong. So this is the 10 mil, isn't it? So this one was at nine, on its own, was been on air twice, 99 pounds and 99 pence. Okay, amazing. So this one here would be, what do you reckon? 149, maybe 129. So already 249 just for those two strands for those two strands yeah. you've got the graduation which arguably could be more expensive as well just because it obviously it takes longer mm -hmm. to actually uh, to actually create um, and you've got the nine mil so today you're getting that entire bundle so the 10 mil just be mindful of this has been on air at 99.99 okay and it is part of this bundle nan hong agate these are new photographs that were taken actually in um, hong kong just recently and the news broke there's only one mine of nanhong in china itself it, and we've already seen it historically mine out centuries ago um this is a you know hundreds and hundreds of years ago again this was one of those gemstones highly revered within chinese culture i i guess yes a lot to do with its red color but it's also totally natural which is rare in your agate it was carved your master carvers would often um actually use this gemstone to 
create beautiful sculptures and designs uh, much like your jadeite but there is news and let's read that news because it's really important when we discuss a parcel like this this mater material is rare now because of the situation of the mine this has spooked the market because of the history of nan hong since september the price for this material is now 10 times the price the nan hong with the best red is uh is almost 100 percent sorry i can't that is almost 100% red, is as expensive as red jadeite in the market right now. Now, why is that? What is the situation of the mine? Bear with. Because the mine is closed. It closed in November, which is the last Nanhong mine in the East and the last one in the world. China has seen this before when it disappeared for centuries. And now they're going back through the mine and grinding up the remains of Nanhong. Even this is commanding huge premiums. Um, they set it like happy diamonds at Shopard. It's still around 1000 Hong Kong dollars per gram at this size. The mine is closed. So, yeah ordinarily we should be thinking okay mine's closed let's hold on to um our nan hong let's not maybe bundle it and let's not bring it to you at an early bird price tag sorry this is the transparent yeah. silk variety where you have those patches those beautiful areas of white within um areas of translucency also you can see it uh with like that light source can't you Oh. It's like ribbons running through it. Yeah, so beautiful. beautiful and natural, but mined out, literally mined out. That's the only mine that uh, produced Nan Hong, um, which is now closed. Now closed. So now a lot of bidders have added this to their baskets. We started with 14. I now have six. All that information, it's only two weeks old, by the way. We've only just found that out. So what we said about the 10 mil rounds, 99.99. Never been lower than that before. We are going to launch the graphics and you're going to spot Ross's mistake. A minute on screen. Okay, good luck. There's only six left. Get yourself right. You can still do it though. There's five left. I haven't even brought the graphics left uh, uh, um, up live yet. One minute to check out when you do see the graphics. The whole bundle. Wow. 12, 10, 9, and the graduated strand as well. I knew it, Ross. I knew it because you kept going on about the 99.99. So hang on. You have bought this strand and you have got three strands for free. It's closed. The mine is closed. It's astonishing. And it looks so much better in person. Oh, it does. It's just such a beautiful glorious. color, isn't it? It is stunning. Such a beautiful color. So it, mind out, literally mind out. They're literally grinding the material down to create almost like a, a Nan Hong dust, I suppose, um, for the like, likes of Shopard. You know, they're happy diamonds, which is basically not set. So yeah. they kind of tessellate beautifully in their design. Um, but this has got that wonderful, rich, natural cyan red. I only had 14. Maker in County Down, Anna, Tina, Sonia, Swansea, Marishka, you've done it. I've got Christina, Candy, Elizabeth, Hampshire, uh, Jennifer, Jan, new customer, Swansea. Um, it's also on split pay which is just mad um, 24.99 unbelievable um, just remember you've got that awesome Nan Hong uh, bundle Ross was given free reign later on because he's off for a few days um, that's coming your way in the 11 o'clock hour that if you are a Nan Hong lover then you can absolutely okay. add it to this um, yeah the material is rare now because the situation of the mine uh, this has spooked the market because the history uh, with Nan Hong since September the price for this material is now 10 times the price Nan Hong with the best red that is almost 100% red which by the way if that's what you prefer we've got that coming up later on as well is as expensive as red jadeite in the market so just remember that now on the bundle that we have just brought you um, which is the twisted silk variety equally very very valuable you've just got two of those left and we're super over allocated so well done every single one of you amazing love a bit nan hong um okay let's do the other mistake where what else have you done there ross come on what have you done yeah i could see it this one i bought this 
I've bought this. It's in. It's, I've, I phoned up yesterday actually and spoke to our lovely call centre team. I was like, "Oh, my order's ready." I've got this. I've got my trolleys. I've got a few things to. Eat. I've got those pearls to pick up the orchid pearls. Um, oh my good! I love this bracelet. Absolutely love it. So your high goo, and then you have beautiful jade. Uh, yeah, we launched this to air since with Susie, didn't we? Um, it hasn't been on air since. It was 10 days ago, in actual fact. It's such a gorgeous bracelet. The last remaining stock that we have, 12, there you go, um, out, of, out of 200 that I originally launched. So, yeah, it's absolutely flown. This is the kind of bracelet that I would, I'd want to put on and never take off. I would. I mean, I'd be wearing it today, Yeah. honestly. And the thing is, as a gift as well, I'm just looking at it, and I think that would be the most beautiful gift to give to somebody. It's yeah. so sentimental and it's so meaningful and it's so gorgeous and wearable. so pretty it as is. well at the same time it is. yeah because a high goo um or jade firstly is very protective isn't it yeah very very protective but then the high goo also it's that circle of heaven yeah uh, many um historically uh ancient chinese people believe that this was uh, um a way of communicating yep. to uh, the afterlife you could speak to the gods through the actual hole in the center um lots of other meanings like like i said eternity just 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 tons of meaning in such a simple piece and simple design yeah i bought it i absolutely love it and i, and I was saying as well you know just for the macrame i mean there's no yeah. way if i was to macrame it would no. look anything like that um you get also the additional type a jadeite for uh to either side of your high goo but then you get the two on the underside too there are how many left 12 out of the 200 we're going to bring the price to air and then you can have one minute. Do you know, it's bang on trend that as well. Yeah. It's so fashionable. And so Bought a couple of summer. these I did. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Because, well, have. let that be a hint. I bought a couple and I have to watch the pennies too. Do you want to see? How? Wow. Type A jadeite for 29 pounds and 99 pence. I mean, this is heirloom jewelry. It's it, it, totally totally heirloom jewelry and i like the fact you know it's one size fits all you haven't got to worry about no. you know is that going to fit or is that you know be too big or too small yeah. or him even you know i love oh, this definitely and it spans all age groups as well yeah you know it's it's it, you could equally give that to a teenager as you could give to your nan yeah you know, it's gorgeous well that's that's why um, i it's aqua variety so you've got amazing translucency um i got a couple of these because i was actually thinking oh my niece would love this because yeah. she's really big into her gemstones as well yeah um and and that, at that price it's affordable isn't yeah, it it's affordable it's aqua, achievable aqua is i would say one of the most popular gemstone colors that you can have well it, it again that water translucency it's the content of that that translucency which indicates the quality that you're getting here um more water content finer crystal structure brings you that beautiful melting ice cube luster that you're seeing on your screens right now well done everybody yeah oh you've just this has just reminded me to pick up my order today I, uh, yeah, I might need some of you to help me with it to the car because I've got some of those trolleys. I picked up some of those trolleys that Liam brought to air. Are you busy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, busy. I'm so busy, yeah. Well, look, I don't think it's much heavy duty lifting, if that helps. Mm. Yeah, I don't Didn't seem to help. They're much, busy, did they're it? busy. <laughs> yeah, such gentlemen. Um, <laughs> Okay, shall we do some uh, talking of jadeite? Should we bring you some classic plain rounds? Such a gentleman. No, do it yourself. <laughs> do it yourself. No, to be fair, I probably could manage myself. Um, anyway, when we're talking about jadeite, of course, there's not the four C's. We don't really talk about the carrot wave. We don't talk about necessarily the color, the clarity, and the cut. We talk about the first and foremost the translucency which that's why they often refer to it in a water content way um you want a fine crystal water content brings you that translucency and ultimately the, that glow then you start talking about the color um this is of course a very desirable apple blossom green and you can see um the it's not matte it's not opaque if it was no. opaque then um that would be a coarse crystal now we're at 129 pounds. It's totally natural type A Burmese jadeite. You're gonna do what? Do something stupid? Okay. No. Would you go with the Nanhong bundle? 
That's a nice combination, isn't it? Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. Oh. Those colours just complement each other so well. They don't do, they? don't they? They're perfect. That's coming up a little bit later on. I love six millimetre rounds in your type AJ. It's so lights. versatile. It's it's so wearable, isn't it? Yeah. Really pretty. And really... when when you said that colour, that apple colour, you know, I didn't I didn't know the shade before, but that was the word that I was thinking in my head as yeah. soon as I saw them. Definitely soft, isn't it? It's very yeah, tranquil. It Sorry, Roscoe. One price crash, and then one minute clock. He's going to be silly. He says there's eleven available. Are we all ready? Just brought you two ridiculous deals. I think we're going to make that three. Oh, okay. Look, <laughs> think back to when we started bringing you yeah. top quality jadeite. What three years ago? They weren't twenty nine ninety nine, were they? And the situation hasn't improved in terms of accessibility. In fact, it's gone the complete opposite. This is a mine that has completely closed. Completely closed now after eight hundred years of mining. You know, we have not all of a sudden, you know, I don't, I, 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 you know, the world supply of Burmese jade is done. It's done. You have to go to different locations. And the price of what has already been mined, obviously what's on your screens right now, most places, most retailers, the likes of Mason and Kay, would, would actually, really, um, would sell that for, I don't know, 10 times that price tag. You know, Ross has just said, L, as an employee, you are better off shopping right now. 100%, that yep. goes without saying. When the hour is over, by the way, it will go back to the original price. Um, so if you are a jadeite lover or a jadeite collector, then definitely make sure you're checking out your baskets. We only had 11. Um, there's a lot of you there. And again, don't be shy. Text in. We're talking about what hot food you enjoy cold. Mm. Very important in, uh, conversation. Um, shall we bring you some amazing turquoise? Ooh. But this also comes with which size? Some oh. two millimetre spacer beads. Oh, I've got two packs here. Okay. Ah. Oh. That's gorgeous. That's me, right there. Just restrand that, Nikki. Yeah, definitely. Couldn't you? Yeah. Literally leave it as is, put it on a beading yeah. thread. And don't give it away. Oh no, Keep that's it. you jewellery, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. To be fair, a lot of my jewellery is me jewellery. Yeah, me too. I do get a little bit yeah. selfish sometimes. I do. I'm, I'm, I'm like, um, you know, in Lord of the Rings, like Gollum. My. My precious. Yeah. <laughs> Stop making it for other people. And then I'm like, yeah. You know. I always have good intentions. Yeah. Always I good do. intentions. Yeah. Um, now, again, I've got a reference uh, past tense. When we were in Ivy House, um, what was that? How many years ago was that when we were in Ivy House? Two? Two years ago? Just over two. So when we were in Ivy House as part of uh, um, the immediate group, um, which we are no longer, a strand of turquoise, USA turquoise, would have been about the price of what's on your screens right now, at £149. And look, that's not me discrediting them. That's absolutely, the, you know, their buying was very different. We didn't have the same uh, um, scope as we do now with uh, as you know, being part of the Gemporia partnership. So, you know, whereas we now would probably buy hundreds of these, um, then we used to buy maybe 30 or 40. So that means a higher price tag. So some years ago, this would have been the price of, sleeping, uh, of turquoise, wouldn't it? 100%. And you wouldn't have got the spacer beads as well. So you get two millimeter, 925 sterling silver spacer beads alongside this amazing, beautiful robin egg blue turquoise, clearly USA, because you can see the glow. I like the fact that you have got some matrix in there because that shows you I that like it's... I like a bit of matrix. Yeah. yeah. Um, I like it. I, I like both, but matrix for me makes you makes uh, you realise it is 100% turquoise then, don't Absolutely. you? Absolutely. And it's got that brilliant sort of southwestern feel yeah. that you get. Yeah, that sort of, you're on a ranch somewhere yeah. and yeah, cowboy oh, kind cool. of feel. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, 100%. Yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger vibes with his uh, with his turquoise ring. Yeah, yeah, definitely. He's wearing his he's wearing his cowboy boots with his turquoise. Yeah. Um, we're going to go straight down to it because already collectors getting involved. Amazing. Remember, you have only got what just over five minutes to make your confirmations. That's amazing. That Wait, divide it by two. That's fifteen pounds for the spacer beads. Fifteen pounds for your turquoise. Is there many of these? 15 available opportunities, 
or rather 11 now because they're already flying out the door yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised, surprised. That's crazy. Yeah, it is. And I, look, I can only talk from personal experience. I myself remember bringing you genuine USA turquoise like this, probably even shorter strands, to be truthful, at three figures. I do, and it wasn't yeah. that long ago. No. So we, could, whilst we can always compare with other jewellery brands, we can always look at, oh, look at Tiffany's & Co. They do, they do USA turquoise and it's this price or that price or Shopard or whatever it might be. Yeah. Compare with ourselves, we would have had a digit in front of this, that price tag, easily a few years ago. Denise, Diane, Linda, Elaine, Colin, hello to you, London, Joanne in Shropshire. I can see lots of threes and twos in baskets. Elaine's got three, well done, Elaine. Um, Joanne's got two in her basket. Catherine in Manchester, morning, everybody, I hope you're well. It's very rainy here, very, very, very rainy. It is, but we're bringing oh, the sunshine. Oh, oh, I've got a good one to add to the conversation. Oh barbecue food yeah yeah defo. cold barbecue food it's almost better it's almost better yeah. cold isn't it barbecue food like a chicken drumstick it is um hiya joanna in cornwall say morning lovely jewelry maker team i'd rather have baked beans cold oh no i get that yeah i get that yeah, yeah. I, I can't say i've tried it really yeah are they, are they, they look a bit more solid? Well, when they're cold? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. The little, sauce little. isn't quite as runny. Yeah. 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 Still tasty though, still nice. Still tasty, yeah. yeah. I like baked beans, I do like baked beans. It's kind of student food, so isn't it? Baked beans out of tin. <laughs> it is. Cold baked beans out of a tin. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I like that. If you want to go full student, I remember doing this like, um, super noodles are quite good cold. You cook what? Wow. <laughs> Do they, do they not are, just all right. congeal? No, you don't cook them. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crunchy. <laughs> no. Um, baked bean co sandwich cold. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> it's bit, I'm not sure about this far. one. <laughs> I'm not sure about that one. It's so funny, Tina. Um, okay, can I just reference this bracelet? Because there is only two left, and I don't oh, want to send two back to the vault. It's going to disappear those. in a couple of minutes. Um, I only bought two, I'm actually regretting that actually, um, because there's so many people I could give this to. It is aqua jadeite, that is an indicator of the quality, you've got the beautiful haigu meaning, you've got the meaning behind the jade, and then you've got those ad additional um, aqua jadeite rounds as well. Um, the Solomon's Bar sliding knot, absolutely exquisitely macrame Um Yeah, I mean, so giftable, that's gotta be one of the most affordable jadeite opportunities. Finished pieces, basically. Yeah. 18 if you have this in your basket and I've only got two left. I've only got two left. It's stunning. The quality of the jade eye is unbelievable. It's so glossy, isn't it? Yeah, amazing. Now, it is time, jewellery makers, for your early bird. Very excited about this. These lovely little flourishes, these little details make all the difference to your jewellery designs. And you have the perfect lady here in the studio that can teach you how to work with them. The early bird's next. <music> Um, I didn't hear a word of that, sorry Ross. Oh, the one with the little flora and fauna inspirations. These are so sweet. So we're gonna start. <laughs> sorry. I didn't hear you, all right? <laughs> He's like, how many, how many times did you say bumble? <laughs> Just once, that was so dramatic. You, you reckon th three? Ah, fine. I have actually just turned you up as well, but I still can't hear you that well. There you go. <laughs> it's maybe I've just got selective hearing and I just filter Ross out. Sorry, Ross. <laughs> um, okay, That's so we're doing, we're doing the celestial ones first. Um, I'm only joking, Ross. I am joking. Um, <laughs> Flora and Fauna, these are your sterling silver solderable accents. Yes. How amazing. If you are craving um, the beautiful summertime vibes, 
little flourishes like this make all the difference in amongst your amazing gemstones. Yeah. So what is a soldable accent for those people that don't know? So it's basically a little embellishment that you can add to your sterling silver jewellery and all you have to do is put a tiny little dob, dob, dab of dab. Uh, solder I mean, yeah. or, or solder paste on the back of them and you can embellish any piece of sterling silver jewellery that you've made or gold if you want to and it is little details like this that make all the difference absolutely and this this is the kind of thing that you i mean you could make but it would take you forever yeah and you'd have to use something like metal clay because you couldn't just make something like that by that hand. detail yeah no one would yeah i mean look at the detailing on the on the butterfly's yeah, wings it's beautiful the detailing on the lovely little um bumblebee's butt I, you know, use, <laughs> I use these all the time they're so sweet aren't they yeah if you use if you work with your metals like your silver sheets etc then and why work then definitely make all the difference can i also suggest as well you know we used to do those little transparent um um lockets do you know the ones yeah the like memory glass? ones yeah, yeah a little bit shop hard yeah you could just have a collection of these in amongst your gemstones and have them dancing around in amongst your gems well i'm also going to say that in the nine i would buy these now because in the nine o'clock hour i'm going to show you how the easiest way how to make stud earrings ah. two sets of them you've got three sets of stud earrings amazing honestly well we're at 9.99 they are 925 sterling silver seven by six millimeter butterfly bee and flower um all beautiful together not your price though says roscoe hopefully you've taken the initiative to shop ahead on these i've got the celestial themes coming your way we've got the sun the moon and the star um 6.99 that's two pound 33 per element and yeah. yes, the idea is that you can solder them, but of course, I mean, they're beautiful as they are. Oh, you yeah. could put them in something or... Yeah, and remember as well, you know, we shouldn't be afraid of, if you're not confident with soldering, mm. there's no reason why you can't glue them on. True. There's absolutely no reason. True. So don't be panicked and think, I can't use these because I can't solder. Yeah. Because you can glue them on, so don't worry about that. Yeah, glue them onto a surface of gemstone if yeah. you want. Do you know what? 60 second clock on your screen we are going even lower that's not your that's, early bird and that is bonkers because these cost so much well, they do i guess because you know they are quite detailed yeah. there's quite a lot to of workmanship craftsmanship yeah. within those um how many have we got roscoe 150 available within the vault um but i don't think many people will be getting just the one pack of these. No. I, I love the idea of having little bumblebee stud earrings. Yeah. And I'm going to show you, they're so, so easy to make. I've got a hack. Ah, we all like oh, a hack, I don't like we? Hack. Very Gucci, those little yeah. bumblebees too. Um, you've got your butterflies, you've got your flower, you get all three, not six pounds and 99 pence. We had 150. If you silversmith, amazing. Yeah. If you do your soldering, amazing. If you do wire work, amazing. If you don't, glue. Yeah. Use your glue. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. It's no different to what many of your high-end jewelers will incorporate glue into their, into their making. Um, many high-end jewelers will use glue as well as like say prong setting. Yeah. You know, it's added insurance effectively. So yeah, it's not a faux pas four oh. pounds and 99 pence they're not base metal no. they're precious metal and they're really hard to get as well are they don't forget how oh they're so difficult to get honestly. is there not many suppliers that no. do this kind no of there thing? used to be but it, i think jm are one of the few suppliers now that do them uh -huh. and at this price yeah far and away honestly i mean looking at the screen you cannot get them at this price I make jewellery to sell and I buy them from Jewellery Maker. Okay, so. well that's, that speaks volumes, and that's not with it? a. And I'll say this, you know, full disclosure, that's not with a staff discount. That is at the price they are on the screens. Absolutely. That's what I pay for them. 100%. Because they're so worth it. Yeah, they're sterling silver at yeah. £4.99. Yeah. And you said, I'm, I'm intrigued by your hack. I love the idea of these being little stud earrings, oh, especially so if you've got, say, multiple piercings. Yeah. You can literally have a flora and fauna sort of ear. Definitely. Couldn't you? How beautiful would yeah, that so be? Yeah, so multi-buy it definitely oh we had 150 make sure you're checking out your baskets jewelry makers at four pounds and 99 pence and um, there's loads of you getting involved um amazing lots of multi buyers yeah look at that twos threes fours the majority as expected have actually got multi bought on this do shop ahead on your celestial collection but again if you've got one of those um lockets or if you've got one of the you know the ones i'm on about don't you it's very shop yeah, I think they're called so memory memory ones aren't they yeah because they've got in. like a like a little um, glass case 
case. Glass case, yeah. yeah. And you could put these and have them tessellating maybe with those, maybe alongside something like those zircons early, not zircons, um, yeah, the zircons, actually, yeah. we did have zircon. Or maybe with the um, tourmaline. Okay, let's mm. now bring you the celestial ones. So, oh. starting with the sun. Then we'll bring the star. Oh, I haven't seen these. They're all new. Oh, I love and then, these. Oh, oh, come on. We have the moon. Oh, honestly, I've been multi buying these. Oh, because I'd make a little star and a moon set of stud earrings. I was thinking mismatch. that, Nikki. So I've pretty. definitely seen some kind of jewelry yeah. from you that yeah. has this kind of vibe. It does. How's that? Chris, can you see it? Just about. Just Honestly, I use hundreds of these. There you go. Now, sixty-second clock. Not just on this early bird, on absolutely everything that we have bought you. There is one left of the jadeite bracelet, so make sure you snap that up um, at twenty-nine ninety-nine. Um, yeah, grab all your solderable accents as well, jewelry makers. They have flown, absolutely flown. Um, I imagine celestial themed jewelry is. So popular, Eternally isn't it? popular. It's yeah. always popular. And again, with every age group. And it's because we all love that, don't we? We all love yeah. looking at the skies, looking at the stars. So, and it's, you know, it's popular right the way through the year. Yeah. Well, at Christmas, especially. Well, but, you know, I, I think there's lots of meaning behind there the is. actual celestial theme, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, absolutely. And, Hopes, and dreams, wishes. Yeah, and I think these days, so so many of us sort of look at things like the, the moon phases and astrology yeah. and things like that. I'm so interested in it. So Yeah, yeah I love that. Um, make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. That's not just for this, for everything and do not go anywhere because I'm going to be joining Nikki for her fantastic project beautiful jewelry and inspiration after this here at jewelry maker we only charge one pmp throughout the day you can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is $3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. I get to bring uh, to all of you the Jadeite Zodiac box. Now this, I'm going to be honest, is a passion project for me. This is something that is quite selfish. You know, I put this together because I want to own it. Um, many years ago when I started dealing in Jadeite, I noticed that all my friends who were Jadeite dealers and multi-generational Jadeite dealers all had a Zodiac collection. You know, all of the 12 iterations of the Zodiac carved into Jade. And I thought, oh, okay, that's the badge of honor for a Jade collector. And it is. So I began, uh, every time I went to the Far East, I'd buy a piece, you know, whether it be the carved monkey or maybe the ox or the rat. And I, would, I had about three or four. And then my friend Bernard, who's been in the industry for about 30 years, turned to me and said, throw them away. You know, sell them back into the industry because what you're not building is a collection. And he explained to me the reality of building a Zodiac collection is like getting a, a royal flush in poker. You need them all to be the same suit. What he means by that is, all the jade needs to match. The style needs to match, the size needs to match. There's no point just having a mixed assortment. Even if you get all 12, the collection is undesirable, it's deemed incomplete. And that's why a true Zodiac collection, you know, for, for the right colors, for the right size, usually takes a few generations to complete. In fact, it's something that's usually passed down from father to son. Maybe the father collected three, the son then takes uh, the torch and continues, and maybe then even passes it down to his son. We've worked tirelessly to put together a complete collector series, and this might be the first time in the UK that one becomes available in one foul swoop, and more importantly, affordably. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. 
Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Every day our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Welcome back everybody. It's lovely Nikki. Oh, I was just admiring your jewellery again. Oh, it is nice this time. Oh, stunning. And yeah. these earrings are amazing. They are nice. And so easy to make. So are they? easy to make, yeah. yeah. Now this this these instructions, which is quite a weighty instruction book today. Yes, it is quite because I've did I've done three different projects in there. Have you? Yeah. Because there's so much you can do with them. So I did three different ones. And then also I'll add a few to my guest designer page because I think there's about five or six different things that you can make with this project kit. So wait a minute. So you've got your Onyx threader earrings, which yes. are just amazing. So those are the ones that we were... Yeah. That one there. That one there. That one there. So you get that. Step by step, photos all the way through, taken on my lovely sofa while I was sitting there. So you can see how easy they are to make because I made them sitting on my sofa amazing but then if i just pop that down you also get yeah. this yeah star stud earrings show you how to make stud earrings with an amazing hack that you will use for everything when you're making studs wow 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 and then if i just put that down i'm also looking at i love this necklace i love this necklace too these yeah the circle necklace and ah. I think circles are a bit of a theme today, aren't they? They definitely are. They're perfect yeah. to go alongside your uh, your deal of the day. Yeah, so you actually get three project instructions within one kit purchase. Yes, you do. Amazing. So all you need to do to get these jewellery makers is get the kit. And the kit's get, gorgeous. The kit is absolutely beautiful. Um, it's not very often that we see Bronchronix full stop. No. It's not very often that we see Bronchronix in a project. No. And it's definitely not very often that we see Bronchronix where you get five strands. I was blown away. I was. When I got this kit, I was flabbergasted. It's very you. It is. It is. Um, I'm lovely, Katie. She I'm, knows what she's doing. Oh, she's looking after you. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to show you, firstly, the silver that you get. Now, this is all brand new. So, I love these components. Yes. So you get two of your threader earrings so they're silver plated the threader earrings sorry silver plated then you get you get all of your accents here so is that the best way to describe yeah i mean them? they were described as closed jump rings but these are not jump rings as you know them they are i mean okay you could use them as jump rings but why would you just use them as jump rings when they're as gorgeous as they are well i was looking at your earrings earlier on they're absolutely beautiful for those heart earrings yeah amazing now we've got a hundred of these available the only way of getting these components including the five strands of bronchoronics is within this project which are amazing um, can i just show you i've hidden i've just noticed i've hidden these unintentionally so you've got the most beautiful ring designs now uh, uh, again are these are these do i need to be an advanced jewelry maker no, to create these i'm going to say that these are Brilliant project oh, wow. if you've never done silversmithing before. Okay. If you've never tried before, 
this would be the kit that I would try with. Okay. Because the, they're really simple, straightforward things to make. I'll give you all the instructions how to do them. If you want to message me afterwards and there's anything you want me to walk you through, I can do that. Oh, bless you. So, honestly, they're lovely things to start off. I'm not even using scary solder pallions, you know, the little bits. Yeah. I'm using silver solder paste. It's so easy. There's nothing to it. All you need is a torch. It's kind of like a little glue, paste. isn't it? Silver exactly. solder paste. That's all it is. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. obviously you need to apply heat, but it, yeah, but no mess around with liquid. flux and all things yeah. like that. It's just dead straightforward. Much easier. This is all you need. Can I show your earrings, uh, Nikki? Because these are absolutely can. gorgeous. So these are the thread earrings of which you get instructions for. I'm loving that. I loved making these. Honestly, just sat by the telly. I had a bit of a cold one day. And I was sitting by the telly just making these and they were just, they're so easy to make, honestly. Oh, but they so look gorgeous. great, don't they? Yeah, they're stunning. So, and literally just thread through. Yeah. Um, amazing designs. And of course, that fabulous necklace. Now, you can't get, I'll put that back up in a minute. Um, you can't get any of these components outside of the project. And to be honest, as always, you're actually better off getting them in the project anyway. Yeah. So let's, let's go through the strands that you're getting because it's not very often that we see Bronchronics. Bronchronics Onyx, um, when it was launched, it was one of the most exciting Onyx discoveries because of the fact that it was completely natural, completely natural uh, um, quality. So no need to actually dye it or treat it like most locations. Mm. But also you get this lovely icy translucency that is very, very, very rare. So you have here your rondelles, faceted rondelles in a strand. Yep. Then we have your ir irregular nuggets which I love. Yeah. Then we have your faceted ovals. Look at that translucency. They are beautiful. Then we have your flat drops, but they're not really flat because they have got a pavilion, haven't they? They have. I mean, I more refer to them as maybe pears. Pears? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good, yeah, yeah good way yeah. of wording it. And then my favourite, you have your briolettes as yes. well. So you get all five strands all five strands um, in this amazing opportunity. Plus you get those beautiful elements, those fantastic uh, um, two pairs of the threader earrings and then you get, is it two of the pear shape, two of the hearts, yes. two of the stars, two of the square, uh, yep. squares, two of the circles? That's right. And also I want to make clear as well, this kit isn't just for silversmiths. This kit you could use for any kind mm. of any medium of jewelry making you could use if you were a beader if you were a seed beader if you were a wire worker this kit will work brilliantly with any of those mediums so you don't don't think oh I, you know i can use it if i'm a silversmith there's so many applications that you could you could use with this kit i couldn't stop making things with I it i bet i couldn't i bet and thankfully you've got the supply of your white onyx to do that Good. haven't you yeah right because we have a hundred because we haven't seen bronchoronyx in absolutely ages oh. and this is brand new and new components as well we're going to do a 60 second countdown to the graphics itself you get three uh, written instructions yep. uh, as well not just your usual one um, and you don't need to pay for that that comes with your project purchase as well you go to your order history and then it'll say download content and if you click that you've got exactly what we have here in the studio effectively you can file that and use it as a point of reference moving forward I think that's a really good point that Nikki makes there you don't have to be a silversmith no. to actually work with these however if you did want to start that journey then they're a fantastic place to start definitely definitely a place to start with look at them glowing yeah amazing well do you know i remember the launch of bronchoronics quite vividly you know it was one of those one of the biggest launches of 2023 i think i'm saying the right year yeah. um and that's because we'd never seen we'd never seen onyx to have that translucency before again we expect it to actually undergo some form of treatment you know you can find natural onyx in places like van cleef and arpels mm -hmm. or you can find it in places like bleaker and prince but there they're like four figures yeah Definitely. Four figures, which isn't, you know, it's a price tag that's gorgeous. Yeah, absolutely. But it's not a price tag that is accessible to everybody. I can't remember the last time I brought you Bronchronics. It's probably been no. months, months and months and months and months. And I've definitely never brought this to air before. No. Um, here we go. I mean, when was the last time that I actually referenced this uh, this presentation? Yeah, Bleaker and Prince, uh, yeah. Mini, uh, Sky, 14 karat, yellow gold, Onyx, bubble style ring. 
um, £1,152. It's encrusted with your diamonds. It's very um, opaque, isn't it? Very opaque. That's, yeah, exactly. You know, it is rarer to find the translucent variety. Yeah. Um, I like these. You've got the Enchanted yeah, Donut White Onyx Ring, £1,290. But the fact is, the translucency is actually rarer. Mini Constellation White Onyx, and it is mini. That's yeah. tiny, that yeah. piece tiny tiny got a little little weeny oh, diamond disc. as well yeah um one thousand seven hundred and eighty dollars uh for that one too um i really like these i like the they're i think the earrings are amazing idea, aren't they? yeah they're cool i like cornflake is that there? the cornflake <laughs> wow. earrings um one thousand three hundred and fifty dollars or pounds uh pounds for those again they're quite deceptive they're not massive they're not massive earrings but it's no. natural onyx but it is opaque it is natural okay. onyx uh, six thousand nine hundred uh, and twenty five pounds for those uh, earrings very nice very very nice you've got some beautiful gemstones it doesn't actually say what the gemstones encrusted within no. are however i'm gonna say it looks like what a citrine or something yeah. like that yeah maybe and some little diamonds now straight away first price crash haven't I, seen it in a long time i We've don't know how much this is going to this kit well when we launched oh. it it was not inexpensive let's just put it that way because it's a rare gemstone yeah. and the mine is still very much in operation but when it was discovered and this is unusual to be the case that actually the best quality was found first yeah so the translucent variety was found first um now they're actually sort of uh, extracting more of the opaque variety still lovely yeah. but it's not as hauntingly beautiful as the translucent now first price crash 49.99 amazing um that's 10 pound per strand and then all of your accents and your threader earrings for free. And that's outrageous as it is. <laughs> it is, yeah. yeah. That's our first. First price crash. I'm so certain this is going to be a sellout, Roscoe. Yeah, I am. There are very few natural white gemstones on our planet. Oh, that's exactly what I was just thinking. So you know that they're going to mix with every other gemstone that you've got as well. Yeah. But they're also going to appeal to everybody. Absolutely. Because they're neutral absolutely and they have this lovely ethereal like beauty to them exactly that's the exact word for them ethereal, ethereal. it is 49.99 not your price we have a hundred already collectors saying yes i need to get hold of those those yeah. earrings are beautiful they're very bridal aren't they what <laughs> one two three four five strands and this is really incredible quality it as is, well. It is, that's five pound per yeah. strand and then five pounds for your elements. Yeah. There's, there's, because, and the shapes as well, they're the most desirable shapes because oh. you can do so much with them. Absolutely, can I be like, honestly, 29.99, 29.99, 29.99, 29.99. Yeah, All of them. Do you know jump rings are sterling silver? These ones, I thought they were silver plated. No, they're sterling silver. What? Ross, they're sterling silver. They're not silver plated. No. And we are going lower. Sorry, I assumed that they were all silver no. plated. Sterling what? silver. I know. Unbelievable jewelry makers. We're at five pound per strand. And five pounds for all of that sterling silver. Look, let me yeah. just tilt that forward for a second. All those ju closed jump rings, but styled jump rings, they're so they're cool. Incredible. And let me say, you know, say you did just want to use them in a beading project. Yeah. You know, a very, very simple. So take your rondelles, rosary link your rondelles. That's really straightforward to do. There's loads of different tutorials on JM. If you just have a look through the website yeah. on how to do rosary linking or any of the guest designer pages or even contact us, we'll show you how to do it. So rosary link your rondelles, Put your jump rings at the front because you do not want to hide these. You can have a star here, a star here, and your little clasp. It's an incredible necklace. It takes you five minutes to make. Wow. And you've got a Bronca Onyx Sterling Parcel. Silver necklace. Yeah, and a part. Oh my goodness me. So you can see all the different. Is that better? Can you see them there? So you've got the circle, you've got the oval, yeah. um, you've got the heart, you've got, sorry, circle, heart, pair, star, and the square. Yeah, sterling silver. All silver. Times two. You get these times yeah, two. Yeah, times two. We're at £27.99, and pence, but going even lower. And you get the threader earrings. Don't yeah. forget those. This is a mad deal, Ross. I remember Bronchronics when it first launched being triple figures. I don't know how we've done it. We've done it somehow. Fantastic for you guys at home. It is the ultimate ethereal white. It is. 
Wow. wow. <laughs> it amazes me. Just don't ever be fooled into thinking that these gemstones should cost this much because no. they shouldn't. This is jewelry maker. This is jewelry maker are in their own league when it comes to this kind of thing because yeah. they do not cost that price. No. In other places where you no, can buy. Gemstones. No, we'd they have don't. bought these alongside Gemporia. We'd yeah. have had a half of the parcel go to Gemporia for finished jewellery, half the parcel come to you guys here yeah. um, in a strand. I mean, it's amazing that we can do this. Wait a second. So five strands. I'm going to say count the two threader earrings as, as another one. So yeah. that's six. I'm going to uh, count what I'm holding on the tweezers as one and the others on what as one. Yeah. So I think six, seven, eight components. Eight, there's obviously way more than that, but really high quality yeah. as well. Yeah, you know what's twenty four ninety nine divided by eight. Three pound twelve. Three pound twelve <laughs> for your for your bronchronics. Three pound twelve for your threader earrings. Three pound twelve for these elements that I'm holding on the tweezers, yeah. and then three pound twelve for what's on your board. And what I'm going to show you how to do in a minute is how to make stud earrings out of the jump rings. So technically, you're going to have five pairs of sterling silver stud earrings at five pounds a pair yes and then all your gemstones and then all free. your gemstones are free um, and your threader earrings um incredibly <laughs> there's another price crash I, I you know credit where it's due this is what our team this do is best unbelievable it is unbelievable because they're not thin, these jump rings no. as well. I don't know whether you can see, Elle. They're really substantial. Yeah, I, I would never describe them as jump rings because they're so much more. When Katie said to me she was sending me jump rings, I was expecting you yeah, usual you're quite thin gauge. Yeah. You know, because that's what you'd expect. Yeah. But these are substantial. These are weighty. You could just literally put one of these elements. I'm going to put them, call them an element. Yeah. One of those, thread it onto a chain. Job, job done. Job done. Yeah. Hang it from your threader earrings with another little jump ring. You've got lovely, and they're really nice shapes as well. They're, yeah, beautiful. You know, they're, they're very obvious shapes. They're lovely, really are. I can't believe you're going a single penny lower, Roscoe. To be honest, forty nine ninety nine, ten pound per strand of Bronchronics. That's amazing. But to be going low with all that sterling silver as well, and it's a lot of sterling silver. Big gram weight, I think, accumulatively. Yeah. Eight components. Mm, this is ridiculous. That's probably one of the best prized projects I've seen. Wow. Would we all agree? Yeah, definitely. I, th I genuinely think that's one of the best yeah. deals. Purely because of quantity, says yeah. Roscoe. Purely because we haven't seen Bronchronics in a long time. Purely because, I don't, Nikki, we've got you in the studio and you've put three three instructions yeah. as well to go alongside this purchase. I'm going to buy that separately. You get it with this purchase. Yeah. 1999 you get what's on the tweezers times two and they away. are and me I am. um that genuinely is one of the best yeah. project prices i've ever seen and we do good deals on a yeah. regular basis oh my goodness me all of these are silver silver on the tweezers silver just here you've got silver plated threader earrings and then well, how much would the threader earring pair be on their own? Silver plated and threader earrings, what do you reckon? To buy them around tenner, I reckon. Tenner? Yeah. 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 That's amazing. Well, on that basis, £9.99 for everything else yeah. then. Yeah, because they're really hard to get. You know. Russ is saying he thinks the actual uh, designed jump rings or elements. Yeah. You think they... I think they'd be more than that, way Russ. More. They would be way more. Because they they're quite substantial. Yeah. And remember, you when you say they would be... You just can't get them anywhere else. No. You know, they don't exist anywhere else. No. And it's difficult. I mean, it would be so difficult to try and make them yourself. Yeah. It, honestly, it would be so difficult. You'd be messing around with wire forever trying to make those. They're, they're brilliant. Honestly, you do so, so many things with them. Do you know, I'm looking at those elements that you're talking about, Nikki. We get 10 of those, yeah? yeah. Two of each design. Um, that, for me, £2 per... Oh, you'd snap them up? Yeah. You would? But, and then everything else for free. Yeah. Unbelievable. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. Do you know what I mean? Two pound, yeah. two pound each per sterling silver design. 
Um, but then you're getting the thread earrings and you're getting yep. five different cuts of your natural bronchiolis. It's not just any old gemstone. It's very, very rare. For free, it's effectively. And the instructions for free. Yep. Um, amazing. Keep on dialing through. I'll keep you updated on the quantity. Um, there's a lot of you with it in your baskets. That, again, I've got to say this. That is genuinely one of the best project prices I've it ever is. seen. Um, amazing. I'd be buying it if I was at home now. I yeah. would be multi-buying. 100%. Hours. 100%. Um, what are you going to show us? I'm just going to show you a really simple hack on how to make stud earrings. Okay. Now, I very cleverly brought my Dremel in today to some, hang around somewhere here and didn't bring the battery pack with it. Um. So I brought, just brought a Dremel that was useless to top off of it. So I'll talk you through one tiny bit where you could use a Dremel. It's not completely necessary to use a Dremel, but it just makes your life a tiny bit easier. Mm -hmm. But this is the stud earring hack. It is something that you will use all the time so if you're going to make stud earrings with these jump rings and they're i hate calling them jump rings because yeah they're, they're more they're than they're that too nice they? to call jump rings what you need to do is you need to get some sterling silver and cut it into i'm going to say give yourself i said on the page give yourself about five centimeters just because it's easier to handle i'm sorry on my terrible manicure that i did last night because my nails i was talking to ella this morning about how terrible my nails are because i work with them all the time and i did the world's worst manicure last you night don't so need you're to about apologize. to witness don't it don't okay? worry <laughs> don't worry back to the earrings so i would say use sterling silver wire around about 0.7 I think 0.7 is the sweet spot for earring posts mm -hmm. um, now I've said to use five centimeters of it five centimeters is too long for an earring post but it's easier for you to pick up and then you can cut a little bit off do not waste the bit you cut off turn it into a little ball because I'm going to talk to you later about what you can do with all your little cutoffs but here's your little hack so I have cut myself some little earring posts and what you're going to do is you're going to pop them into a pair of um, reverse action tweezers or reverse action pliers and you can get these I think jewelry maker have got them on the website at the moment some of them have wooden handles on them these don't but most people who you know who do jewelry making have these and they're certainly if you're doing silversmithing they're very very useful to have so they're just reverse action pliers so what you're going to do is you're going to take your little earring post that you've cut so you're going to cut a short length of 0.7 and then you're going to put it in your reverse action pliers now if i try to put that onto that earring post like this it would fall over like that mm -hmm. okay and i don't want that to happen while i solder because when you're soldering something like earrings, because the earring post is very thin, you have to be very careful not to melt the earring post. So what you really need is something that's gonna hold this in place. And this is our friend here. One of these little bulldog clips, okay? Yeah. You get them in little stationary packs and they're really simple. They look like this, okay? I'm sure if you go onto the website, which sounds a bit like a river, mm -hmm. you might be able to find them on there as well, where you can have things delivered to your house. But they literally cost buttons, but they are going to transform your life as a silversmith. So all you do is you pop it onto the end of your reverse action pliers, okay? And then you have something for them to lean on. Ah, okay, it is. It's so cool. So all you do then is you can, so you can just move out the way. Pop I, the I love watching bit. soldering. Uh, well, I mean, I may not do this in here because it's more important for me to kind of show you how it's going to work. So what we do is I've used a little bit of easy paste. Now I would say when you're doing things like stud earrings, I'm not a huge fan of silver solder paste for everything because it can be quite messy at times but certainly for things like this it's a gift okay mm -hmm. so what you do is you just carefully position your solder paste and then you pop your wire where you want it to be now you're going to take your time at this so that you get it exactly right but you've got that little stand there that just leaves your hands free then okay ah. so I mean, mine's looking a bit lopsided at the moment, but this is just literally to demonstrate to you. Now, when you put your torch on, 
Now I'm only using like a creme brulee torch here. At home, I've got a great big plumber's torch. It still works, okay? So all it is, it's directing your heat. So what I want to see is the heat on the jump ring, because these jump rings are substantial. Yeah. So what, if we put the heat on the jump, on, on the jump ring itself, it will conduct through to the post and then melt the solder. If we go at the post, it's very thin, it's gonna melt, okay? But the good thing is about putting the tweezer on here is it acts as what we call a heat sink. So what it does is the tweezer actually absorbs some of the heat from where the post is. So it's gonna stop your post from melting, okay? So what we're gonna do is you just, and I said it's always difficult for me to see in the studio, I'll take the glasses off a second. You're gonna apply your heat to your jump ring and not your post. And I don't know whether you can see, but there you go. Yeah, we saw that. We're done. Okay, is that it simple? is as simple as that. Okay, so and then, cool. ta da! Look then at you've that! Got your earrings. Now, there's one other thing that you need to do. Now, I can't show you for a minute because this will be too hot for me to handle, but you're going to pop that into a little bit of water. Yeah. Just quench it off. Now, when you heat your silver wire, what happens to it is it softens, okay? Mm. We call it annealing. And basically, I think Charlie was explaining it really well last time she was on. And basically what happens is when you heat the wire, like, like us, a little bit of heat, we relax. <sighs> we relax and we yeah. chill. You don't want that in an earring post, okay? No. You want your earring post to be pingy and nice and solid so that it'll go through your ear. So when your earring is cooled down, what you're gonna do, and I've put this all on the instructions, and this sounds terrifying, but believe me, it's fine. You've gotta work hard on this bit of wire, okay? And to be honest, it's a good check if you're soldering anyway. So what you do is you grasp it in some pliers, mm. and you give it a little twist, okay? Give it a right, twist okay. one way, and then grasp it again in your pliers, and twist it back the other way, okay? Now, if you do that, you'll see, let me see if I can get it in shot, that the post is nice and pingy now. Oh yeah, that's nice and solid. See? So you know sometimes when you buy some earrings and they're just really almost like floppy, aren't yeah. they? Is it probably because they it's haven't done that? It's probably because they haven't been work hardened, yeah. So all you need to do now is, I mean, you know, if you've got pickle and all of that, you can pickle them and clean them up that way. But in all honesty, I mean, I actually, bought from Jewelry Maker yesterday on the website. Uh -huh. This lovely little brass, well it's not little actually, it's really big and substantial. This brass brush, okay, it's still got the, uh, the number on it, if yeah. you can see it there. There you go, if okay. you need a brass brush. Just give, it, give these a little go over with your brass brush and it'll bring them up really nice again. Oh, so you use that for cleaning? Yeah, I use it for cleaning all the time. I use these so much. Because the thing is, with, with when you're silversmithing, you know, and I, I, I was thinking this when I was making stuff for, for the show, it's great if you've got all the tools, but you build that up over time. Yeah. If you haven't, then work with what you've got, okay? Mm -hmm. And everyone's got a bulldog clip they can get hold of, a pair of reverse action tweezers, a little pair of pliers, and a little brush. And if you didn't have that, you could use a nail buffer. Yeah, Nail true. buffer would work just as well. Just give it a little brush and then pop your earring back on. You can just straighten your post as you will. But look how tough that is now. Amazing, they're so there beautiful, Nikki. Earrings. Oh, love that demonstration. But you're also getting the, the written instructions yeah. as well, times three yeah. with your project purchase. Again, one of the best deals. Um, we've actually got that brush. Shall yeah. we bring it to air? Yes. I've never, I, I don't Amazing. know if I've brought this to air before. It's How amazing. Cool. They're so, so cool. It gets in all the nooks and crannies. They're brilliant. Doesn't it? And, the, and the thing is with this as well, it's nice and soft. Because sometimes what you find, and honestly, it's your worst nightmare if you're a silversmith, when you use a really hard brass brush, one, it can yeah, pull yeah. off your components. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, the other it's thing soft. is, if you get a bit of brass, just, so I check it anyway, but if you get a bit of brass stuck, or no, if you use you stainless steel ones, you get them stuck in, you're trying to drag them out, but they're really soft. And that it is happen. soft. It's like a toothbrush. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a toothbrush. And they really, really bring jewellery up really nicely when you give them a good brush as well. Oh, there you go. So that we're bringing this to air. It's like graphics are on your screens right now. Um, amazing. So great if to get in all your little nooks and cro uh, uh, nooks and crannies. Yeah. We have got a big quantity of these. Um, let's see how many of you are watching. You'll use it so much, honestly. 
bring oh, a lovely fantastic. shine to your silver. It really does. Yeah. And you know, because it's soft, it's going to get any dust particles yeah. and everything yeah. out there too. We're four pounds and ninety nine pence. Obviously, this is not single use. You use no, it repeatedly. No. Yeah, absolutely. And you get, you know, this is if this is a jewelry essential. If you, you know, if you're using silver jewelry, it really is essential to have a little brass brush just to polish over your stuff. Could could you use it to clean your existing jewelry? Yeah. Yeah, so the only thing I wouldn't use it on is something, and I mean, I'm going to say I hate mirror shine anyway. Something that's got a mirror shine, I right. probably wouldn't because it's ever so slightly abrasive. But I think very few of us have any jewellery that has a mirror shine because it has a mirror shine for about five seconds yeah. and then it gets bashed, yeah. which is why I never make jewellery with a mirror shine. No, okay. I always leave like a slightly satin finish because yeah. it's much more durable. I agree. Um, we're going to see how many of you are watching. I've not seen this they are brilliant. in ages. Brilliant. Ages and ages and ages. So again, yeah, if you're actually sort of cleaning, um, cleaning yeah, up your beautiful jewellery, polishing a, it up. The other one with the gemstone in, you can go across the top of your gemstone really? with it. It's fine. Yeah. So I use them all the time. There you go, to buff it all up and everything. Yeah. How amazing. Okay. Today. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this this is not a little tiny thing. This is no. not like a little. This is huge. It's it's going to last you the whole, you know, for years. This thing. We're seeing who's watching. Okay. We have got a big quantity of these. Two ninety nine is not your price. Really? Amazingly. <laughs> Do you know, you said it then, you know, because people assume that with with the likes of, uh, um, say, soldering or silversmithing, yeah, yeah. that you need masses. Oh, yeah, I know. But you don't, do you? No, you don't. It's great if you do. And as you go on, you'll build up things. But you don't need everything to start. You've just seen yeah. what I had. A little bit of broken block. Yeah. A little creme brulee torch. Yeah. Okay. A brass brush and a pair of pliers. There and you you're go. making sterling silver earrings that you can wear, you can sell, you can gift. That kit is twenty pounds, and you can make five pairs of earrings. Yeah, exactly. Kits. I mean, what would you sell those for? Um, my goodness me, there's so many of you getting involved. We've got multi buyers. I think that's sensible, by the way. Yeah. Have one, and then have one sort of as a backup plan. Definitely. When you say we've got quantity, what's the quantity? We've got five hundred. Yeah. yeah, but I'm looking at the core screens, and I reckon that five hundred could go. Yeah. If you work with metal clay as well, this yeah. is essential. How about two pound forty nine? And then I say we're going again. No. <laughs> All around the world getting involved. We've got. How I've can just you noticed... go cheaper than two pound forty nine for that? Yeah, exactly. We've got we've got New York shopping with us. Hello to you, New York. Lovely Hello. to see you. We've got multi buyers getting involved as well. Up and down the UK. All around the world. It's just that technique. Yeah, that's all you need to do. It's literally like doing your nails, but it's nice and soft. It's not going to drag anything off. And especially if you're using like the solderable accents from before, which I've got down here. Same principle, put your little ear post on and then yeah. use them to clean because you don't want to use anything really big and hard because no. it's going to knock that post off. It would do on any pair of study earrings. Well, yeah, I guess you don't want to break it. Yeah. Um, you don't want to break it, but you still want to clean it. Hello, yeah. Gloria, saying hi. Um, yes. Yeah. Hi. These brushes are fab for silver fab, clay. Silver clay. Yeah. Um, after to have firing. Silver clay. Uh, amazing, amazing, amazing. Lots of you are messaging in for saying that. We can watch you there. Yeah. That's it. There perfect. Perfect. See, perfect. perfect. Not two forty-nine. Unbelievable. Oh, that's very satisfying. It is. I'm enjoying that. it now. <laughs> oh, I'm loving it. Great, isn't one ninety nine. That's unreal. Honestly, I get a couple. I would. I get a few. My coffee costs more than that. Yeah. Because the thing is, you, you know, when you're a silversmith as well, or, or when you're a jewelry maker, I shouldn't say silversmith. When you're a jewelry maker, it's nice to have a couple of the same thing. Because if you're anything like me, I'll be walking around the house with it, doing something with it, put it down, and then I'll be like, "Where's oh, it gosh, gone?" Oh gosh, I'm terrible. For and that. then I'm like, I can't find it anywhere. So yeah. Yeah, More I'm than one, for definitely. That. Yeah, I think I'm getting worse with oh, age honestly. as well. Honestly, just, <laughs> just uh, I mean, I am known in our house for putting things in ridiculous places, yeah. and I'm not joking. I'll put that in the freezer. <laughs> I will. It'll, you know, Mark will find it about two weeks later in the freezer with yeah. some peas or something. So you need. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> in with your peas. Who else is a pack of the petit pois? Uh, amazing. Well, and at one ninety nine, it's, good, oh, it's yeah. good. Good to have that backup plan, yeah, isn't definitely. it? Definitely multi buy that one. <laughs> definitely. Um, where did I put that brush? I know. Um, um, it was loads of there. Good job we had five hundred of them because the call screens has gone completely crazy. And lots of you getting threes, twos, fours, even Anthony and Kay in Nottinghamshire have got four. Uh, West Midlands have got four. I don't blame you. Like yeah. you said, it is one of those items you know you're going to use. I think Denise in Leicestershire, are you doing workshops, Denise, with 14? I can see Dawn yeah, with seven. Absolutely. Gloria wants eight, or are you just thinking, you know what, backup plans? Yeah. Because I guess, you know, you said you mentioned about the nail buff, and I know Claire's a big fan of yeah, a nail, nail buffer buff as often. well. Yeah. But if you've got something that is maybe, it's got more inny bits. Yeah. Yeah, you need to get in there. And, the you need to yeah. get in there and give it a really good scrub. If you've got more yeah. inny bits or undulations yeah. or textures, then I guess a brush is going to yeah, be better. Definitely. And the other thing it's brilliant for, which I forgot to mention as well, if you use a, a patina on your jewellery, which I'm going to show you a bit later how to do as well, you don't want to be heavy, heavy polishing it because you're going to pull all your pattern off. Yeah. It'll go with a brass brush afterwards. It'll leave. What it does is it just polishes the high points. Okay. And it and the pattern stays on underneath. Right. But if you really wanted to get that pattern off, there you really go. go get the it. brush on it. Yeah. Get the brush on it. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. It's busy. Busy, yeah. busy. Uh, see, you mentioned you picked that up today there and then it's all gone crazy on the phone lines. And a little hack as well. With Love your, your little hack. Your little bulldog and your little tweezers. Loving that. Um, amazing. Thank you, Nikki. Now, we have some other additional amazing projects to oh. bring you. Now, these are absolutely incredible. I just want to show you as well something else that's coming up. Um, these are your Black Series Type A Jadeite. It's coming up a little bit mm. later on in the show. It hasn't been on air in a while, but it would go perfectly alongside Nikki's kits. Yeah, definitely. Um, but also, it would be perfect alongside the next projects that I'm bringing you right now. Um, stock update. We actually started with 195 there's 43 left. So if you love type A, black series jade eye, it includes the cashmere grays as well. So yeah. very Gorgeous. rare, highly collectible, water content as wow. well, that translucency, it's coming up, jewelry makers. So, um, okay, let's bring you, which color did you say? The white, I can't believe these oh, projects. I, rem I don't remember what number, but I remember these going to the most yeah, ridiculous deal. They're incredible. There's only nine of them left. So you've got these gemstone, connectors multi-way connectors times they're gorgeous aren't they beautiful they are gorgeous they're like piano four. keys yeah so you get four imperial white jadeites yep and i'm holding some of them so that you can see the drill holes some of them not okay they're all drilled obviously one two three four five times you don't just get that though because I've also got a metre long length of strand. I don't, I don't remember exactly, but I remember it going to the most mad deal, this. There's nine left, we'll do it in one price crash. It is ridiculous, says Ross. Even yeah. without those spacer bars, you cannot buy those pearls like no. that. No! No! You know, they're, they're so hard to get. Freshwater pearls in particular. You get four of your Imperial White Type A Burmese Jadeite with the five hole so you could create multi rows. Oh, amazing. Amazing, amazing. It's ridiculous. Like you just said, Nikki, you can't buy the pearls for no. 69.99. And I made a, a multi-strand necklace uh, a couple of weeks back with the Amazonite kit yeah. that you could do with these pearls and it would be amazing. Gorgeous. Oh, be so beautiful. Yeah, you could mix them and mix them together. Yeah. So we've got a black jadeite opportunity in this yeah. project as well. So you could add those two. Definitely. Um, I only have seven. Well done, Marishka, Mary, um, and Swansea. Hello to you. New customer on the phone lines. I've got people. A meter of pearls. A meter, not 38 centimeters. Again, that on its own should be 69.99. These should be 69.99 on their own, not yeah. not for the four. Um, amazing. It is again. You've had some uh, awesome projects. Oh, honestly, it's so so lucky. Really, you know, I, I, my, my mind is blown every time I get sent something. I'm so, yeah. I'm so grateful. Love it. And we're looking at your jewelry as well here. Oh wow. Amazing! Oh, I love that you used it in a kind of. Oh, look at those! They weren't mine. Don't know who did them. Oh. 
We assumed, assumed we assumed it was you. No. They're amazing. So actually setting a little two millimeter stone there as well. Um, the final four opportunities, Linda in Yorkshire. Um, you've got yours. Congratulations. Pearls. Stunning. Those pearls are beautiful. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Well done, everybody. Um, okay, let's bring you the black jade oh. again, type A grade. Definitely piano keys. Oh, they're gorgeous, they're aren't stunning. they? Stunning. My kind of jewelry, this is. Yeah, me too. So I've got 11 of this one too. We'll do it in one price crash. So I'm showing you some facing you and some obviously yeah. so you can see the drill hole there as well. I would make earrings out of those. Oh. A pair of earrings out of two of them, definitely. I can't believe what it's oh, 69 99 That's Chanel. <laughs> It, it, it is, but it better. Is. Oh, yeah. But better because Chanel uses faux pearls. They do, and, and plated stuff. And, and, and not, uh, yeah. And they, yeah, they yeah. never use. And not jade eye. They never use black jade But I agree, ever. it's that Chanel monochrome, chic yeah. style. Yeah, love it's, that. It's timeless. Ah, oh, £23.33 and pence on your 0% interest split payment. £69.99. You know, if you've got both of those kits just. I still think it's less than what we sh what we would ordinarily be paying for one strand yeah, of pearls. Definitely. Um, and it's not just a strand, it's a metre. Yeah, and um, incredible pearls. It's a yeah. metre, Ross. Have you, yeah. And they, the shape of them is beautiful. Very the shape elegant. of those pearls, it's just gorgeous. If you your budget allows. Definitely. I mean, just all of that. If your budget allows, so sorry, that is the worst display it ever sorry Chris sorry um, <laughs> but you get the idea two meters of amazing pearls eight of your amazing uh, multi-way connectors now if you love that we've also got your black series uh, strand coming up in the next five minutes jewelry makers so uh, make sure you're ready for that one too let's bring you because we have this design gemstone connectors effectively um, these I think really do open doors don't they you yeah. know to actually be able to create you know the very regal multi-row designs yeah, it's about positioning your gemstones yeah. isn't it yeah now this one comes with a thread I love this kit I love it comes with your connector mm -hmm. or your clasp comes with not one but two of your multi-row connectors. Can you see those? Hang on, let me put one towards you so you can see the drill holes. Yeah. Made out of the gemstone itself. Made out of Amazonite, yeah. yeah. There you go. Is that better? And then you have... Gorgeous. It's, it's beautiful. I loved working with it. Amazing Amazonite in its natural form. The same quality that we've shown you previously that has been worked with in the likes of Harrods. So, but with Harrods, you're talking about one small slider bracelet. Yeah. And it's a just casual 290 pounds. It's fair play though, because it's, it's gorgeous. It's a, yeah, you're right. You're right, yeah. Nikki. They're not wrong. It's us no, that's it wrong. Is. Yeah, and that's what we need to remember when we're looking at these things. Because we look at other places and say, oh, they're so expensive. They're not. They're charging how much it should be. Or how much the gemstone actually is. Yeah. It's us. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. Now, you get a full strand within this opportunity, but is it longer than usual, Roscoe, this strand of Amazonite? Yes. It feels like it is because I thought they were like 38 centimeters, 36 centimeters, and the, but they're not there longer. Yeah, it definitely feels yeah. like it's longer. I'll double check that in a second. You get the two natural Amazonite triple row connectors, you get the beading thread, and then you get that lovely uh, box class there as well. So, natural Amazonite, we've said it lots of times recently. We believe 2024, 2025 is going to be a ma massive year. Yep. Uh, for this beautiful gemstone, lots of the big designs. And we were talking a little bit um, at greater length about Amazonite um, a little bit later on. Let me measure it for you because I think that's yeah, 50. It is really long. That looks like 50 yeah, to me. It is. Um, eh? Well longer. Um, and it comes with an instruction kit as well. Oh, does an it? Instruction pack, yeah, on how to make oh, oh, the necklace I made with it. It's gorgeous. It's like an asymmetric three strand necklace which you can make with um i mean i had amazonite left over afterwards i'm sure but it was honestly it's so nice so you get that instruction kit too well, it's 60 pack. it's 60 centimeters yeah 
60 centimetres now. No. I don't it's joke. Fabulous. Not joking. Not joking. 60 centimetres of natural Amazonite. You've got these wonderful, very Larimar vibes. Yeah. Oh, very and this tonal. is the necklace that we get the uh, that you get the instructions it alongside is. too. So beautiful, Nikki. Yeah, I was, it was so so lovely to make. And again, it was one of those things that you just sit on the sofa and just sit and make. It was just peaceful and beautiful. But you know what? In summer, maxi dress, big glasses. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'd have that on. Loving that vibe. Um, okay, how many do we have of this project? Exactly 50 on the nose. You get the instructions. You get 60 centers of, centimeters of your uh, natural Amazonite plus the uh, triple row oh. connectors. Not what you're paying. What? And you got the box clasp and you got the beading thread. Not. Wait, seriously. I mean, if that piece of jewelry was in, in, in an artisanal market, there's no way on earth you'd be looking at 20 quid. If I, if I sold... You know, if I sold that, and that one was silver plated, if I sold that silver plated, I'd be selling it around about 79 to 80 pounds. If it was sterling silver, I'd be selling it around about 200. Yeah. And I make no apology for that. You shouldn't. I wouldn't. No, you shouldn't. Just a few beads on a slider bracelet at Harrods, 290. Yeah, I know which one I prefer. Because, and this is what I've got to remember with jewelry maker, is that the gem, you know, you're selling like, a wholesaler we're jewelry makers and we buy from jewelry maker yeah you know we we buy in sort of wholesale prices a 100 percent 100 100 percent we're going even lower incredibly i've got 50 available jewelry makers you'll need to be quick to secure yours they're absolutely amazing aren't they there's a ton of things you could do with this Good point, Adam's just saying, but usually to benefit from wholesale prices, you have to buy a quantity, yeah, like, exactly. I don't know, 100 at this price or yeah. 200 at this price. £14.99. I'm sorry, we get, we're get we paying for, I think £14.99 is an unbelievable deal for the 60 centimetre strand of natural Amazonite, and then you're getting everything else for free. Yeah. You know, those beautiful connectors, you're getting that amazing uh, multi-row clasp, which is a box clasp as well. Do you agree? I think you're buying the strand and everything else is Definitely. for free. This is Ayrshire, gorgeous. Yeah, let's look, look, I'm not surprised. And the instructions, don't forget that. You get the instructions with it too. Yeah. Ayrshire, well done to you. Uh, uh, Somerset, Davinia, hello to you. Swansea, Multibine, Margaret, West Midlands, June, Pauline, Christine, another June, Brenda. Brenda in Surrey says, I'll have two at that price. Thank you very much, June. And this maker. is so feeding into that. You know, I talk about it a lot. But definitely, you know, the vibe for some of that boho vibe, that wilderness is everywhere at the moment. Yeah. I saw it um, on a shopping channel the other day that, you know, wilderness is the thing for summer. And it's all about these earthy tones and these love sea tones. That. And that strand of Amazonite is it. Yeah, love that. Definite sort of boho chic vibes. Yeah. Love it. Absolutely love it. Because you know what? Jewelry like that for me is not pretentious. No. It's comfortable. Yeah, it it's, is. you know, personality. Yeah. It's happy. Yeah. I love all that. Um, $14.99, well done. Make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. Congratulations. Now, um, it is time for your star buy. We launched over 200 of these when we first brought it to air. We are down to the final, did you say 40? 43. Um, this is a, a star buy opportunity and definitely one for the collectors and the connoisseurs. Yeah, now, I know that a lot of you know what's going on um, in the jade world. I know that lots of you are far more knowledgeable than I am, um, or even we are here at Jewelry Maker. However, we it's my responsibility to pass on and convey the messages in the current situation to those people that don't. So I might be repeating myself to some of you, but it's so important as, you know, if you're a new collector, for example, if you are wanting the rarest, the most valuable and desired gemstones in the world that we uh, pass that message across to you, this next star buy is exactly all of the above and it's coming your way at an unbelievable deal don't go anywhere it's up next when we first started bringing jade to our audience you know first first going back probably about eight years ago, maybe even more, give or take, don't quote me. Um, firstly, can I just point out, I bought Jade for the first time then, and it isn't the same as what we bring you today. 
Um, but ever since that, do you know Jewelry Maker brought Jadeite before Gemporia? Really? Yeah, before Gemporia I remember did. it coming in. Yeah, we actually yeah. had it in strands. Um, anyway, um, it was lovely, don't get me wrong, but it was quite a coarse crystal. Um, so it had mottling, it had like, you know, sort of textures across yeah. the surface, which is lovely, but you want it we're that much more knowledgeable about jade now we know what we're looking for and not only that over the years we have formed some pretty wonderful relationships and uh, um with business associates you know and i i, I don't want to keep name dropping but you know mason and Kay, for example are friends of ours so you know we mention them and show them the price they're not wrong with their pricing it's 100 percent us that are we talk about pillar and stone you know one of the world's global fonts of knowledge um is roland schlussel you know and we he will openly speak to us and advise us on our jade bernard stanley you just to name but a few are these are all individuals that are recognized in the jade world and it is down to each and every single one of them that for me anyway they're, they're the reasons, and Dave most definitely, why I own this gemstone. Um, relationships that are formed. In particular, I need to mention um, Bernard. Now, if it was not for Bernard, and Bernard doesn't just deal in jade, he deals in pearls as well, or rather he did. Um, we've we've been had a business relationship with Bernard for uh, well over a decade. Well, well over a decade. And it's he who brought us jade um over the past three years ago of course when the pandemic hit of course and it hit right just before the hong kong gem fair they didn't cancel it which was a bit naughty really uh, they didn't cancel it they postponed it and they postponed it daily mm. so it meant that all those ge uh, gem traders were just waiting they were just waiting, they were paying what all the costs that they were incurring to obviously have their thousands upon thousands of tons yeah. of whatever gemstones they might actually have either on the water or certainly in premises in around Hong Kong, which is not an inexpensive place. But it was down to that situation where Bernard sort of uh, uh, reached out to Gemporia, jewelry maker Gemporia and said, look, this is the situation, I um, do you want to buy it? I do 90%, he does 90% of his business at the Hong Kong Gem Fair. Incredible. Or rather he did. Um, and he said, this is the situation, can you help me out? And we were like, of course, of course, we will buy everything that you have. And that's exactly what happened. Now that's all gone, that, that initial purchase. But we've gone on and we've bought directly, be, uh, Dave's been to uh, Myanmar that very few people get the opportunity to go to catch in state. Very, very few people. Dave knows Stanley Yu, one of the most influential, respected individuals in the Jade world. And it's, again, those contacts, those relationships, those kind of conversations that they have over the past few years that are making this opportunity possible. Because make no doubt about it, Jade Eye is one of the world's top five rarest gemstones. It is also one of the world's top five most expensive gemstones and it was that before the mine closed you've got 800 years of history the burmese mine gone and that happened in 2020 everywhere else everywhere else the price of jadeite has gone through the roof through the roof however we don't listen to what's going on in the market we'll convey the message of course we, it doesn't reflect on our pricing. What you are about to look at, jewelry makers, now JDAC comes in a color wheel of colors. You can get imperial white, you can get green, you can get uh, um, imperial green, you can get lavenders, you can get reds, yellows, um, but you can also get black. Now black takes three times longer than any other color. So it is transitioned through all of those colors to reach the, the beautiful black series. And it's almost like, the, the perfect timing you know you've got your cashmere greys you've got the slightly moodier tones and then you've got the ultimate black in this opportunity black jade eye also forms in much smaller sizes so to be able to form and to put together an entire 38 centimeter strand takes a lot of collecting effectively but that collecting is no longer underway because it is mined out it is all but gone now i can't sit here and say I, I'm not a financial advisor, I haven't got a crystal ball, I can't tell you what's a good purchase and what's not a good purchase within reason 
all I can say is look, this is a gemstone that I am buying for my family. Because the reality is, never mind what happens in five years, 10 years, 20 years time. What's happening today? I can't buy this. Outside of this unique, wonderful bubble that is Jewelry Maker, I cannot buy natural type A black jadeite for anywhere remotely close to what you're about to see. So this is, I can't say the word, the I word, a legacy purchase. Yes. Good luck to you all. We launched originally years in its acquisition. We launched over 200. Sorry, just shy of, <laughs> 195 it was, just shy. I have 40 three available opportunities. It's incredible. It hasn't been on air for a couple of months, but now we have 43 remaining and we have approval to bring it to air, potentially for the last time. Now I'm giving you plenty of warning. We don't want anyone to miss out. Do you consider yourself a jade lover. Do you consider yourself, in particular, a Burmese jadeite lover? And in particular, are you one of those people that wants to source the rarest and most valuable gemstones? It's on your screens right now. Knot it, restrand it, keep it simple. That's the yeah, joy definitely. of jade jewelry, it's always yeah. simple. You know, you go on first dibs, not now, I don't want you to do it now. I'm just, you know, the moment I'm sort of talking slowly is I'm giving everyone the opportunity is in, after you've made your confirmation, go to places like Sotheby's, Christie's, Bonham's, First Dibs. Those four platforms, you will find Jadeite. May, and I say those because if you start looking online, in particular with Jade, it's a bit of a minefield because there is so, when it's as valuable, when a gemstone's as valuable and rare and everything that's gone on recently um, as, as jadeite is, it does leave itself exposed, exposed to being imitated. And there's also some fairly unscrupulous sellers that sell you an inferior gemstone, um, um, marketing it as jadeite, it's not jadeite, um, or it's treated. Um, and that's fine as long as they say that, but this is not treated, this is type A grade. In fact, I've just mentioned a few of those locations. Let me talk, let's go there. Let's go there together, here we go. So if you go to, is that first dibs? Yeah. Looks like first dibs, certified, 850 carats. So you're looking for that word in particular, certified. Yours is certified. Um, jade beads, although here on first dibs, they don't say if it's J, if it's nephrite or jadeite. Um, mm. Jade bead necklace, lavender green, black and gray. And gray, which is, but you can see that color. Oh, it says they're natural. There you go. What's that? There are two certificates indicating the jade beads are natural, untreated and unenhanced. The round bead shifts from a greyish colour um, under strong light or sunlight to black in normal light. Loving, loving, loving that. You are getting those colours within this amazing opportunity. So they are what? 11,800. Look, and you might be thinking, don't be so ridiculous, no, Al. No, 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 that's the price. That's it. <laughs> that is the, they are not wrong. That is the price of this gemstone. It's not ridiculous. It's, 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 that's what our expectations should be for Burmese jadeite in its type A grade. Here you go, here's another example. GIA certified. So we, we uh, certify our, ty our type A jadeite in a Chinese laboratory, which many actually prefer. Yeah. Um, anyway, so yours is certified too. Natural black jadeite beads in gold necklace. I mean, you could recreate that, right? So easily. £2,374. And that's fine. That's, that's fine. how much it should be. That's the price. It is the price of this gemstone. Um, all day long. What do they say? Natural black jadeite jade, 12 millimeter bead, bead by the garden. Is that right? Yeah. Um, style necklace on a 20 inch, 14 carat white gold chain, GI certified natural jadeite jade. Um, you get eight, eight rounds at over 2,000 pounds. 
they're not wrong. What you're about to see is wrong in the best possible way, if that makes sense. Yeah. This is why jewelry makers, when you know, when when I when I pass, and my girls inherit my jewelry. I'm not going to assume they know everything about the gemstones no. that I've been collecting over the years. So I'm putting pen to the paper uh, and, and sort of writing a few, this is what that is, this yeah. is what that is. But I know the Burmese mine is closed now. So what's the price of this? Well, oh, we've just seen 2,000, 11,000. What's, what's it going to be in 10 years? And that's it as well. I said, you know, and you think, oh, you know, if you're buying, uh, making to sell my customers, oh, my customers wouldn't pay that. Educate them talk to them about 100%. it and you would be surprised if you have confidence in what you're selling and you should do with something as incredible as this people will pay for it yeah because they will understand the value of it too and we're waking up to it in the west as well yeah we are learning the obsession of jadeite yeah. um yeah and i think it's no surprise that jewelry maker staff themselves and, and, and i'm sitting here today with bangle on We've all invested in jade. Totally. All of us. Absolutely. Yeah. I've got strands that I haven't done anything with. Literally just put away because it's the value of the gemstone. Yeah. Okay. We are about to make this opportunity possible. We originally opened with 195. Um, it's been under lock and key until today. I have 43 available for you right now. 130 carats. Um, we're about to introduce the graphics in three, two, one. Natural. Get your certificate of authenticity. Beautiful. The black series from your cashmere oh. gray to the darkest enigmatic black which technically speaking we know is actually like a very inky green color yeah i love the cashmere gray though me it's too stunning it's like a stormy sky it's beautiful do you know you can dye jades you can but obviously that's not investment quality no. type a grade which is what's on your screens right now the only way of creating black jade is time yeah. and it's millions of years and it's fascinating. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying about when you say to your customers, tell them, tell them, like, you know, what else telling you and uh, about the, the structure of it and the history of it? Your customers will want to know it. Yeah, it's so 100%. Interesting. You, know. you know, that's why I think most of the uh, of, of, of our jewelers, and I'm not saying our jewelers are complete, uh, um, are all, this isn't one of their usual gemstones, obviously, no. but, you know, when I worked in the Jews, this is not me di being disrespectful. When I was in the Jews, I had no way near as much knowledge as I do now, yeah. thanks to Jewelry Maker. Um, I didn't know about J I knew Jade, but I didn't know about its value and its rarity and the story mm -hmm. and how it's formed. I didn't know any of that. You can, you yeah. can share that information. And again, it's all bringing you uh, um, respectability as a, a as a supplier or a, or a jeweler. Now the graphics are live, and immediately we've got collectors getting involved. Our first price crash. Do you know, after everything we've just said and discussed, I can't remember what we took this to today. Okay, but to be here, and I'm not sitting here saying £999 is, is a small amount of money, obviously, but for what we're looking at it is, yeah. for what, you know, five beads was it at first dibs? All right, they're a slightly bigger size. Five type A Burmese jadeite, and a 20 inch necklace, £2,374. You could make that necklace or a version of probably about, I don't know, what do you reckon? Seven times over, maybe more? Yeah, and this is the kind of gemstone that you would buy by the bead. Yeah. You know, if, if I was buying, if I, you know, and I wouldn't be able to buy black jade out anywhere because you can't, you know, but if I was, it would be by the bead and it would be quite a substantial price by the bead. You yeah. would never buy, be able to buy a strand of it. But I've shown in the past a Cartier, it's a jade ring. Again, it doesn't say type A. It, Cartier, this is mine. Yeah. It doesn't say nephrite or jadeite, but a Cartier ring, and it's a cabochon, effectively. It's big, don't get me wrong. Yeah. 35,000 pounds, but they're yeah. not wrong. No, they're not. You know, that's the reality. 
we're bringing you natural type A jade dye in your black series, all down to the fat jewelry makers that Bernard, who is one of the world's biggest jade suppliers, is a personal friend of ours. He knows what we do. Yeah, he knows that we bring to bring to air amazing natural jade dye, and he knows we bring it at the most ludicrously low price tag. You know. But he also knows we we hopefully educate you on your gemstones, and that's great. That's good for him. Your next price crash. Two hundred and ninety nine pounds. It's it's just so beautiful to look at, and there's so much you could do with it. Just knot it. Yeah. I, do you know what? I I would knot it with red. I would knot it with red because yeah, red is I think such so. a significant colour. It would look incredible. With it would look amazing. It would. Amazing, amazing. Now, we have one of the, the actual strands that we've actually cut. And you said buying by the bead. Yeah, which is exactly how you would be buying it. You know, I said it, it would be ludicrous to think that you could buy it in a strand anywhere else. Well, Stan, Stanley, you were saying the only thing more expensive than a jade bangle is a strand. Yeah. Is an actual strand. Well, look at all of those. And that range. Yeah, that range of colour. Absolutely beautiful. Imagine that with pearls. You could ombre it. Yeah, pearls would be yeah. unbelievable. Even here at £299, jewellery makers, even here, natural type A jadeite. Not type B, not type C, not jade, jadeite. Mined out in 2020, after 800 years history. We are about to see 100 people join us on the web and on the phone lines because this, believe it or not, what? is not even your closing price, jewellery makers. Again, I have to say it, what gemstones am I buying for with the future in mind? Yeah. yeah? I am buying two in particular. I am buying jadeite. I am buying, no, three. Jadeite, nephrite, cotan in particular, and I'm buying pearls. Yeah. Those three in particular. We started with 43 and already... Originally 195, we've been allowed permission to bring it to air for you today. A quarter of the stock is confirmed. We're actually over allocated, but we are still going lower. I do think this is last chance saloon. It's the only black series jadeite opportunity that we've brought you here at Jewelry Maker. And it also might be the last because the mine's not operating anymore. And black jadeite didn't form in big vast boulders. They're more like the size of your hand. Yeah black jade eye yeah. millions of years to actually achieve black color there's no way of in speeding that process up and this is going to make the most incredible jewelry whether it's classic or contemporary it's going to work either yeah what no matter what gender identity this gemstone is going to work it's just it, it, it's enigmatic it's 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 stunning when you look yeah, at it it's it is. that it, from you know the really dark black through to that gorgeous gunmetal but when you look at the individual variants on yeah. the stones themselves it's it's like it's like a stormy sky it's, beautiful it's oh i like that yeah stormy sky not 2374 pounds no. not 999 pounds not even 299 pounds or ridiculously not even 99.99 now in 60 seconds we have 27 out of the 195 that we originally started with that's amazing we're bringing so quantities pay, like well, that yeah. You've got split pay. In 50 seconds, we are taking it to the launch price. I do think this is last chance saloon opportunities for us to get black jade eye. Um, look, and look, this is why we've, I've always said over the past couple of years in particular, I've been like, make hay while the sun shines. Make hay while the sun shines. Because we will look back on this wonderful opportunity, your acquisition that hopefully you're in the process of sourcing right now and go, that was mad, wasn't yeah. it? My goodness me, jewelry maker used to bring type A Burmese jade eye and we used to do it at double figure prices. We, never mind, that was mad. This is mad. Current. You know, but you think about it. We're going to look back like we do with Russian Alexandrite. We source, believe it or not, Russian Alexandrite, which you cannot get yeah. and is tens of thousands of pounds per carat now. And people want it. Yeah, That's and we thing. brought it to wear at low, yeah. ridiculous prices. And we go, oh, do you remember that? Do you remember that? Do you remember that? That was silly, wasn't it? We're still doing it, we haven't learnt. <laughs> but that will never change because this has always been the ethos of our company. If you go on first dibs, 
<laughs> if we were doing that, and I reckon you could make seven or eight out yeah. of this one strand. Easily. And even if we said, okay, first dibs, you can have them. Um, what's that? We took eight. Would you sell that? There's no way on earth we would sell this on first dibs for £79.99. No. There is People would think it was fake. Yeah. They would. If you tried to sell it for that price, people would think there was something wrong with it because of the value. Yeah, you can underprice, can't you? Yeah. You can absolutely underprice. Yeah. So look, how many beads can you see on that? Eight beads, did you say? Okay. There you are. So there's your eight. I know they're different sizes. It doesn't really matter. But look, if we were recreating that beautiful necklace and we were to bring that, put that on first dibs for seventy nine ninety nine. Um, yeah, that's ridiculous. Actually mm -hmm. ridiculous. Yours is natural, certified, type A, Burmese, the Black Series, the only strand that we've ever done um, called the Black Series. Here at Jewelry Maker, we started with 195 and today you're going to see it sell out. At truly, truly amazing. You don't just get eight though, you get a huge 38 centimetre strand on this opportunity. That's ridiculous. Do you know what I'm thinking as well as Father's Day's coming up? Oh, lovely. What more beautiful present could you give yeah, to that would be gorgeous. your children's father yeah. than a bracelet made out of that? An early I love bracelet. that. I might have to get this if they stop permitting that is. I've got a little Pixu, a Nanhong Pixu that I bought on the original launch. And I yeah. uh, you know the intention of obviously making something for my husband. Um, imagine the Pixu on this. Oh, it'd be gorgeous. And that's going to be something that is going to be passed down. Yeah, you know, it's it heirloom is. jewellery. Yeah. Um, we had 43. Look, that's the eight. You don't need to do anything fancy with it. String it, use your macrame. Yeah. Don't be afraid of using your macrame. Don't think that that, that doesn't elevate it because macrame is a very typical thing to use oh, yeah. with jade. It's, well, they you know, say, don't humble. they? Gold has value, jade is priceless. So yeah. they don't often put gold with it, yeah. to be truthful. Um, do you want to see how many we have left within the vault, jewelry makers? Yeah, 12. There's 12 left. You don't just get those eight though, everybody. You get no. all the whole strand. We've just cut this so you can see the quality of them uh, close and personal. The final 11, Patricia's just got two. Yeah, Annette, Leslie, fine. Suzanne, Hertfordshire, Angela, Diana, Patricia, Surrey, Staffordshire, Maker, Catherine, uh, Janet, Tynanwear, Davinia, Pat, uh, Anne. You disappear off the bottom of the screen so I can't see you all. Um, I've got literally seven of these left. We're gonna do a minute to close this auction. Your deal of yeah. the day is coming up after the break. Remember, this might well be, and it is, it's a fair assumption this, isn't it? It might well be the last time we bring you Black Jade Eye opportunities, certainly in a Black Series. The mine has closed, um, closed in 2020. That's closed after 800 years. You know, you think about the price surge also of Jade Eye. Imagine when Cotan is announced, complete closure. Yeah. Complete closure, that's 10,000 years. Um, well, if you do love Cotan, we might be able to squeak some in, uh, squeeze some in, squeak some, squeak squeeze some, some in <laughs> today's show as well. Cardiff, Davinia, well done. Suja, well done. Lisa, well done. Someone's Renee, Maker, Julie, there. yeah, Betty, Angela, Jay, and Gwyneth, Cumbria. Um, there are three chances left remaining. Get them before the break. Yeah. We've got your deal of the day. Those interlocking circles coming your way. Um, and more from the wonderful Nikki. Don't go anywhere. Good luck and congratulations. We'll see you after this. Did you know that instructions come included with every designer project? Dive right into your jewellery maker project with confidence and clarity. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a first-time creator, our step-by-step -step guides ensure success every time. Just download them from your Jewelry Maker account on our website. Get started today and experience the joy of hassle-free crafting. Instructions included, creativity unleashed. I get to bring uh, to all of you the Jadeite Zodiac Box. 
Now this, I'm gonna be honest, is a passion project for me. This is something that is quite selfish. You know, I put this together because I wanna own it. Um, many years ago when I started dealing in Jadeite, I noticed that all my friends who are Jadeite dealers and multi-generational Jadeite dealers all had a Zodiac collection. You know, all of the 12 iterations of the Zodiac carved into Jade. And I thought, oh, okay, that's the badge of honor for a Jade collector. And it is. So I began, uh, every time I went to the Far East, I'd buy a piece, you know, whether it be the carved monkey or maybe the ox or the rat. And I, would, I had about three or four. And then my friend Bernard, who's been in the industry for about 30 years, turned to me and said, throw them away. You know, sell them back into the industry because what you're not building is a collection. And he explained to me the reality of building a Zodiac collection is like getting a, a royal flush in poker. You need them all to be the same suit. What he means by that is, all the jade needs to match. The style needs to match, the size needs to match. There's no point just having a mixed assortment. Even if you get all 12, the collection is undesirable, it's deemed incomplete. And that's why a true Zodiac collection, you know, for, for the right colors, for the right size, usually takes a few generations to complete. In fact, it's something that's usually passed down from father to son. Maybe the father collected three, the son then takes uh, the torch and continues, and maybe then even passes it down to his son. We've worked tirelessly to put together a complete collector series, and this might be the first time in the UK that one becomes available in one foul swoop, and more importantly, affordably. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your jewelry room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewelry Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewelry Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewelry Maker. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Welcome back, everybody. Congratulations on your amazing Jadeite opportunities. We have got, I can confirm, we have got some of the Kotan that we've managed to, managing to squeeze in today's show. They are truly remarkable. Please don't forget these amazing earrings as well. The Mickey Moto inspired earrings that are coming your way. Um, I, I literally went in and got my phone just so I can get these. I'm yeah, <laughs> totally. um, they're beautiful. So these are coming your way, jewelry makers, but not yet. Um, now for your deal of the day, a little bit behind time, so we've got some time to make up, but do you know what? I know these are gonna go crazy, because I think one of the reasons why we love jewelry, not is just because of the aesthetics of it, or, you know, um, it's not just about the exchange or the gifting, you know, the occasion that is marked by offering jewelry. It's the meanings behind lots of gemstones, of course, lots of colors, designs, and motifs. And your deal of the day, of which you can see, they're all available on pre-order right now, all of which are birthstones as well. So if that's uh, fitting to you, we have natural ruby, we have sleeping beauty turquoise, and also we've got your amazing tanzanite there. So all, I, I, uh, I can't choose, they're all absolutely beautiful. But this look 
if you research, and I did last night, I was uh, a good hour or so looking at different interlocking circles and sort of thinking, okay, so this is obviously something that has meaning, and it does. Um, the interlocking circle necklace, this was describing a necklace, which you'll see in a minute, is a symbol of endless love, devotion, and memories that is unbreakable. The interlocking circles were designed to display that one cannot live without the other, it represents the unbreakable bond between two loved ones. This makes uh, just the right gift, oh, uh, just the right gift for Valentine's Day, an anniversary, or simply just because. Um, and but it's not just necklaces, it is also bracelets. So again, I've got another I can show you. Um, the Together Interlocking Circle Bracelet, you can see very similar to ours almost identical to ours without the gemstones there um, the together interlocking circle bracelet in silver is a gorgeous minimal bracelet to celebrate a relationship of two the two interlocking rings one larger and one smaller represents two lives intertwined together this would be a perfect bracelet to represent a mother and daughter bond a romantic relationship or a special friendship uh, where two people's lives are intertwined for all time love that absolutely love that this is Tiffany's. Tiffany's and co have got an interlocking circles chain. Don't really do much of a write up on it, but it's about 500 pounds, I think, that bracelet from memory. And again, I have to say, almost exactly the same, without the actual gemstones itself. Very delicate, quite dainty bracelet. If you, yeah, if you, put, if you want that in yellow gold, it goes to 1,300 pounds, by the way. Um, but again, it's the design, the meaning behind the actual design, the interlocking circles, circles what that's all about as well. Moving on, it says two, uh, this was, a, again, a description of one design that I'd probably show you in a moment. Uh, two organic hammered rings are forged and inter interlinked to represent an unbreakable bond, symbolizing eternity, everlasting love, friendship or empowerment. The interlocking ring bracelet has personal meaning to its wearer. And that's what I've always been a massive advocator of, is jewellery is not just our, oh, happy birthday, oh, happy anniversary, or happy Valentine's Day, or um, whatever it might be. It, they can be. There can be a story written into the design as well. Um, and I really like this one. Do you know, believe it or not, this slide actually comes from Amazon. So they do a version on Amazon, and they say, no matter where you go, no matter what we do, you will always have me and I will always have you. Ah, I love Ooh, it. Nice. And again, you can see the larger link, larger circle into the smaller circle as well. So um, theirs was base metal, if I remember. Um, but again, that could be for anyone. That could be a friendship. That could be a, a marriage, a relationship, a, a um, sibling love. It could be maternal love. So many different reasons to actually give this. Again, lovely designs. I can just show you almost exactly the same as what you're about to see, only I think yours are better because you've got the gem encrusted. Um, you've got natural ruby. You've got genuine turquoise or even tanzanite. And I think there's one more. Is that right? Or is that the last one? That's the last one. But it's the meanings behind that. And I get a feeling, Nikki, this is something that you would love as oh, well. absolutely. And I make jewelry like this. I mean, they made an interlocking heart bracelet in the yeah. kits from nine o'clock. But I love them because yeah. they're so instantly recognisable. Everybody kind of knows the sentiments and the meaning behind them. And I love those. I yeah, love they're them. gorgeous, I aren't they? Um, well, let's show you all the way around. This is the Tanzanite one, the interlocking rings, but it's encrusted with beautiful. Look at the quality of that Tanzanite. Stunning. Yeah, just gorgeous, isn't it? Um, so you've got that wonderful cornflower blue on a dainty bracelet. So it is about the links rather about rather than the actual chains of the bracelet. Yeah. You also see, uh, certainly on Adam's recording, you can see the extender chain there as well. So it's, you know, one size fits all basically. Um, you can add, embellish that even more. So we have this in the Tanzanite, we have it in beautiful turquoise and we also have it in natural ruby your interlocking links starting with the ruby now speaking personally um my daughter my eldest daughter um she's a july baby so i feel like that's that's the one that i yeah. should choose you know that mother and daughter bond Definitely. that you see um, or maybe you got married in the month of July. Oh, that's a Something nice like idea. that could be like an anniversary that. or met your partner, spouse, friend, whatever mm -hmm. it might be. There can be lots, even meaning into the gemstone. Now, believe it or not, when you see the quality of this ruby as well, it's not diffused. It's not even heat treated. It's totally natural. 
Look at the quality of that ruby. It's stunning. It's beautiful. It's so clear as well. Look at that. Amazing. Clarity. How many do we have of each of these, Roscoe? 70 of the ruby. Okay. And I think it's going to be something that everyone absolutely loves. So don't wait. Shop ahead. You've got natural ruby. Maybe worthwhile getting your certificate of authenticity. You know, we saw Tiffany's & Co. That was about £500, I think it was. Some, there or thereabouts. Just shy of £500, yeah. Um, no gemstones. No, it's all sterling silver. You had Amazon, can I tell I, I can't remember, but that was base metal, so I shouldn't really compare. We had another bracelet that was £61. No gemstones, no ruby, just solid sterling silver. And I could probably, re there's loads of different designs. There was necklaces um, that you could see with the interlocking links as well. And they weren't £49.99. pence. We're bringing you natural ruby, the meaning and the sentiment behind the interlocking links, and we're not stopping here. There are 70 available opportunities. I'm going to place this on the wrist so you can actually see how it looks against the skin. Good luck, everybody. 70 is not a huge quantity, especially not. <laughs> Not for a deal of the day, no. and especially not at wow. under £20. That's absolutely ridiculous. Where in the world do you know will bring you genuine ruby, beautiful, solid 925 sterling silver with natural ruby at anywhere near £20 price insane. tag? Do you know how hard that would be as a jewellery maker? How difficult that is to do? They're all flush set. That's, you know, into, into, into the surface. It's a difficult task. Yeah, it is. There's no way I'd even attempt it for that kind of money. No. <laughs> There's no point. No, I mean, we found one affordable one. It's a silver link bracelet, 45 pounds. 45 pounds. It's nice. Yeah. I like it, but I prefer ruby. Thank you very much, especially natural Definitely. ruby. Do you know, I like the fact that this is that little bit daintier as well. I do. It's not too... It's not too... It's not in your face, is no, it? No, because it's, it's the sentiment behind yeah, pieces is. like this, isn't it? Yeah. We're at £19.99 pence only, and we are going even lower. Astonishing. Crazy. If you, if you are going to sell this, if you are somebody who sells it, I would not sell this for less than £50, because somebody will think that it's not real rubies if you sell that for less than uh -huh. 50 pounds. Absolutely. Yeah. And you'll find it in all, this inspiration anyway, you'll find it in all the big designer shops. Yep. You'll find it in Goldsmith. It's Here so, we go. so, so recognisable, that symbol. Thomas Sabo, yeah. Yeah, it is. And the meaning's almost, even without knowing, the meaning yeah, is obvious, it isn't is it? Absolutely. Um, 89 pounds. Even if you didn't know, it's, the, it's sort of that eternity, yeah. that so the memories, subtle, but eternal gorgeous. bond. It is. You can make that connection, can't yeah. you, subconsciously? 14 pounds and 99 pence. And like you said, that's something you could buy your best friend. It doesn't have to be a romantic thing. No. You know, I, I think that would be a beautiful friendship gift. Yeah, like, absolutely. You know? What are you doing, Ross? I, I, I genuinely, I, honestly, I genuinely can't believe you're doing this. <laughs> I, I 40, really, really they're not can't. base metal. They're natural rubies. I know. It's solid 95. We're going again. We've run out of yeah, time. I Is it time, Ross, that's forcing your hands here? Them. Let's do it. Let's do it. Shop ahead on the others as well. We've got 70 yeah. available opportunities. So beautiful. It's so giftable as well. Yeah. Put they this are. in a nice pretty box. We've brought yeah. some lovely boxes recently Definitely. here at Jewelry Maker. And you've got that meaning behind. Again, that. it can be a birthday, anniversary. It could be, uh, um, yeah, maybe the, the month you got met. Maybe you just know someone absolutely loves Ruby. It's even a gorgeous uh, teacher present. Oh, you know, it is. You know, say you're in year six you know and your what? child is going to secondary school. What an amazing present Do you know teacher. what? Forty yeah. ninety nine gifting yeah. ruby absolutely put it away there's your secret santa there's present. your secret santa present absolutely amazing do you know your teacher your teacher's not going to know what what, yeah. what what to say when Brilliant they receive amazing present. i want to join you on this yeah definitely. that's ridiculous it is ridiculous you can't you can't get a pot plant for that can yeah. you genuinely no you couldn't you know that that that's an afterthought 12.99 it is I buy, findings, I buy findings for more than I that. Know, I do that's buy extended ridiculous. chains that cost more than that. 
Oh, I bought for for um, talking to teacher gifts. I bought like a planter, a small planter with, and it had on the front, "Thank you for helping me grow." Yeah. On the front of it, it was ever so sweet to give to a teacher when Willow went from in infant school to to to, to yeah. junior school, and it was more than that. I can imagine. Imagine giving that to a teacher. Blow their mind. You'd have to say that's Ruby. Yeah. It is Ruby. That's straight you know. A's for the rest of the year, please. Yes, please. <laughs> Twelve pounds and ninety-nine pence only. Look at the quantity; these are absolutely flying out yeah. the door. Can we shop ahead on the turquoise? Yes. Oh wow! And you can shop ahead also on your Tanzanite. Love it. Absolutely love yeah. it. So the turquoise is coming up next. Always a firm favourite, isn't favorite, it? My favourite, definitely. I'll leave the last eight of this one. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Right, let's do the turquoise. I love the turquoise. Yeah, I do. I love the turquoise. I could wear that today. I could throw that on and wear it. Well, this is the thing, you could put it on and never take it off. Yeah. And you've got, let me just show you this too. You've got, what, a good inch, possibly even an inch and a half extender. Yeah. So it is pretty much one size fits all, isn't it? Yeah, and also, also you, could, you could easily turn that into a necklace if you wanted to as well, yeah. so easily. Yeah, absolutely. I'll just drape it across the back of the wrist so you get an idea. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oops, sorry. So pretty. I can't think, it's, it's certainly for me, like a young woman who wouldn't love that. No, exactly. It's, you know, it's so on trend, it's, uh, you know, and I can imagine Cleo rolling her eyes when I say things like on trend, but to be honest, she keeps me very up to date in, yeah. in, you know, in what is on trend, and that is it. Absolutely. It's timeless, chic. Yeah. Every jewellery house is still doing this design yeah. in some way, shape or form. We're at 1999, sorry, Ross. Phone lines are about to go crazy. You know, let's not forget, this is 925 sterling silver, but it's also... Sleeping Beauty Sleeping turquoise. Beauty Turquoise that was mined out in yeah. 2012. And if you tell people about Sleeping Beauty Turquoise and you talk to them, it's such a romantic story in itself. Yeah, it is. People love it. I would say Sleeping Beauty is one of my most popular gemstones. I'm sure. Oh, shush. <laughs> What did you do? We have 150 available opportunities. I just buy them all now. That's it. Yes! What on earth? Nine pounds. Do you know, again, I, I, feel, I, I feel almost guilty saying this, but you can't buy costume jewellery for that price. No, you can't. These aren't costume jewellery pieces. No. This is solid 925. The same as what you found in Thomas Sabo and Tiffany's and Co, by the way. And yours is actually yeah. genuine gemstone encrusted. What on earth? Look, that is Secret Santa. Sorry it to is. say it. I'm thinking of a high street jeweller where you could buy accessories, if you know the one that I yeah, mean. Yeah, I do, totally. So they'd be twice, three times that price in there and people 100%. would pay it. And they'd be plated. Yes. This isn't plated, it's solid, uh, solid precious metal and they are beautiful Robin Egg Blue Sleeping Beauty. Yeah, gorgeous. 9.99. Put this away in the present drawer, what's not to love? Yeah. Because is. jewellery is a very personal thing, but the thing, I think when you actually start gifting something which has a meaning behind it, yeah. it can be, it, you can be a little bit more uh, um, comfortable um gifting a design you can say well explain it say well actually yeah. the interlocking link is all about friendship or it's all about love or memories or an unbreakable bond oh i love all that absolutely love all that now for your tanzanite jewelry maker same design beautiful quality i've got 150 available do you know what i'm going to say as well easter not everybody wants chocolate not everybody wants True. easter eggs you know it, it just it's a price of an True. easter egg you know, and, and I think certainly like if I was buying for my mum, she, she wouldn't want chocolate because she doesn't really like chocolate. But that... That's very true. You know. That's very, very true. Or let's be honest, if you're giving to someone that's younger, yeah. they get a lot of chocolate. Exactly. A lot. So it's like gifting something that yeah. isn't just another, another egg. No. You know, and it's meaningful. And I think Easter also, it, you know, it, it's 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 a, a celebration that lots of people have. Ostara is, uh, you know, yeah. pagans celebrate it as well. And what a gorgeous thing, an Ostara gift for someone. Oh, beautiful. I love that. Good luck, everyone. I have 150 of these. You've got beautiful cornflower blue, genuine tanzanite. Not, not, not an imitation stone. This is genuine yeah. tanzanite in solid 925. 
It's a finished piece of bracelet. You can always embellish it. You're the designer, so you can do that. Yeah. However, it's a, it's a stunning piece as is. And you could find literally countless examples of the interlocking links, the meaning behind the interlocking links across the web and across many high-end jewellers. 9 99 is frankly ridiculous. It is. I honestly ridiculous. I can't I can't it's even we, if we were talking about that part at 9.99 if it was plated at 9.99 it honestly it I'd still be like that's silly oh my goodness if it had one tanzanite in it yes I'd or still none. say it. yeah I'd, or I'd, none at all know, no piece of tanzanite and sterling silver jewelry should be a tenor yeah none if it was just silver just yeah sorry i'm i'm, I'm crossing myself you see the silver that. necklace that i made with the yeah. circle in it in the nine o'clock kits mm. i would sell that for 45 pounds and i think that was quite cheap yes. i'd say there you go guys you know and i'd sell droves of them i'm sure you know because it's really nice <laughs> and then you've got that. you could buy this sorry to sound a little bit uh, uh a little bit unscru is it unscrupulous would that be the word i know what you're going to say but i don't think it is if you bought this yeah. and then just sold it on straight away. I don't think that's unscrupulous because I think we need to remember that that's what jewellery maker is doing. They're giving you trade prices true. so that you true, can true, mark true. up and sell it on. Amazing. I know. Amazing. 9.99, that's ridiculous. It is. Ridiculous. Um, add it to your basket. I know it's only March. Get in for Christmas presents. Put it away. Honestly, Christmas presents. I buy, I buy one for all my friends. Yes. Yeah. You know somebody that's having a child? Well, Tan's Night is the gemstone of new beginnings yeah. as well. So you've got that meaning. Love that. You've got that bond, yeah. mother and daughter. If you know someone that's about to have, ha have a baby. If you know someone that's about to have a birthday, an yeah. anniversary, or you just know someone. You've just got a group uh, of friends and you want to, yeah. you know, you love each other. You just other. know someone who yeah. deserves a nice treat. Yeah. Here you go. It's like a hug as well from one person I to another. I like it. I love it, I love it. I did go down like a little rabbit hole, actually. I was oh, like, there was the, the whole like mathematical interlocking oh, well, links and everything. I loved, I loved the whole thing about circles. Circles is a whole other rabbit yes. hole. Yes, it was like universe and yeah. everything, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but I did go down the mathematical route and I was like, right, you're losing me now. They yeah. started using words that the I don't Fibonacci understand. number sequence. That, yes, <laughs> yes. I was like, okay, lost, completely lost. Well done, everybody. Make sure you're checking out your baskets on those incredible. Okay, let's Let's move on because we've got a lot to squeeze in. Um, we have the launch oh. of your Mozambique, the only opportunity that we have. Oh. There are 50. It is totally natural. The only strand of Mozambique Amazonite that we have in the entire business. Totally natural. Um, so for those of you that were loved your Peruvian ice Amazonite, gone that's gone david german's got the entire remaining quantity so we have sort of found this location it is now hailed as the best in the world look at it the best amazonite in the world for obvious reasons um do you, do you know the i i know it's hard that is because the proof they've both got such such similarities but such differences mm. as well because the peruvian is very translucent um, but I actually like the markings that you yeah, see in in, 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 in Amazonite as well. Yeah. Um, so you've got an op opacity to it, but you've still got the glow and you've still got that color. So this is coming up. It's being held as some of the best in the world. You've also got, let's not forget, um, mm. Ross, producer Ross was given um, rain, basically. He was like, free rain, go on, choose what you want. Because he's off for his birthday over the weekend. So... Um, and he did he did push it I'm not gonna lie he could have had pearls he could have had any gemstone that he wanted he actually gravitated towards your Nan Hong on the recent news that has been announced the Nan Hong mine um, has closed um, and he said well, you know what um, you're gonna have lots of treats Ross aren't you on your birthday you get spoiled rotten yeah yeah get spoiled and and and, and and pampered and you know treated and whatnot he's like i'm gonna pass those treats on to you guys at home so yeah you do deserve it you do deserve it um so you get both beautiful strands totally natural mind out mind out so we'll talk to them more about that unbelievable deal also um we have some last of stock opportunities in your cotan jade <gasps> stunning oh 
my goodness me. So we spoke about 800 years history with your Burmese. You've got 10,000 years history with Kotan Jade, and it's on the verge of, uh, uh, got about, they reckon about two years left. So these are very, very last of stock opportunities. Also, time permitting, Tahitian pearls. Also, you know that we 10 years harvest of Tahitian pearls has been bought out, so we can't buy it. Neither could Charlie Barron. If Charlie Cut Barron, who used to supply Van Cleef, used to get right, I remember mentioning Van Cleef on air with Charlie the once, he was like, uh, please, please, don't, you know, because he's very well spoken, isn't mm -hmm. he? He got quite, he got quite cross with me for talking about Van Cleef and our pals. I was like, well, that's what we do, it's what we do, we're a shopping channel, that's what you do. Um, anyway, it, uh, yeah, he used to deal directly with Van Cleef and our pals, his personal friends, as he used to say. Um, and at Cartier, he can't buy Tahitian pearls anymore. So look at these. Look at that one. Can you see it there? Tahitian par uh, pearls, the future harvest of a decade, are all, they're still being harvested. Oh, wow. But they're not being sold. Look at that. I know. Amazing. They are coming up, jewelry makers. Now, we're going to dive into the wonderful world of Kotan. But before we do, let's bring you a massive deal on pristine. Ooh faceted clear quartz it is our it's our colorless diamond opportunity isn't it now we've got a lot to bring you in the next couple of hours so just going to give you one of those little kind of warm-up deals shall we say a little warm-up deal amazing now clear quartz the diff and i know i say this every single time but it's so important clear quartz is um, rare as a gemstone, abundant as a mineral, if that makes sense. Um, as a mineral, it's what you, I describe as like compact snow. You find it sort of pushed against the side of the road. However, clear quartz as a gemstone is like this. It's diamond-like, it's dazzling, it's fiery, it's scintillating, it's lustrous. And for us here as jewellery makers as well, where we would struggle to get a strand of diamonds, wouldn't we? Yeah. Um, certainly of that length and of that colourless quality um, and clarity, it's going to cost a pretty penny. So this is our alternative. Um, Capriccio bracelet. Oh, weaving, kiss cross, yeah. spacer beads, knotting, tassels. There's so much that you could do. Every time I bring you a strand like this, and I do mean every, they fly out the door. Because the opportunities are limitless basically aren't they definitely as a jewelry maker they're, they're the strands that you want to have i've got that exact strand at home and i'm just sitting looking at it all the time it's on my work desk yeah. and i don't make anything out of it because it's so gorgeous and because i i love uh, crystal healing and gemstone energy yeah. clear quartz is the master healer it's 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 you know it's it's the king of gemstone it's, it is you know it is it's the ultimate isn't yeah, it it's it is. the ultimate um, and I think you're not alone in those in those sort of feelings as well. Yeah, metaphysically, but also visually. Yeah, visually beautiful. so beautiful. There's so it much is. potential. You could just put them on a stretchy bracelet. You could use them as an alternative to a knot or a spacer yeah. bead. Are we doing this now? Okay, do bear with us. I tell you what. Just before, while we wait for the graphics a second, I also one thing I forgot to mention. Are these earrings? Mm -hmm that are coming up. I need these, Ross. Yeah, me too. How many do you have of each of these? 60 of the yellow with 100 of the silver. I have to have the yellow. Me too. Well, they're inspired by Mickey Moto. Yeah, they're the same as Mickey Moto. They're, they're the same, yeah. They're the same. Only they're not 1,700 pounds. No. You know, a hundred of the silver, I need these. They're stunning, they are. I will be honest, I'll make a confession, and I do know the managing director, I've seen him already this morning walk past, I am buying these on air. Yeah, I am too. Yeah, I make no apologies we'll, for it. We'll be it. in it together. Yeah, it's all good. We can both yeah. have the slap on the back of the wrist take together. It. I'll take it's it. It's worth it, isn't it? It is worth it. They're so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Yeah. We're launching these as well. 
amazing absolutely amazing jewelry makers there's loads to squeeze in your kotan opportunities are coming your way your tahitian pearls coming your way nan hong and the best the the hailed as the best location in the world supply for your um for your amas and i we we don't have any more peruvian that's gone mm -hmm. david german's bought all that the remaining quantity and it's, it's actually rumored to be mined out now as well um but this location from mozambique is hailed to be the best in the world so a lot to squeeze in um between now and your amazing masterclass, which i'm very very excited about as well jewelry makers um all about your bezel strips is our is our computer screen is it our computer pane just on this one strand okay i tell you what we'll try and sort that out but um in the meantime let's bring you the coat down um i'm gonna ask chris could you pass me one of our posh taller cream busts mm. thanks <laughs> thank you kindly thank you because when we're talking about cotan you know cotan is the original jade you know, we talk about Burmese in the fact that it actually has, what, uh, 800 years mining. When we are talking about nephrite jade, Kotan is that pinnacle. In fact, probably, I think many would agree, of all varieties, whatever the location, whether it's Kachin State, whether it's Kotan, whether it's Guatemala, and I think most people know that this is the most valuable variety of jade there is in the world, and it has been historically for 10,000 years. 10,000 years. Did you know that most of your Kotan jade, though, is actually, uh, um, they know it's, they've never found the primary deposit. This is all, it's all washed down through, through the, uh, um, the Kotan River. Still to this day, they actually uh, wade into the river, um, um, wade into the river um, and search for it basically under moonlight. So they believe that the jade will actually glow under moonlight now jewelry makers this is if you were to research it again kotan jade the actual price sorry this bus has been a nightmare um if you were to research the price per carat weight completely translucent uh kotan jade you'll find staggering amounts staggering prices per carat and it's quality just like this again sorry to keep wittering on but when i talk about the gemstones that i'm buying for my future generation uh, for my family and future generations kotan is absolutely on that radar because 10,000 years, let's just, just digest that for a second, 10,000 years of mining on the verge of depletion within the next two. And even if it was still plentiful, we would not, it's still one of the most expensive varieties of jade in the world. In fact, we have that, the most expensive piece of jewelry ever sold actually had a colon and diamond in the center. The circle of heaven that surrounded it was Kotan jade. Now we have the very fine, uh, final few opportunities. The only reason, and I know, look, I know there's people who will be playing sort of devil's advocate right now and kind of thinking, okay, well, how are you doing it then? How is jewelry maker bringing a gemstone that is after 10,000 years of mining on the verge of mining out? And how are you doing it at an affordable price tag, comparatively speaking? Look, I've told you briefly the story before. Steve Bennett, our founder, bought um, a parcel of Burmese jadeite a few years ago. It's not a quick return that, by the way, you have to cut it, process it, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so they went in partnership on a Burmese jadeite purchase where they buy them by the boulders. You've probably seen the videos and recordings of it. They did very well. They knew they weren't gonna lose money. It was like, how much can they possibly make? Basically, they split the, split the boulder in half. We used that to purchase our Kotan jade. It was not a monetary transition, it was actually a jade transition. Um, it's that reason and that reason alone that we're bringing you opportunities like this. Look at the quality of your uh, of your Kotan. You've got spinach green, apple green, what's that? For true, we don't see the four millimeter size very often. Normally, um, if you see Kotan, it's in the drum-like shape, so it's nice mm. to see it in the rounds as well. How many have we got then, Roscoe? 19, oh, one nine, so very, very limited. Same. But you know what? That's my, uh, uh, like, naughty L for being a bit complacent there. We're lucky to have one. 
Yeah. We are lucky to have one. If you look at any of those auction houses, if you see translucent, genuine, laboratory certified Cotan Jade, of which this is, they will have one. And it'll be upward bidding, not down. It's too low where we are right now. But it's not where we're stopping. It's far too low where we are right now. But it's not your price. In fact, we are no way near. Again, I really need, it's my duty to hi highlight research Cotangade. And it will say the history, it will talk about 10,000 years. You'll find some lovely drawings of, you know, uh, the jade pickers, they used to call them, wading into the Kotan River thousands upon thousands of years ago. And Kotan forms much smaller than Burmese jade, I, almost like pebble, pebble size that fits in the palm of your hand. I don't know if you've got any of these photographs that fit in the palm of your hand. Again, much like, uh, much like uh, your Burmese jade, you are looking for translucency and you're looking for in particular colors. So look, you can see much, much, much smaller in their size than what you would see with, coat, with Burmese. We're at 499 pounds. I have 19 available opportunities. And your next price is still not where we are closing. Mm. Spinach green to Kotan is what imperial green is to, Nef uh, to Burmese. And you have spinach green color. You, the ones at the, uh, and it's mirror image as well. Can you see that? So you could literally restrand this if you wanted to. We rarely ever see four millimeter in any variety of jade, especially not the Kotan. This is a gem, a, an opportunity for the collectors. And again, I have to be really cautious what words I choose, but look, it's a gemstone that I am buying with the future in mind. You know, um, advice as well from Dave, who um, I know, I think most of you all know. Uh, Dave, who travels the world, has got those relationships with Stanley and Bernard and um, Pillar and Stone and all those places. Look, advice from him, don't sell your Kotan yet if you are looking to retail it and make some profit. Don't do it yet. Wait two years. Wait until the news is announced to the world that the mine after 10,000 years has ceased. <laughs> then what do you think your Kotan Jade is gonna be worth moving forward? Because it's not worth 199 now. It's worth significantly more than that now. That's why I say do your research. After you've made your confirmations, have a look elsewhere. We are going even lower. There was, did you say 11? 19 i beg your pardon 19 available look at the split payments we should not be able to i say we okay i'm not pr too proud to admit this there's absolutely no way on earth i'd be able to afford any variety of jade if it wasn't for if it wasn't for dual maker yeah. no way you know uh, you know, it's, it's, I don't have a pot of gold at the end of my garden, sadly, but there is no way on earth. However, jewellery maker are making the world's most valuable, rare, precious gemstones. Yes, obtainable, and even more so with a 0% interest. Look, before we even crash our price, first dibs. Hand carved white mutton fat. You've got mutton fat in this necklace, by the way. Certified untreated nephrite mutton fat. Code. This is Kotan. The price for mutton fat jade starts at nine hundred ninety-five dollars. So we're already beating that firstly, and tops out at three hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. With these necklaces, on average, selling for ninety-three thousand two hundred fifty. Please know those aren't my words. Those are first dibs words. And we are going lower. There's the mutton fat. You've also got a spinach green in yours. Do you want to see that uh, necklace I was talking about? The most expensive diamond necklace in the world. It's referred to as Heritage in Bloom. It was unveiled in September 2015. You can see the large diamond in the center. That's a Cullinan diamond. But haloing the Cullinan diamond is Kotan Jade. Wow. Could have chosen any gemstone, couldn't they? But they chose this location. 
Good luck to each and every single one of you. A maker in Swansea, just got three. Savvy shopping, Swansea, well done. Angela, Diana, Anne, Sonia, Julie, new customer, new customer. There's 10 left. Get it while you can. Because the reality is, look, I know the Burmese mine is mined out. However, the Burmese mine um, produced a lot more than Kotan, as in quantities, tons per year. Kotan's got the history, but it's far rarer at 149 pounds when the mine does announce its complete closure because at the moment they're managing the supply what do you think price we won't we won't be able to bring it to air that's it will be the end of the line for us it we will not be able to bring it to air and 149 pounds it's ridiculous now we've seen it happen before look never mind the price per carat here or the history of the gemstone but we've seen it with tanzanite haven't we we used to bring you tanzanite weekends we used to bring you tanzanite weeks i think however have we when was the last time you saw a tanzanite day or even an hour we can't do it anymore and I, I'm not comparing those two gemstones Kotan is significantly more expensive and significantly rarer than tanzanite if that was a strand of diamonds yeah you know people would be buying them in droves because diamonds have had a really good story we told know about diamonds them. here in yeah, the West because they've, they've had a really great story told about them and, and in the West we understand them but these stories now mm. are being told to us in the West we, and we are starting to hear them. We get it. We, we've, yeah. we've finally, after thousands upon thousands of years, we finally get it. Yeah. However, and I have to say as well, you might roll your eyes at this, but I have to say, I think, I think ultimately Jewelry Maker and Gemporia have played their part in that. Yeah, I do. Because, you know, we are one of the few people in the West, that's why the Financial Times want to do an, ad, uh, an advert on us, that actually will talk about the history of this gem unbelievable now i've got two more strands to bring you i'm going to bring you one of the rarest colors of all Incredible. so going back to that heritage in bloom that is the halo it's it's pure white it's it's mutton fat however have you noticed it's got that bluish color to it i have 10 of the baby blue oh and then 10 of the white Perhaps should show that on a black bust actually should i sorry chris <laughs> now i don't sorry chris thank you lovely um i don't want you to think okay you're i'm expecting a tanzanite blue or a sapphire blue it's not the same thing it's a hint it's a, a, a hint of blue it's a whisper isn't it yeah absolutely it's a very subtle bluish tone and again your laboratory certificate is gives us obviously the color grading so this is a very soft kingfisher blue oh i love that yeah. beautiful yeah that's right like all varieties of jade be that kotan be that guatemalan be that burmese whichever you are looking for fine translucency you're looking for um the most sought after colors this is a very 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 rare color i remember i was joined i i was joined by dave um during the launch of this opportunity he said this is the only baby blue strand we've ever 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 had but you know again have a little look at that piece again that necklace that we saw on first dibs that is very simply knotted but never mind the color i know there's differences there but look at the quality of the translucency and translucency is more important than color in actual fact in the world of jade but look at that translucency of the piece photograph with just a simple gold clasp look can you see you've got the french wire there as well by the clasp as well um and they're saying they start at 999 uh, 95 dollars top out at three hundred twenty-five thousand dollars, on average selling for ninety-three thousand. what cut is your cotan your cut is exactly the same as what was photographed it's also exactly the same translucency yes it's different colors baby blue is incredibly incredibly rare this is one for those of you who don't just want cotan but want the rarest of cotans we're at 999 pounds 
We have how many ten? Had. Had ten. We are not stopping there. This is most likely... Ah, oh, do you know what? I'm making an assumption, but it's a logical one. I don't know if we're going to have any Kotan moving forward. If you think about it that way, we'll endeavour to. Of course we will, because... Hang on a second then. Policing, if you like, the supply of Kotan. Also, Chinese, when they're obsessed with the gemstone, and this has got thousands of years uh, of an obsession, they won't export it. So it's difficult to get. Again, it's those relationships that make them possible. However, it's astonishingly expensive. So we can exchange more often than not. Look at it this way. China makes up a third of the world's population, doesn't it? So hang on, if they, so they love Kotan in particular. Kotan is their number one, without doubt, without shadow of a doubt. So, okay, we wanna buy some of their most sought after gemstone. They'll pay prices, like we just mentioned there on first dibs. They will pay the tens of thousands of pounds, if not six figures. So how do we do it? We can sometimes purchase with other gemstones as we did previously, which is what's brought this to you. However, our, our Burmese jade is getting quite limited now. So what other gemstones do does China want? Are there, honestly, there's no other gemstone other than pearls, and they, they harvest those. I have four left. We're going to get to the price because we're not even stopping at 499 pounds we are holding this on screen for what 60 seconds massive congratulations to those of you that have been successful already it may well be i don't know i don't know but it may well be one what's that it may <laughs> well be sorry but you know when you look, i know i was here I on the launch but 199 for kotan jade huh. there was only ever 50 in the world oh and i'm gosh. down to the final four that should have digits on it it's magical you know 199 it one of those beads at 199 pounds we've just been, those aren't our words that we showed you there about kotan it's it's or mutton fat that's first dibs and some might argue this is an even rarer color yeah here we are bringing it to you at three figures low three figures as well that's ridiculous that is heirloom Imagine telling people you were wearing that necklace and imagine somebody asking you what it was and, and you telling them about it. It's Kotan Jade. Story about it's Kotan type Jade. A Kotan Jade. And the photographs, there's a photograph, a sketch somewhere where it, you, it's, it's clearly thousands of years old where the original jade pickers, as they called them, used to yeah. wade out into the Kotan River and you could see, there it is, you literally see them sourcing these tiny, well, smaller boulders, aren't they, really, um, sourcing the actual Kotan jade. Now, I have one more and we'll do it in one price crash. There are ten. This is... If you've been loving that piece that we showed on first dibs, just a gold clasp. Oh, it's not the clasp that matters. When it comes to jade, gold doesn't, quite more often than not, actually, it doesn't have gold added to it. Yeah. It's about the actual mutton fat. This is oh. mutton fat jade. It's a te I know it's not the most romantic description, but it's what they've used for thousands of years. We've just brought the graphics live. Half the stock's gone across four collectors. I, I'm never allowed to say the I word, however, that's what this is. Let's be honest. I don't know how many times I've had this conversation with my family, with my extended family, with my colleagues and peers. We've all spoke about it, haven't we? We need to be buying Kotan. Mm. We need, if you haven't already, you need to be buying Kotan because this is a gem i mean even right now never mind moving forward you could sell for thousands of pounds i have three available from the original 10 that i had certified natural mutton fat jade if you want to recreate that knotted necklace it's just knotted on a gold clasp glorious isn't it that's Do you know, this is awesome, but I can't help but feel a little bit uncomfortable, no, I Mickey. I get it, because I, I often feel like this when I'm in here, and I think, you know, and I, and I see the gemstones, and I understand the provenance of them. 
and then you see the prices and i think i hope nobody ever actually thinks that that reflects the actual value of them not at all because it doesn't not at all that's why we go through the efforts of showing putting together presentations yeah. and etc so so that our viewers know no reflection of the true value sold out well done i'm not surprised i'm not surprised at all amazing 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 well done everybody and again these are what acquisitions for you not just ourselves as jewelry makers acquisitions for our family now coming up after the break don't forget oh. um we're launching your natural mozambique natural I want mozambique amazon night the only one in the business we don't it. have smaller sizes there's 50 available straight after that we're going to be bringing you a collector's closeout opportunity also on ross's amazing nan hong um bundle so we're going to be bringing that to you as well and then we've also got your tahitian pills um we have a message from who's that lauren um have i missed the paper chain pearl earrings no lauren you haven't they're coming up as well just before midday there's a lot of people showing interest in those if there is enough of you requesting these in the break then we'll put them on pre-order we need to get on it quickly then yeah ross <laughs> i mean that means we'll miss out there <sighs> okay so if he gets 20 messages during the break i'll put them on pre-order okay amazing amazing do not go anywhere the amazon night is being launched brand new deposit being held as the finest in the world also you've got the most unbelievable masterclass with our lovely nikki we'll see you in two <laughs> I get to bring uh, to all of you the Jadeite Zodiac box. Now this, I'm going to be honest, is a passion project for me. This is something that is quite selfish. You know, I put this together because I want to own it. Um, many years ago when I started dealing in Jadeite, I noticed that all my friends who were Jadeite dealers and multi-generational Jadeite dealers all had a Zodiac collection. You know, all of the 12 iterations of the Zodiac carved into Jade. And I thought, oh, okay, that's the badge of honor for a Jade collector. And it is. So I began, uh, every time I went to the Far East, I'd buy a piece, you know, whether it be the carved monkey or maybe the ox or the rat. And I, I, would, I had about three or four. And then my friend Bernard, who's been in the industry for about 30 years, turned to me and said, throw them away. You know, sell them back into the industry because what you're not building is a collection. And he explained to me the reality of building a Zodiac collection is like getting a, a royal flush in poker. You need them all to be the same suit. What he means by that is, all the jade needs to match. The style needs to match, the size needs to match. There's no point just having a mixed assortment. Even if you get all 12, the collection is undesirable, it's deemed incomplete. And that's why a true Zodiac collection, you know, for, for the right colors, for the right size, usually takes a few generations to complete. In fact, it's something that's usually passed down from father to son. Maybe the father collected three, the son then takes uh, the torch and continues, and maybe then even passes it down to his son. We've worked tirelessly to put together a complete collector series, and this might be the first time in the UK that one becomes available in one foul swoop, and more importantly, affordably. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Hi jewellery makers, Monica here. Just quickly wanted to tell you about what's coming up on the show on Wednesday. Um, in the project hours, we've got some fabulous seed reading projects in both hours. In the nine o'clock project hour, we've got some watermelon solar quartz with some hex cut seed beads. So this is the necklace that I've made for my project instructions, which I will show you also on the show how to make. Um, it's beautiful, that watermelon quartz, isn't it? Um, and then uh, the two colors of the hex cuts, hex cut uh, seed beads as well. And then in the 12 o'clock project hour, we, we'll be um, showing you some projects for making a necklace that was inspired by a Jubilee necklace. Uh, so the necklace I'm wearing is the one I'm going to show you how to make. Well, I'm going to show you how to make one of the components because it's a repetitive uh, necklace, as you can see. 
Uh, and then these are mega mega kits. There are seed beads in there, there are rivulets in there, there are pearls, both shell pearls and freshwater pearls as well. So you have that choice. Uh, we've got it in three different colorways. Uh, you've also got some crystals in there. So fabulous, fabulous projects uh, in the 12 o'clock hour as well. Hope you can all join us on the 13th from eight o'clock in the morning. See you then. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Well, we want to help you on your jewellery making journey. When you purchase with us for the first time, you'll receive the Jewellery Maker Handbook, which is filled with 35 different techniques, as well as lots of hints and tips to help you on your way. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Shopping with Jewellery Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your jewelry room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals, and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewelry Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewelry Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewelry Maker. What a Tuesday it has been. There's been such a lovely lineup. And Ross is saying, eh? Elle, we're only just getting started. No. We've only just begun. You ain't begun. seen nothing yet. Oh yeah, a bit of carpenters, we've only just begun. Yeah. Ah, oh, childhood that is, oh, carpenters. Ah, oh, I love to, Karen Carpenter. Yeah. Right then, anyway, gone off the beaten track. <laughs> Let's get back to the wonderful world of beautiful, genuine gemstones. Yes. And I, and yeah, loads of you have messaged in about this round and I can see why. Oh. So Amber's and I, We've, we've said repeatedly over and over and over and over again is definitely in the limelight at the moment across many different jewelry brands. Um, but we are saying, we believe, and it is literally, I'd say the team here in the, uh, this, the conversation hasn't extended to the team upstairs, I don't think. Or has it, Ross? Oh, you have, okay. Um, we think 2025 is going to be a big year for this gem. Next couple of years, Ross thinks it's going to absolutely blow up Pleisberg Carrot. And I understand where he's coming from. Because, you know what? What makes the big five the big five? It's reputation, isn't legacy, it? History. Leg history. Legacy, history, mm. yeah. Well, yeah, that's a good answer. Yeah. Marketing. Yeah. Is. It is basically marketing, effectively. It's the stories. Stories it's the, told. De Beers, diamonds are not the rarest of gemstones. They are. Everybody can have a diamond. Yeah. Everybody can. That's why they chose yeah. them over zircon. They know yeah. they will never run out of diamonds. It's carbon, isn't it? Basically, basically, you can even create them. You can even create them in a laboratory. Yeah. However, there are rarer gemstones. Um, but yeah, legacy, I totally agree with what Chris is saying, is why we fall in love with other gems outside of the big five. This, to me, is one of those gemstones with the most amazingly romantic story alongside it. And I always reference Monica Veneda when I talk about, uh, about Amazonite Night because they have one of the most beautiful write-ups. But now, yeah. you will also notice the difference in caliber of your Amazonite, no disrespect, but yours is premium grade. So much so, this is a brand new launch. You've never had it from this location previously before. This is the only strand in the entire business, 10 millimeter round. Um, they're hailing this location as the number one discovery in the world, in the world, uh, in Amazonite. So, but let's talk about the gemstone first and foremost. So Amazonite is the stone of hope. Um, Amazonite is one of the many reasons we love this. Ge we love gemstones so much. They come with rich histories. That's what Chris was referencing. 
Startingly beautiful colours and a vast range uh, of uses for everyday jewellery. And Amazonite is undoubtedly a leader of the pack. What is it though? It's a member of the Feldspar group of minerals, or to be more specific, K Feldspar, in relation to its potassium content. Amazonite is a blue green, um, don't say semi anymore, sorry, a blue green precious gemstone that has seemingly been used for medicinal purposes um, as much as it has for jewellery pieces throughout history. Its potassium content is believed to bring physical benefits of stamina to the wearer, so it has been a favourite jewellery item for many civilizations. Um, it's the Stone of Hope, and this is my favourite write-up. As well as the physical benefits of owning and wearing Amazonite, it has something of a divine appearance to it. The blue-green variation of it often resembles the sky and the heaven, so it is often regarded as a beacon of hope and faith. This isn't only applicable for spiritual qualities either. Its very appearance as a variant of turquoise is seen as the bridge between the blues of cold winter and the greens of springtime, laden with life. No matter how cold the winter might be, there is always a springtime to look forward to. And the colour of Amazonite acts as a quite literal reminder of that. The hope that this gemstone represents is manifested in the idea that it allows the owner to see the full truth of all matters. So it inspires confidence in balanced arguments and helps us to achieve equilibrium in all walks of life. Don't you just love that? But you can see it, can't you? You can literally see all of those words in yeah, this beautiful gemstone. Where is it found? Well, a few different locations is the answer. Beautiful blue-green Amazonite has been mined all over the world. It's somewhat uh, misleading as it has many people believe that it originates from the Amazon, uh, Amazon River Basin in Brazil, but it actually hails from most parts of the Minsky Mountains in Western Russia. But like I said, that's one location because it has been found in a few different places. Um, it is known to be a favorite during Egyptian dynasties, uh, but not much is known about how Amazonites are presence on those uh, intercontinental trading routes. What is widely known though, is that the powerful impression that one of the finest gemstones in the world has left on countless civilizations. Amazonite might be a rare stone, but its influence has spread to every corner of the globe to bring hope and healing to the masses through beautiful jewelry and also adornments. So again, now I'm just gonna flick through some pictures just to show you really, I mean, that's the location they were talking about. That's the Elminsky Mountains. But here, these are literally Monica Veneda. I actually have that that ring, the Amazonite ring. Um, uh, my husband bought it for me a few years ago. It's lovely and it's beautiful quality <laughs> Amazonite and it's certainly what I would imagine as textbook Amazonite. However, I need to say this, and I'm bearing in mind I'm talking about my own jewelry here as well. This is so much better, so much better. This is the finds. I can totally see why, Ross, they are hailing this as the number one location of source. And we are one of the first to be able to bring it to you as well. There has never been another strand of this from this location here at Jewelry Maker. And on, I just wanna highlight one more thing. We brought you the icy Peruvian. That was Peruvian, that's all gone. Um, because David German has bought the remainder of the, uh, of the mine and I think that's mined out now, that's what they're saying. Now I've got one example that we can show you. This was our studio sample of the Peruvian and you will see it's almost identical color. But what I really want to show you is your Peruvian came in those lengths. You are getting a full 38 centimeter strand from your Mozambique location. There you go. And they're bigger. Uh, the only thing though, jewelry makers, is that there's only 50 available. It's basically double the length, isn't it? Basically almost double the length. Now, um, Ross was so excited about this long shot opportunity, so I did a little bit of research on it last night. And he's found, wow, the only, this is the only piece that he could find. And it's all about the gemstone, isn't it? These kind of almost like dagger-like shapes, Mozambique Amazonite drops, um, $290 for those. You don't know how, how large they are? You don't know the size of them? 
Um, made to order. Okay, so they're not wasting any. They're not cutting it ahead. So it's literally like a like a um, an artist uh, um, sort of carving that work of art under special commission. However, really, you found a write up on this piece. Okay, this opportunity. For its resemblance to jade, Amazonite, which is derived from uh, the South American river, um, is also affectionately nicknamed Colorado jade. Uh, used to fashion jewelry, statues and amulets since ancient times, uh, it is usually uh, worn to help achieve mental clarity, enable you to see both sides of a problem. Okay, so that's the second time that we've actually heard Amma's night being compared to Jade in actual fact. Yeah, I agree. But also, can I just say with that photograph there, don't you think Amma's night, look at the sky, look at the haze of the sky, look at the warmth that you get where the sunlight hits the landscape, the presence of the green and then the blues of the river. Don't you think if you were to kind of literally blend all those colours and the glow of the sunlight on the horizon that you would get this beautiful gemstone? It's just magical. It's absolutely magical. And I can, I honestly, I know many gems will offer the beauty of their locations. Think, I don't know, Mukite is probably the most obvious, you know? But Amazonite, every place from the Ilminski Mountains to wh where are we looking at right now? I don't know. I don't know where that river is. Is it Colorado? That's the Mozambique location. Ah! Well, look, it's like it's taken the beauty from like the Aminsky Mountains, that photograph that you saw earlier on, and the Mozambique location, which is on your screens right now, and literally offered it into this gemstone. Just before we bring this to air, remember we brought you the icy Peruvian Amazonite, shorter strands, I think they were 18 centimeters or something like that. I think, I think, hang on. Let me measure it. 20 centimetres. You are getting a 38 centimetre strand with your Mozambique because we're one of the first to launch it. One of the first to actually bring it to air. But this is the first time that we've ever brought it to you. Now, let me just, let me just explain why only one strand, L. Why would you only source the 10? I'm going to guess... Wayne is already making steps to get more of it because he can see how beautiful the quality is. Also the fact that he listens to what goes on around the gem world, being hailed as the primary location in the world for, uh, for, for Amazonite moving forward. We know the Peruvian deposit is all but mined out now. So I reckon he's already made steps. Um, but, you know, also you've seen the Peruvian Amazonite, which absolutely flew out the door sold out in probably a matter of a month i would say you know you've seen the best he's going to be a bit tentative thinking okay well let's just do one strand first and see how it goes i'm so certain roscoe that this 50 quantity will disappear in less than a couple of minutes um i don't know what price he's taken it to you gotta remember it's double the length of strand of the peruvian amazonite pre previously yeah we brought you that was 99 that Peruvian Amazonite was 99 pounds and 99 pence. And it's 20 centimeters, whereas you're about to look at 38. Brand new location, amazing quality. It still has that incredible internal glow. They are huge as well to get this consistent color. You've got that lovely patterning inside that we expect from Amazonite. Usually Amazonite is very opaque um, and it's kind of mixed, I think personally, with like pastel palettes. First one of these has gone, second, third, or oh, five, nine. These are flying out the door. Just so you know, jewelry makers, you are potentially some of the, the first people to be sourcing from this location. It is being advertised, hailed, understandably so when you see it visually, as the number one location of Amazonite to source in the world. You've got to remember, Peruvian probably would have held that status alongside Mozambique until it was mined out basically so you are sourcing and being one of the first to source it from this location they are a staggering 10 millimeter size and you're getting a 38 centimeter strand of natural mozambique no other strands in the business so if you're thinking if you message in you say l can you bring me 12 mil no 
Can you bring me eight? No. Six? No. Four? No. This is it. This is all we have. I, I, I guess, and don't hold me to it, I guess that we are making steps to try and get more. But that's going to be, what, six months? Six months down the line? Three months, best case scenario? Oh, this, no, this is it. There's nothing, can't see anything on. This is it in the business. That's it. So if you love it, who doesn't? The perfect blend of blues and greens and sunshine all in one gemstone. It's totally natural. £199. Now remember, your Peruvian IC Amazonite went to £99.99. And 99 pence. We've got double that length and they're bigger. And there you go. Double the length. So logic would tell me, Ross, that this is going to stay where, where you are. That would tell me we're at £199. We are going lower. It's a brand new launch of a location, launch of the finest in the world being hailed as. 40% of the stock has been confirmed already. Massive congratulations. We didn't have 500, 200 even, or even 100. We had 50 available, and you've got your split payments. Um, absolutely exquisite. Can we see it at the neckline as well? Absolutely exquisite, tropical light colors. So beautiful. Knot it, simply strand it. It's all about the Amazonite though, isn't it? Stun, I know, it does, I love it. And this is why we believe that 2025 is gonna be a huge year for this gemstone. Mm. It's been voted for previously here in, uh, um, on our channel, of course, as a number one favorite gemstone. But really, you've got David Yerman, you've got uh, Harrods, you've got Monica Veneda, countless different jewelry houses wanting to work with this gemstone. But have you seen it like this before? It's our first time ever bringing you Mozambique. It's stunning, because you have those wonderful driving rain patterns you have translucency and you have what's most important that natural color brand new location the only strand I don't have any other sizes to bring you or even cabochons it's double look at that it's double the length of your Peruvian Amazonite so in theory 199 would have been an absolutely amazing deal but you're getting this today at 99.99. If we get a great deal, you get a great deal as well, jewelry makers. You could knot this, you could absolutely uh, um, use them individually if you want. You've got that much of a pack of punch collar. It's all natural. Do you know how amazing this is? You know, we are, I, I don't know the history of the Mozambique. I know it's a new deposit, a new discovery, um, but that's like us being there when, I don't know, your cashmere sapphires were launched to the world the best it's the best in the world cashmere sapphires that's like um us being there when your colombian emeralds were discovered that's the best in the world widely described we are being told that this is the number one location of your amas night in the world and it's easy to justify that statement isn't it um but half the stock gone do you want to know how many of you have this in your basket 62 I have 25 available. Um, guest designer Ellie, good luck. <laughs> Justin, Gloucestershire, uh. Julie, Oxfordshire, Jeanette, Lisa, Renata, Marie, Elizabeth. We're not even stopping here. It makes no sense. Look, I'll separate them. First, Peruvian, icy Amazonite. No longer accessible. Room of the mines closed. Even if it wasn't, David Germans bought it all. Yeah? 20 centimetres. Brand new location. Newly discovered. Already being hailed as the number one location of Amazonite in the world. You are getting double the length almost. It's natural. I have 18 left and we're not 
even stopping at 99 pounds and 99 pence the peruvian was 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 the price that's on your screen when it was brought to air and it sold out i've got an extra 18 centimeters and we're going even lower it's all down to who first come first serve it's the only one we have in the business jewelry makers i hope that six it'll be worth the wait won't it six months a year whenever it might be that we do get to hopefully hopefully launch a showcase of these can you oh. imagine how fast the six millimeters will sell out i can't guarantee this price of course 79 wait yes it, who knows as the world wakes up to this location of course then that's the thing about gemstones it's not that's the price and it stays that price indefinitely it changes with demand and supply 79.99 for 10 millimeter rounds you can get it home today for less than 20 on your split payment. It's incredible. It's, it's the only incredible. 50 in the business. It's just stunning. And I'm, you're not even seeing on screen how incredibly beautiful that colour is. Uh, it, it's a colour that I've never seen in any other gemstone. It's sort of leaning towards a, a transparent teal colour. Yeah. It's just, it's not transparent because it's got those beautiful striations in it as well. Yeah. But it's so unusual, it's so unmistakable, mm. and I, I, I genuinely have never seen that colour in any it, other gemstone. You almost look at gems like this and think, how is that created Absolutely. in the earth? Yeah. How is that created, that but, rich potassium content? But it, doesn't it give you that sort of joy of, of how yeah. magical the world is, that something like that is natural? You know, I said, I'm seeing it on the screen, and I'm seeing it in person, and, and you know, you, honestly, get it home. Get it home and stunning. look at it. It's so stunning. You'll never. I, I, I wouldn't want to take it apart. You are sorry. I wouldn't want to take it apart. No, I, I wouldn't just sit either. And look at it. I would probably just literally put that on a beading thread yeah. and then uh, a clasp. Yeah. There are fifteen chances that remain. So if I shout your name out, I'm going to say good luck. Jane in West Yorkshire, Hillary in Durham, Sarah, uh, Sarah in Middlesex. Sarah Middlesex just got her, she got two, well done. Hilary in London, Maker, Susan in Essex, Kerry in Manchester, Maker, Maker in Gloucestershire. Um, Ellie, Ellie, hey, check out so your basket, jealous. darling. If you want those two, I have 12. That's it, that's it. Julie in West Glamorgan, Oxfordshire, Jeanette in Lincolnshire, Lisa, Renata, you're there as well. Hello, Ellie, lovely. Wow, that Amazon is incredible. Nikki, imagine this oh, um, wow. in your breathe pendant. Yeah, so I um, I did it with the Nan Hong, and it's uh, like a wire work of uh, like a yoga I sit in, but it's, it's the symbol for breathing. So, oh, <sighs> wow, it would look incredible. Oh, it would look amazing. It's on the verge of selling out. It is on the verge of selling out. You need to check out Hillary, you will not Susan, regret Essex, it. Margaret. You need to check out. Um, hello, Margot. Say natural. That is a stunning, stunning strand. It is. Um, and it's new, Margot. It's a new location uh, of discovery. It's already being shouted from the rooftops as the best location in the world. And I do get it. I do totally get it. This is the only strand that we have in the business. So once this goes, it goes. You know, of course, we'll be endeavoring to get more, um, but I don't know when that will be. I, I don't even know if that is the case. Um, certainly, it's a conversation that we need to be having with, um, with Wayne. I think he's going to look at us and go, yes, of course, I'm trying to get more. You know, yeah. it's, it's going to be that kind of eye roll. Um, when you get yeah. this home, it looks oh, no. amazing. As Nikki was saying, it looks amazing on screen, but it's phenomenal it at home. It is. It glows. It's incandescent. It's gorgeous. Yeah. It's the, it's the colour of a mermaid. If a mermaid had a favourite gemstone, that would be it. Yeah. It's 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 just it's like a dragonfly it's, it's everything that's beautiful in nature it is do you know gorgeous. it's one of those colors you can't describe no you can't it's as i said teal and i thought it's not teal yeah it's, you can't describe the color can you oh i love it i want it amazing yeah i'm very jealous of those i, I am think too. it's sold out that's well it. done Oh, there, there's three. Well, I might be so running away in a second. Get designer <laughs> Ellie, if you want those three, you know, you know this. Ellie, Ellie you want them. You're you know leaving you it do. in your basket. I tell you what, it's a dangerous game. <laughs> now, <laughs> our producer Roscoe, he's off, on, he's, he's off for a bit after. You, you've got your birthday celebrations. He's 34 um, years young. And, yeah, frankly, he's leaving us. Yeah. Not, not forever, thank goodness. 
Um, thank goodness. So you will be back. Anyway, he went to the powers that be and said, oh, can, you know, can I have free reign to choose something special? It's a bit of a bow out deal. Um, and Wayne was like, yeah, go on. You can have free reign, Roscoe. And you bear in mind, he could have chosen anything, couldn't he? He could have chosen pearls. He could have chosen more Kotan. He could have chosen jade. He could have chosen diamonds, whatever. He actually went to Nan Hong. And the reason for that is because only last week we learned on the back of um, the team returning from Hong Kong's gem fair that actually the Nan Hong mine has now closed. It has closed. Can we go to that um, information? Because Ross has bundled the two different varieties of your Nan Hong. So the news that Dave shared last week was this material is so rare now because the situation in the mine. What situation, I hear you say? Uh, this has spooked the market because of the history with Nan Hong. Since September, the price for this material is now 10 times the price. The Nan Hong with the best red, that is almost 100% red. Hang on a second. You mean this one? 100% red is as expensive as red jadeite in the market. Well, that makes sense to me. It's a very rare gemstone. It's a very old gemstone. Look. So those Nan Hongs that you see in this next photograph, 3,000 Hong Kong dollars each. Each. You're getting a matched strand of natural red. It makes sense that these are commanding the same prices of jadeite. It's natural light red jadeite. Um, it's a very old gemstone. You've made a mistake. It's not 3,000. He says it's 30,000 Hong Kong dollars. It's 3,000 pounds each. Each per bead. Whatever the shape, whatever the size, 30,000 Hong Kong dollars, which is 3,000 pounds. Now, but Ross didn't just go for... Okay, I want the ultra rare red, the solid red. I also want the silk variety, the blend. No, this, well, this is full red. That's your cherry tomato red. And then this one, you've got some lovely, you've got a blend, haven't you? Yeah, look at that. That's, cherry, that's solid red, but you've also got some of your silk varieties, which equally is valued. Now, if you were to buy each of these two strands individually, it would total £150 here at Jewelry Maker, which is absolutely amazing. Look, we've just shown you one bead for £3,000. Because the mine is now closed, um, it closed in November, so literally a few months ago, uh, which is the last Nanhong mine in the east and the last one in the world. This is only mined in one location. China has seen this before when it disapp disappeared for centuries and now they're going back through the mine and grinding up the remains of Nanhong. Even this is commanding a huge premium. Um, they set it like happen Happy Diamonds um, at Shopard and that is still a thousand Hong Kong dollars. Um, oh my goodness, the dust! We are talking hundreds yeah, yeah. of pounds. They put it in Dust. inlay rings. Dust. Yep. Effectively. It's that, it's that valuable. And the thing is as well, it's to Buddhists like yep. myself, Nan Hong Agate, Red Agate, is one of the treasures. It's, it's, it's an incredibly significant stone in Buddhism. Now that generates in itself even more value because of the spiritual value of it. It makes it more desirable. So, you know, for a Buddhist to own Nan Hong. To I own think, actual Nan Hong. It's, it's incredible. Amazing. It's, and it's the, more and than the gold. colours. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Love that, Nikki. You could buy both of these here at Jewelry Maker at an amazing £150. And that would be amazing, wouldn't it? However, Ross bundled it. And he said, I'm going to do a massive deal. It's one of his big statement deals before he disappears for the weekend. He said, I had free reign to do whatever I want on this. Okay. Okay. He gave you the nod of approval. You get both the solid red and also the floating silk. The mine closed in November. No, they're full strands, 38 centimetre strands of Nanhong Agate. Even before the mine was fully in operation and it, well, before we realised that it actually closed in November, you know, I have to say, um, 
it's a, it was a, it's a highly sought after gemstone and it's incredibly expensive we've shown you nan hong pieces bracelets we've shown you carvings haven't we that have sold at auction houses for thousands of pounds ross today though is going to take all that information like this there we go see that pendant there that was sold at auction can you see it Eight hundred thousand hong kong dollars look at the price look at the conversion 10,000 to 150,000 US dollars. Okay, that is the, the, that's the floating silk variety that you're seeing in this one strand. Um, and you can see the fusion of the reds, the fusion of the oranges, and even the pure whites. So you're getting that within this strand. See those? And then if I show you another slide of the reds, There you go, suite of Haigu, that's fine. This suite would be 1,800 wholesale, wholesale. What about this? It's stunning. Global Times, speaking about this beautiful, natural cherry tomato red, the Global Times say 12,500 US dollars per carat. See that much of a difference to you? Again, why? Because whoever is retailing this Nan Hong on your uh, the one obviously been discussed by the Global Times are listening to the market. They know what the price per carat of Nan Hong agate. We do the polar opposite, it seems. Individually, one hundred and forty nine pounds, which is absolutely unbelievable, isn't it? It is. The first price crash. Roscoe has been given authority, the nod of approval, to do an extra special deal because he's disappeared. It's like your birthday deal, Ross, isn't it? First price crash, we're already beating that. That's £50 a strand, Ross, for Nan Hong Agate. £50 per strand. Wait, wait, wait. 149 for the two, isn't it? Oh my goodness me, we're already in double figures. Marishka Lorraine, Patricia Ellen Paula, Maker in Wiltshire. It's gone crazy on the web and on the phone lines. Ross, your birthday deal. You best make sure there's quantity. 62. Okay, that's good. That is good. And again, you know, we've shown you sweets of jewellery, carvings, individual cabochons. We should, there was a, a Buddha carving within Nan Hong, which mm -hmm. makes sense with what you were saying there, Nikki, as well. Yeah. Um, in Nan Hong, and it's thousands of pounds. And that was when the mine was in operation. This closed in November, just gone. It's made the market nervous because, of course, they know that this is going to, this is, it's run out. Need to source it now. Can you source it at, at an affordable price tag? Well, yes, if you shop with us right now. 149 was an amazing deal. However, today bundling it, not stopping at ninety nine ninety nine. Oh, Ross says, you know what, Al? I want another thirty seconds <laughs> because I do want to take this extra low. We are going lower. This is another one of those gemstones, like we had them the night before, like the, the peacock angel. Like, get it home. Yeah. Get it home and look at it. Take it outside. Put it in the sun because it, it, it's mystical. It yeah, is. it does it's, glow. It, it's magical. And, and it's, it's got a very unique coral colour as well, which is mm. very difficult to find in any other gemstone. You don't get coral now. Well, we no. were speaking, no, not ethically no. anyway. Um, you know, it's one of those that you, again, it's a gem that you rarely ever see in natural. Yes. A red is a rare that you see it in its natural. Yeah. Um, without being dyed, other than Taipei Jade, you can see why it's yeah. it's commanding similar prices. You get both jewelry makers, the floating silk. You get your natural, both natural. Wait, that's incredible. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Wait, it's pretty much buy one get one free. Oh my god! Oh that's... my goodness me! What on earth? The mine closed in November. We didn't know that. Look at us, just, you know, 
you know, ignorantly, yes, Nan Hong, amazing, let's do some jewelry maker prices until literally they go to Hong Kong and they're like, oh no, the mine's closed. The mine closed in, in, in uh, November, just gone. You know, what Nan Hong they are extracting from the ground, they're actually mining it down to effectively a red dust yep. that they're then putting into inlay anyway, rings, like you yeah. say, or uh, like Chopard Happy Diamonds inspirations. Uh, ridiculous and yet we know this and we knowingly still do these unbelievable deals it's ross's birthday that's why 79.99 everybody make sure you check it out well not yet on the weekend on the weekend saturday, saturday. birthday boy leslie jackie staffordshire christine elizabeth pamela annie patricia paula marishka and lorraine i just said a what i said a phrase i said buy one get one free yeah i did Oh, really? I'm sorry, Ross. We could do it. We could do it. But I have to say, I'm not comfortable saying bog off <laughs> with Nan Hong Agate. I know. I did say it, yeah. You did. You're right. That's me, isn't it? It's all me. That is ludicrous, though, when you consider how sought after this gemstone is. How many people want to own it because of its significance because of its spiritual significance you know buddhists all over the world would you know have such you know it's, connection to this gemstone yeah it's it's held in such regard the same regard and 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 respect and rarity yeah. as your jadeites Definitely. but actually you could some might even argue you can get jade from different locations yeah. around the world you can't get nanhong agate yeah. from different locations there was one location of source we saw it mine out previously hundreds of years yeah. ago well not we but china did saw it mine out and then they found a new location that has now run out we didn't know this we didn't know it until literally last week um however I did say it, Ross, and I apologise for saying it. <laughs> he says you're getting it now. Buy one and get the other one for free. Whichever way you're looking at it, you know, you might be buying the rich cherry tomato red that's totally natural nanhong agate and getting your lovely floating, uh, floating silk. Or it might be the other way around. That is one of the maddest deals it ever. It really, really is. Yeah, maybe you have... Uh, um, we, I mean, we look at information by the Global Times. We look at information on countless different auction sites, don't we? We know that it's not a double-figure gemstone. You know that. Um, I've got how many left? Less than 20 remaining. Patricia, Paula, Annie, Pamela, Elizabeth, Christine, Staffordshire, Jackie, Leslie, Manchester, Alison, Lorraine's got multiples, uh, Maker, Christine, Suzanne. You're basically sourcing the twisted silk and then we're giving you... Uh, some might even say the more expensive yeah. variety for free. It's unthinkable. The more, look at the quote again. This material is so rare now that because of the situation of the mine. This has spooked the market because of the history with Nan Hong. Since September, the price for this material is now 10 times the price. The Nan Hong with the best reds, that is almost 100% red, is as expensive as red jadeite in the market. We have 10 of these left. Would you all agree? I think you, we'd struggle to differentiate between Nan Hong and Red Jadeite, to be honest. Because yeah. they have, I mean, maybe when they've got a few of the markings here, they've got real similarities to it. So I do understand why it's commanding the same price. Down to the final 10. So if I'm shouting your name out, I'm going to wish you um, the best of luck. Tracy in Norfolk, Maker, June, Ali, Jennifer, Tra another Tracy in Merseyside. Uh, Helen in Suffolk, Carolyn Berkshire, Maker, who wants four, and Maker in Warwickshire. I've got just nine remaining. If you all check out, it's already sold out. Um, but don't let that put you off dialing through or reaching for um, the app or the website if you haven't yet done so as of yet. It will be allocated on a first come, first serve basis. Look. I remember, see those, see that photograph as well. I remember seeing Nan Hong for the very first time when I was in Tucson, and that was like those, those, there was like it was Nan Hong in a host rock. It was kind of you didn't see much of it. It was only a small amount, and they were astonishingly expensive. Not full beads. You are basically getting a full thirty-eight centimeter strand. But the mine closed. There we go. The mine closed um, in November. 
like like we say with your jades make hay while the sun shines incredible jewelry makers amazing 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 i've got just five chances left um awesome absolutely awesome now we have the earrings <laughs> coming up next the amount of you that have messaged in asking for pre-orders and i'm so in love with this design i love them they're the kind of earrings that i would Gorgeous. wear on a regular basis by the way, there's four left of the bundle and 36 of you have it in your basket. Bidders on the phone lines, if you press your option one, you can literally leapfrog everyone and take that down to three or however many you choose to buy. Now it is time for the Mickey Moto inspired earrings. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to bring my phone in. Me too. <laughs> I absolutely love these. And I think I might cry if I don't get them. Um, please, this is where, Ross, hopefully you tell me that there is a quantity of these. Of the gold. Helps if you can find the app, doesn't it? Um, there are how many? 55. Okay. Of the silver, there are 20. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I nearly fainted then. 107 of the silver. Do you want to see where the inspiration so our team you know credit where they are due our team do an absolutely amazing amazing job um you know keeping up to speed with the uh, latest trends bringing our wonderful audience um the big looks if you like at an affordable price tag um this is one of those opportunities because we will look at you think how many jewelry houses that are, are out there where, you know we've done suru we've done tiffany's we've done um gucci we've done chanel with the panther haven't we we've done mickey moto um what well, just i'm trying to think of all the different design brands that we've got monica Veneda. you know there's lots of different chanel absolutely we can take inspiration from all these designers um alex monroe's another uh, you know that's the thing about jewelry you know a lot of people actually i can hear myself talking sorry um a lot of people will say oh that the bumblebees oh that's alex monroe well actually it's not just alex monroe it's gucci it's uh um lily rose loads of designers did bumblebees for example in the same way that the paperclip chain i don't think they say chanel don't they they say chanel brought the first paperclip chain but who knows really now the inspiration of these earrings and they are so beautiful so so beautiful is from mickey moto now I don't have a Mickey Moto budget. I'm not going to casually walk into Mickey Moto and say, see those lovely earrings there. I'd like them, please. And part with £1,750 of my money. That's a lot of money, isn't it? They're part of the M code, Morse code. You see the inspiration. Um, and quite a modern, they say it's quite a modern contemporary, uh, what's it, collection. Uh, communicates the memories associated with the gift of Mickey Moto. Yeah, these drop earrings feature a seven millimeter Akoya culture pill set in 18 karat gold. So, okay, they're 18 karat gold. They're an Akoya pill. They're absolutely beautiful. But if I can get that look for less uh, and still be working with your precious metal, still be working with genuine culture pills, then I know which, and I do mean a tiny fraction of the price tag as well. Now, we are going to start with the gold plated they are brand new i've been wearing them all morning they're so comfortable everyone so beautiful but i think they're the kind of earrings that you could literally wear you know office day you could wear them out for lunch you could wear them to um i don't know a ball or a, or a prom or any of those things i just love them i think they're absolutely gorgeous i hope you don't miss out or me or me <laughs> oh Nikki, are you ready? Because we are about to auction, open the auction, the brand new launch of the Mickey Moto inspired earrings. Love, absolutely love. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, if you, if like me, straight away, oh, they, we're we're bombarded, completely bombarded with these. So beautiful. It's the elegance, the simplicity in that elegance as well, jewellery makers. 
Um, the silver is coming up. You can't get hold of those as of yet. If you're about the yellow gold like myself, then again, make sure you are quick checking out your baskets. I've got the spinny wheel of doom right now saying buffer, buffer, buffer. I love them. I think they're absolutely beautiful. It's simplistic. The baskets have gone completely crazy. 101 of you have got it, of us have got it in your baskets. Jewelry makers, they are breathtaking. And again, there's a big investment of the sterling silver within these two. Oh, multi buyers getting involved, absolutely amazing. I'm still buffering. That's really annoying. I forget that I'm actually in if what is effectively a, a tin can <laughs> building. Um, oh, processing your request. Oh. We do have Wi-Fi, yeah, that's true. We do have Wi-Fi. Little celebration for me then. <laughs> I had that uh, confirmation. They're amazing jewelry makers, aren't they? And again, 1,700 for the 18 karat version, 18 karat gold version with your Akoya pearls at Mickey Moto, mm. or you can get it at a jewelry maker deal. And I can guarantee these are coming to your way, uh, coming your way at a beautiful, affordable price tag. Let's also not be, not forget, let's be mindful of the fact that these are, um, pearls are still, whether it's singly or on a strand, very difficult to access and they're put, uh, to purchase at the moment. Um, again, they're not being exported. Freshwater pearls. We had our pearl buyer join, who joined, joined me on air last week, Georgia, who said, I'm most likely moving forward you're going to see more Edison pearls than you are actually going to see um, then you're going to see the fresh water which is fine but they're more expensive they are more expensive 99 pounds and 99 pence not 1750 99 pounds and 99 pence I love them I've been wearing them all day you I'm almost tempted to go for a hair up with earrings like this oh yeah that looks gorgeous because it shows them off, doesn't it? Yeah, it's incredibly classy as well. It just looks so elegant. A little bit of Jackie O in those, I think. Yeah, definitely. Can I also give you a little bit of inside information? We are going to be bringing you a necklace version, but get the oh. earrings now. I don't know if I should have shared that information, Roscoe, should I? Do you know what? I know they're Mickey Moto as well, but they are very Monica Veneda too. Yeah. You know, they're very, very similar to the sort of paperclip style, but with a bit more of a geometric edge. But well, I think nice, both so. the Mickey Moto and Monica Veneda, they're definitely more than forty nine ninety nine, oh, aren't they? Absolutely. And you know what? You know, they sell. They sell like hot cakes. Yeah. Because they're so elegant. They're, they're just a go with everything pair of earrings, aren't they? Ross sent me a photograph of these last night. Didn't you, Ross? You WhatsApp me, it was like, oh, I've, oh, Elle, we've got these in tomorrow's mm. show. I can't remember what my reply was, Ross, but it was along the lines of, ooh, yeah. lush, or something like that. Something very, very Welsh, yeah. I'm sure. I'd have put you with these earrings 100%. Would you? Yeah, definitely. Um, I just love the simplicity of them. I think they're absolutely beautiful. It's one single pearl, yeah. just simple lines, um, an investment of your precious metal. By the way, this is not where we're closing. Not where we're closing. Um, there are 55 now available, brand new. I've got mine. We're not alone. Lots of you are getting involved, everyone. The brand new launch, the Mickey Moto inspired M code earrings. $29.99. Oh, I'm, I wish I got took more than one now. Well, I didn't buy any more than one because I, was, I saw how busy it was on yeah. the phone line. So I was like, no, just get the one. Don't be greedy, Al. Don't be greedy. Because I, I would like to gift them. I know lots of people that would absolutely love this kind of look. But I was like, no, just get the one, Al. <laughs> Be good. <laughs> I'm not gifting them though. These are going to be mine. 100% mine. Just saying, just saying that, putting it out there, just in case any of my nearest and dearest are watching. You're not getting these. These are all. These are mine. I love them. It's not our price. We have another price crash, and by the way, we do have the silver to bring you as well. 25 left. Wiltshire's bought two, Suzanne's bought two, Angela's bought three, Manchester's bought two, Marion's bought two, Nancy's bought two, Cheshire, Pamela, uh, Angela, Warwickshire, Catherine, Carol, Cambridgeshire, Julie, hello to you, Eleanor in Worcestershire, I don't know who she is, uh, Angela in Surrey, multi-buying. I agree, I totally agree, Ross is just saying, I think these are some of the most uh, um, 
most high-end series that we've Definitely ever brought. Definitely high-end. I agree. Yeah. Do you know what I would love to do as well? I don't know if our, call, if our team are, uh, are upstairs. Are they upstairs today? Roscoe. They're not today. You know the Tiffany's one that I reference? You know the one that was on that statement PowerPoint that has the kind of like a like a U-bend interlocking links. We need to do a version of that. That's a terrible description, love, isn't it? I know. A U-bend. The Tiffany U-bend earrings. <laughs> I'll show you in a minute. I'll show you in a minute. But oh, are you ready? Wow. I agree, Ross. I do think these are some of the nicest earrings that we've ever done. That's £25. Pounds. When you think about how much on the high street, not even Mikimoto, if you just went into a high street jeweller to buy that pair of earrings. Yeah. Look at that luster. They're, they're incredible. It's not a small amount of silver yeah. in there. And it's gold plated silver. And, and you've got a genuine pearl. They're gorgeous pearls. And as jewelry makers, you could easily embellish these if you wanted yeah, to. But why I, would I, you? I, I, wouldn't. I wouldn't. I think they're perfect as they yeah. are. Absolutely perfect. I am kicking myself for only getting one now. They're stunning. They are so luxurious. Um, I, we, we're just trying to remember. I don't think we've actually brought a paper clip teamed with a gemstone before. I think this is the first no. time. And they're not your usual paperclip because paperclip can often be quite thin. The metal, yeah. you know, is, is, is very slim in profile. Yeah, yeah that's why I keep substantial. kind of rocking it forward so you can actually see the gram weight of yeah. the precious metal as well. You can. Love these. Absolutely love them. There's only 10 of them left. £24.99 only again high end jewellery high end at affordable really let's say it costume jewellery prices Sharon in Hampshire, you got yours Carol in Durham Catherine in Bristol getting two hello to you Tilly in East Sussex you're going to love these uh, Cumbria well done lots and lots and lots of you multi buying I'm not surprised they are absolutely beautiful um, there's just five of them left so I'll leave those with you absolutely ridiculous yeah, I've been wearing them all morning. Loving Gorgeous. those. Absolutely loving those. Now, oh, these are going to fly. Are you ready? Yeah. You need to be. I am. Here I am. Do you know, they're so solid Sorry. as well. Can I just show you the side profile? The quality of these. They are quality. Fabulous. Are you ready for the silver? Oh. Right, I'm on. They're so gorgeous. They're so gorgeous. We've got a bigger quantity, did you say, Ross? 110 available opportunities on these. Uh, it's all down to personal preference, isn't it? If you're a yellow gold wearer or if you're a silver wearer. Um, again, Mickey Moto inspiration. At 1,750. We have 110, sorry, available opportunities, but they're absolutely flying out the door already. Um, I'm hoping, Nikki, you are speedy, 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 I'm checking tired, out your tired. basket. Um, because they will be an on-screen sellout, absolutely for sure. No doubt about that whatsoever. You have a big investment of your sterling silver. You have genuine, um, genuine cultured pearls, simplistic in its design. However, not the high price tag that we would expect from those luxury jewellery brands. $99.99. We're just literally tiptoeing our way down to your closing price. You know we're not stopping there. You know that. Phone lines are going crazy. Are you on there, Nikki? I hope so. Uh, yes, yeah, I, I am. can see Yay. you. <laughs> Nikki at Merseyside. Half the stock is gone. More than half is gone. Everybody's paying that final low. Two and a half grams of sterling silver. Genuine freshwater cultured pearls. All. Wow. Do you know what? I can't make them for that price. No! I can't make them anyway because, well, I could make them, but they'd be really, really fiddly because they've got lovely smooth edges. You know, you'd be ages filing and messing around with those. Nah. You're right. That's incredible. I'm on my phone. I've got them. I was a bit slow on this one, wasn't I? I was a bit slow. 
we've got 110 of them available i just think look i, I know there's going to be yeah. people within my nearest and dearest who will love that design. does that not tell must tell people if you and i are sitting here buying them ourselves it has to tell you mm. that you know look I, by the way <laughs> i would say it's a no-no to shop on air sometimes you just have it's to. frowned upon it is frowned upon yeah. I, 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 we're just I, we're really supporting jewelry makers. It's though, worse. Really, I, it's we? worse. Yeah. It. I'm, I don't. I, I'll, I'll be told off. That's fine. Yeah. There you go. I'm I'll be told off. They're so we're beautiful. Together. We're in it together. <laughs> it's frowned upon. Even Adam's like, "What are you doing? What are you doing? Buying some earrings. I buy some beautiful earrings, and they are absolutely beautiful. Oh, I love it's them." Fabulous. I mean, do, do they seriously look like they're honestly, 20 pounds? Honestly. Do you know what? They'd be a lovely present for a 21st birthday. Yeah. They're gorgeous. Definitely. Yeah. Graduation. Graduation, perfect. Prom. Oh, yeah. It'd be lovely for prom or a wedding, the wedding for the modern the very, contemporary very bride. very bridal, I think. Yeah. yeah. Bridesmaids. Oh, can I just set, throw this one out there? You know, drinks, yeah. office. Everything, they're appropriate for everything. Do you know what everything. I'm going to say as well, and I'm going to go really off the wall here, but I think these days, a bloke with a bit of style. Yes. One of them. Totally. Yeah, they'd rock it. 100%. Absolutely kill it. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. And I love the fact that you're seeing, you know, chaps wearing Definitely. pearls, yeah, beautiful pearls jewelry. Pearls are huge for guys yeah, at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. You know, he... £19.99 only. Can you believe that? They're absolutely stunning, aren't they, jewelry makers? Fabulous. Love the simplicity. Absolutely adore the elegance. You've got a big amount of sterling silver. Um, and without that investment of sterling silver, the two and a half grams, then you wouldn't have that wonderful mirror-like luster. Right. You wouldn't be getting that almost liquid like you yeah. see light return across the surface of them so comfortable to wear jewelry makers um but again all <laughs> inspired name. all inspired by uh, mickey moto now from the 110 that we have do you want to know how many we got left 22 amazing deal an absolutely amazing 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 deal oh, i love them they're beautiful. I love them. I agree, Roscoe. He yeah. says they're the nicest earrings we've ever done. I agree. I do agree, actually. Can I just show you the necklace that I was talking about, uh, or the earrings that I was talking about? Earrings, bracelet. What do you What do you think, jewelry makers? Because if you agree, if I got 40 seconds, typical, I'd put this. Um, Tiffany Gold Link. It's on my... See if I can find the images of it. Um, if not, I'll show it the other side of the break. But I definitely think we should... Here we go. I definitely think we should be doing this version. They do them in earrings as well. Earrings, necklace, bracelet. I love that. Oh, yeah. By the way, they're thousands of pounds. Thousands and thousands of pounds. Do you reckon we should be doing these, Ross? Yeah. They're cool, aren't they? They're like stirrups. Yeah, I love them. They're like stirrups. I love that. Well, if you love it, text in and I'll message to the team. Um, we've got one more special auction, have we, Roscoe? Okay, another pair of earrings that you've just found, right? Okay. There's 160 available opportunities. Okay. Okay. Right. What pair of earrings? What am I doing, Russ? No. Paperclip earrings. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh. Look at those. They're so pretty. This is spontaneous. So what's the story, Ross, of we've just landed and we shouldn't be paying them, but you're going to anyway? Yeah? Yeah. He says, yes, that is the case. They are literally brand new, just landed. Were they meant to be in today's show? No, we're going to do it anyway on the back of that last auction. 
<laughs> Floor manager Lauren has literally just gone to the vault to get these. Amazing. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you, my darling. You can see the investment of the sterling silver. Oh, they're beautiful. You could attach to these. Do you know what? I'm just looking at them. Do you know that Amazonite? Mm -hmm. One of those. One of them at the bottom. There. Unbelievable. Ooh. They would be unreal. Because you've got kind of like a chunkier chain yeah. in these as well, haven't you? Yeah. I mean, Are you that's... happy at 19.99? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Big investment of sterling silver once again. How about... Instead of nineteen ninety nine, they are solid nine two five, not base metal. How about fourteen ninety nine? Um, look at that. Again, really simple, 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 timeless yep. jewelry that you could wear forever and a day. Definitely. And do you know what I would do? I would make, I would put clip on charms to them so you can yeah. change them up. Oh, a bit Different like our multi collection yes. on our sister channel. Exactly. Um, yeah, I'm more than happy at fourteen ninety nine. Yeah. How about this then? Solid 925 sterling silver. Beautiful link design. 1299. Fabulous. These are a bit, I'm getting Italian vibes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. See where I'm coming from? Yeah. I, can, I can almost imagine like a nice espresso coffee, some loafers, a pair of jeans and a yeah. white and a white jacket. I'm getting definite Italian yeah, sheet vibes. On. Big shade. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Definitely. Not one, shades. Sorry, shades. Yeah, sat outside yeah. the Colosseum or something. They're brilliant. Those earrings. kind of vibes. They're great earrings, though, because you literally could wear them in the daytime, have a little clip on like gemstone for the evening. Yeah, on and off the ball. Done. Love it. Twelve ninety nine. They are brand new. Do you see where I'm coming from? Definitely a bit, a bit Italian chic. Yeah. A bit Roberto coin. Yeah. Or you could add a little mixed metal, put a, like a little gold loop on the bottom of them. They're gorgeous. Amazing. You're getting the style of Rome. Yeah. But the price of Redditch. Yeah. I love that. Not, I love that. I love that. Yeah. Awesome. Redditch inspired. <laughs> Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence only. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Loving the investment of sterling silver. Um, 0800 644 You know what to do. Is there quantity, Ross? 160 available, but there's a lot of twos and threes I can see being snapped up as well. We've got the most amazing masterclass coming your way, of course. I'm um, all about the incredible bezel strip, so exciting. I'm very excited about that, jewelry makers. And any questions that you have, and um, for our lovely Nikki, do text yeah, in. Do. Make sure you uh, check out your baskets. You've got your wall of fame to bring you as Ooh. well, so there's lots still to squeeze in between now and the top of the show. Yeah, it is all go, Adam. It oh, is. it's all go. You sound like a mum now. Um, <laughs> amazing make sure you're checking out your baskets and do not go anywhere i'm going to make my way over to our lovely nikki for oodles and oodles of talent and inspiration whoop, whoop. hi jewelry makers monica here just quickly wanted to tell you about what's coming up on the show on wednesday um, in the project hours, we've got some fabulous seed beading projects in both hours. In the nine o'clock project hour, we've got some watermelon solar quartz with some hex cut seed beads. So this is the necklace that I've made for my project instructions, which I will show you also on the show how to make. Um, it's beautiful, that watermelon quartz, isn't it? Um, and then uh, the two colors of the hex, cuts, hex cut uh, seed beads as well. And then in the 12 o'clock project hour, we, we'll be um, showing you some projects for making a necklace that was inspired by a Jubilee necklace. Uh, so the necklace I'm wearing is the one I'm going to show you how to make. Well, I'm going to show you how to make one of the components because it's a repetitive uh, necklace, as you can see. Uh, and then these are mega mega kits. There are seed beads in there, there are rivulets in there, there are pearls, both shell pearls and freshwater pearls as well. So you have that choice. Uh, we've got it in three different colorways. Uh, you've also got some crystals in there. So fabulous, fabulous projects uh, in the 12 o'clock hour as well. Hope you can all join us on the 13th from eight o'clock in the morning. See you then. I get to bring uh, to all of you the Jadeite Zodiac box. 
Now this, I'm gonna be honest, is a passion project for me. This is something that is quite selfish. You know, I put this together because I wanna own it. Um, many years ago when I started dealing in Jadeite, I noticed that all my friends who were Jadeite dealers and multi-generational Jadeite dealers all had a Zodiac collection. You know, all of the 12 iterations of the Zodiac carved into Jade. And I thought, oh, okay, that's the badge of honor for a Jade collector. And it is. So I began, uh, every time I went to the Far East, I'd buy a piece, you know, whether it be the carved monkey or maybe the ox or the rat. And I, would, I had about three or four. And then my friend Bernard, who's been in the industry for about 30 years, turned to me and said, throw them away. You know, sell them back into the industry because what you're not building is a collection. And he explained to me the reality of building a Zodiac collection is like getting a, a royal flush in poker. You need them all to be the same suit. What he means by that is, all the jade needs to match. The style needs to match, the size needs to match. There's no point just having a mixed assortment. Even if you get all 12, the collection is undesirable, it's deemed incomplete. And that's why a true Zodiac collection, you know, for, for the right colors, for the right size, usually takes a few generations to complete. In fact, it's something that's usually passed down from father to son. Maybe the father collected three, the son then takes uh, the torch and continues, and maybe then even passes it down to his son. We've worked tirelessly to put together a complete collector series, and this might be the first time in the UK that one becomes available in one foul swoop, and more importantly, affordably. Hello everyone, it's Mark here from a very, very wet Whitney. I'm here to tell you all about my next show, which is this Friday, the 15th of March. And not only am I going to be joining the wonderful Eleanor and the amazing crew, we've got a special guest. Lovely Ollie is going to be in the producer hot seat and he's got a bit of a reputation behind the scenes for going above and beyond with his prices and deals. So I'm really excited to see what he's got in store for us. So nine o'clock, I've been given a gemstone that I, I don't get to work with very often. And that's the amazing garnet. We've got beautiful, beautiful kits with Jasper. So we're going to show you bracelets, even little rings, look, and necklaces, we've got all sorts. And the piece that I'm going to be showing you that comes with the complimentary booklet is this beautiful spiral garnet necklace. So that's the nine o'clock hour. 10 o'clock hour, very special deal of the day, we've got carvings of all the zodiac signs in a beautiful box set. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that. And then at 12 o'clock, in the masterclass hour. What can I say? We've got incredible natural blue and multicolor tiger's eye. Part one, part two. You know I'm a massive fan of our gates. We have got brand new, I've never seen these before, ocean agate in these beautiful rust and browns and these beautiful blue and yellow. They all come with CBs, including gunmetal, which we've not seen for such a long time. Absolutely incredible. I can't wait to share these with you. So that's this Friday, eight o'clock. Join myself, Eleanor, Ollie, and the rest of the crew for what is going to be a truly spectacular show. Amazing. Sorry, I've just learned that Chris's middle name's Charles. It is, mate. It is. It is. It is. Do you know, if Tiggy was, um, if Tiggy was a boy, we contemplated cause, uh, calling Tiggy Parker. Oh. If she was a boy, Parker. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I was like, I like that name, Parker. Yeah, it's nice. I like there you go. Have you got a middle name? I do. Alexis. Alexis! I know, yeah, a bit fancy. That is a bit it's fancy. A bit fancy for a girl from Liverpool. Yeah, <laughs> loving that. My mum and dad went for the, for the old classic Louise, you know. Like a bit Apparently of, yeah. it's the most common middle yeah. name for a girl. Yeah. You know, Roscoe, what's yours? Boy, <laughs> Ross boy. boy. <laughs> Greg. Ross, uh, Ross Greg. Greg. That's a <laughs> you had two names I shouldn't go together. <laughs> Lauren laughing. <laughs> Lauren is hysterical at that. 
Ross Gray. You don't strike me as a great girl, to be honest. Um, okay, Adam. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Linley? What does that mean? Spell. <laughs> Oh, that's Adam. quite posh, oh, isn't it? So how do you spell that? that? L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L I N L Paige. Paige. Oh, I like that. Paige. Yeah. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. One of Willow's best friends is called Paige. Yeah, I like that. Do you know, um, my, um, do you know my, my best friend, her middle name, and I've always thought such a beautiful name, um, she's Gwendolyn. Oh, Gwendolyn's nice. That's it's like lovely, isn't it? Name, isn't it? Yeah. Is it Welsh? I don't know. It feels like it is. Maybe. Yeah, because yeah, actually Gavin and Stacey, she's Gwen. Yeah, yeah, isn't yeah. Isn't she? Yeah. Right, Gwen? What's Nice, Stace, you want an omelette? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, enough of all that. Sorry. I'm sorry. Wall of Fame. Do you want to start us off? Yeah, why not? Loving this. Oh, well, this is giving me Debbie Kershaw vibes. Definitely. All over. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Beautiful universe bracelet. So this is number 960, Sandra Krauser. Hi, oh. all at JM. My entry this week is from a kit I've had for a while. You've just had a newer version of this last week with Debbie Kershaw, which reminded me to enter my design. It's a set of gemstones resembling all the planets, which was perfect for me, as my other passion is astronomy. So, ah. I had to put them all in order as they're all in the sky. I made this bracelet for a friend in America who loved it. Good luck to all fellow woofers. Ah, lovely that. Fabulous, Sandra. Lovely Love that. Sandra, that's beautiful. Again, lovely piece and also amazing photography here from uh, Sue Gauntlet. Hello, Sue, who says, Hi, all at Jewelry Ooh. Maker. Please find attached this entry, uh, this week's entry to the Wall of Fame. I can't remember the name of the stone, but it's so beautiful. Good luck to all my fellow woofers. And thank you for all the amazing products and inspiration. That oh, is Mariam Jasper. Mariam Jasper. Mariam Jasper. Yeah, really distinctive. Is it also, do you call it elephant skin Jasper as well? Turritella. Yeah. Sometimes referred to as Turritella Jasper, but it's Mariam. Gorgeous. It's the most frequent word, Love but that. it's lovely, isn't it? Or the calligraphy stone, they call it that That's too. It, yes. Calligraphy stone. Okay, I love this. Oh, very so, nice. Number 962 is Karen Forbes. Hi, Karen. Please find entry to this week's Wall of Fame, Amethyst and Ruby Zoocyte. Both stretchy bracelets have lava rock in them, all components from JM. Nice to be back crafting. Good luck to one and all. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Karen. Aww, That's gorgeous. Beautiful. I love them as well. Love Loving stretching. that, Karen. I've got a very, uh, very lovely ring from Deb Davis saying, uh, here with this week's offering for the Wall of Fame, a carnelian gemstone um, set in sterling silver. All components are from Jewelry Maker. Good luck, Waffers. Yay. Good luck to you, Debs. That's amazing. You're number 963. Oh, very sweet. I know who this one is before I even pick it up because I've already seen it. Norma. Norma Cowie, our lovely Norma, 964. Hi all, can I please enter a wee tree to Wall of Fame this week? I made it as a gift for aunt and uncle as a 50th golden wedding anniversary gift. It's in the shape of a heart and has rose quartz nuggets on a rose quartz base. It was very well received, I'm pleased oh. to say. As always, good luck to all in the drawer and big thank you to all at JM. Oh, thanks, Norma. Oh, Norma, I'm loving the it's heart beautiful. of the trunks as I well. Know. That's so pretty. She showed it in the jewelry, in the Share Your Makes page. Yeah, I'm loving that, Norma. Um, I think this might be the same Ooh. stone. Oh, I might be wrong. Um, Ali Perry. Hello to you, Ali. These are beautiful. 965. And Ali says, good morning, all at Jewelry Maker. I'm getting ready for um, the arm party this year. Oh, I love an arm party. My first set is beautiful rose quartz. There you go. Yeah. And Opalite from Jewelry Maker, plus a few beads from Moustache. Um, I'm off now to play with the Amazonite. I love a stretchy bracelet. Good luck to us all. Oh, Ali, that's beautiful. Love Loving those that. Those spaces too are gorgeous, aren't Very they? Very nice. You're 965. Good luck. Okay. Oh, wow. 966, Jane Pringle. Hiya, Jane. 
Hi there, this was my entry for the Wall of Fame as I was too late for Alison's birthday last week. Everything from JM and I just love watching your show. I spend all my pocket money with you, so a wee win would be fantastic. Loving Gorgeous those, James. amazing. I have number 967, which is from, which is Anne Clark. Hello to Anne, this is beautiful. And Anne says, hello, here is a necklace from a tutorial by uh, Natalie Patton. I have used oh. four, six, eight millimeter um, black agates and a magnetic clasp, all purchased from Jewelry Maker. It was really easy to make and very fluid to wear. Hope you like it. Good luck to all and hope you're all keeping well. Um, lots of love to you, Anne. That's beautiful. You're number 967. Fabulous. Oh, oh, look at this one. Beautiful necklace and a lovely pussy cat there. So we've got 968, Barry Harvey. Hi all, here's my entry to the Wall of Fame this week. The necklace is a string of zebra jasper beads with a carved zebra head pendant. See what I did there? The beads are, I didn't say that, that Barry said that. The beads uh -uh. are separated by howlite tubes and the howlite slabs break the uniformity of the necklace. It was set for Mother's Day present for my wife from our cat Tilly. And here she is proudly showing off all her work, love and magic to all at JM and all my fellow woffers. Oh, Barry, that's gorgeous. Barry, love Tilly's that. adorable as well. Tilly Look at gorgeous. her. She looks really dinky. She does. Beautiful. Oh, love it, love it. Love boop. That. Sorry. Boop. If you've got noses, you want to boop. They don't like it though, do they? Do they? Cats. Cats. No. <laughs> Look at you with hatred. Yeah. Yeah. Get off my I nose. Um, last but by no means least, lovely piece of jewellery from uh, Myra Eccleston. Myra, this is stunning. Nine hundred and sixty-nine. Good morning. This is only my second entry oh. to the Wall of Fame. I've been watching Jewellery Maker from the very beginning. Um, this is one I made some while ago. It was going to be an early, going to be early rings, but turned into a pendant instead. It's black spinel and head pins. Love watching, and I'm always entertained. Oh, Bless you, Myra. Gorgeous, That's Myra. amazing. Love Loving that. that. Well, I imagine it's quite a very tactile piece of yeah. jewellery. That keep your entries coming in, and of course the drawers tomorrow. So make sure you Ooh, tuned yeah. in for that as well. Um, and good luck, everybody. Good luck. Right, we're going to dive straight into your masterclass. Let me just quickly show you, um, because there's, what, three different types. You've got the gallery wire, you've got the soldering parts, you've got another different version of a gallery wire, and then you've it's got more soldering. Look, you can see. Honeycomb with bumblebees, like a fire. Amazing, right. on its own. And then you've got flowers with your hummingbirds. They're so pretty. Right, shop ahead on these, because heads up, they go into a super affordable price tag. Now, and also you get your instructions as well. They're all available on pre-order right now. Now, Nikki, talk us through your pieces of jewellery. Wow. Honestly, well, I have been working with this bezel strip for a couple of years now. And I, it was one of the first things that I, I asked for because I adore it. It is, if you don't already know it, it's so sought after in this country because it actually comes from America. Mm. There's a particular designer who does it in America. Okay. And it's very hard to get here and it's also very expensive if you can get it. Okay. Well, I guess if you're sending it from America, you've got to pay import. Yep. All your customs. Tax and customs. And, you know, and, astonishing and, and then, you know, in recent years, it's become more and more expensive to get things from America. Yeah. So it's bezel wire, it's gallery wire, but it's not gallery wire as you know it because you probably won't even use it in the same way that you would do with a gallery wire. A gallery wire, typically, you would wrap around a gemstone <gasps> and you use it to set it. But, which I've done here, this is the only piece where I've used it in that sense, but I'm going to talk you through this piece. I'm not actually going to make it with you because I'm going to assume for this that you know how to solder. Now, if you don't know how to solder, there's loads and loads of tutorials or as I said, you can always give, give me a message and I'll talk you through the process. But it's very, very straightforward. I have put the sort of level as advanced, but that's only because there's quite a few different steps involved in using this. You don't have to have advanced skills, okay? Mm -hmm. So you can do it if you're a beginner, don't worry about it. It is a silversmithing project here, but the gallery wire could be used. I mean, I've looked at it and I've looked, I thought, who else could use it? it could be used by a wire worker so well because there's so many contact points in it, in each of the different ones. So wire working would work brilliantly with it. Potentially you could use it in your bead, in the honeycomb one you definitely could. 
Okay, so it's Can not I just say those, those those flames would be great if you you do like sort of your dragon inspirations and things like Definitely. that. Definitely, and I also had an idea with the flame, which I'm going to make is to use uh, to make a little seahorse and use it along the back. Of the ah, seahorse. lovely. So, I'm going to talk you through the honeycomb pendant. It'll give you a little idea of how the bezel wire works and how you can use it and the best ways to use it. But I'm also going to give you a couple of tips about the other ones as well because there's one or two little techniques that's worth knowing, okay? Okay. So, if we start off with the honeycomb pendant, and I can't see where I am, I'm here, aren't I? Can I yeah. pinch this for a moment? Sure. Let me see. Right, okay. So, the first thing with the wire, what you want to do, if you make, because we're going to make a bezel around a gemstone here. So what you need to do, and I had to kind of think of this as if you don't have all of the tools that I have, because I have quite a lot of different tools and they're all very specialized. So I had to put myself back and say, okay, Nikki, imagine you didn't have any of them. Okay, so that's where we're coming from. So we're gonna start with this bezel wire and this is the honeycomb bezel. Now I'm gonna stretch it out so you can see it here. It's so pretty. Yeah, it's fine silver. Now fine silver means it's not sterling, it's actually got more, so it's 9.99, 9 sterling's 925. Now in sterling silver, you've got a copper element in it that makes it more durable. Fine silver, because it doesn't have that copper element in it or base metal element, what it means is it's much more softer and easier to sort of move about and to manipulate. So you're not going to have any difficulty manipulating it. So the first thing I would say to you is when you're going to form your bezel shape with this, is to start your round with it. So you could use anything like a pair of baling pliers, any kind of mandrel. I used a mandrel for it. I've got one here. But as you can see, you could use a pen. You could literally use anything that you liked as long as it's got this round shape to start you off, okay? So we're going to go round, okay? And then you'll find your gemstone and you'll sort of measure it roughly to your gemstone because the most important thing on these bezel wires is the pattern. So what you're looking to do is get the pattern to match. So you put your gemstone inside. Now, what you're looking for is see where your pattern matches on the outside. Let me see if I can show you. And then you'll just mark it, okay? So let's see, if you get your pattern to overlap, make, if, if you've got a gemstone there, you want your gemstone to be snug. Because what we're gonna do is we can sort of open it out, the shape a little bit with a hammer, if that makes sense. Mm. If you don't get your pattern matching, you're gonna end up in all kinds of trouble when you're trying to solder it on. So make it slightly smaller than your gemstone if needs be, but make sure that your pattern matches, that's the important thing. So you're gonna mark on your bezel where you want to cut it, okay? And then you're also going to need to mark on the top of your bezel as well, because this gem this bezel is gonna stand proud of your gemstone. So we'll turn it back on the side again so you can see it on the camera. So your gemstone is more than likely gonna to come to around here. So mark on your bezel again where you want to cut it. Now, there's different ways of doing it. If you look at my honeycomb pendant, what I've done is I've taken, if I can bring the pendant over here, it's probably easier for you, isn't it? Let's get that on shot, okay. So you can see where I've taken the bezel right up over that citrine. You don't have to take it as high as that, but I think it's really nice because you want to see as much of it as you can. Yeah. You, you do. So what you would do then is you need to trim the top of your bezel. Now to do that, all I used was a little pair of nail scissors, okay? You don't need anything more than that because it's quite delicate, okay? So all you do is you would I actually unfurled it again and just went through the bezel. Actually, I'll use this piece here because I won't break that piece yet. Just went along the bezel, just trimming, okay? Just trimming there and trimming there, trimming there and trimming there until I got the honeycomb shape, mm -hmm. okay? Right, then pop it back on your mandrel. Take it around. And what you're going to do is get it to meet and then you're just going to solder it closed. And it's very, very simple. Now what I would say with this wire, when you're soldering it closed, I used solder paste. You can use solder chips. 
you're not going to need a massive flame on that okay so if i'm just going to turn on my torch and show you without soldering it what kind of flame you're looking for you're going to need to move your flame quite a lot yeah because it is fine silver and it's delicate otherwise you're going to frazzle it okay yeah so if i show you you can see here see that the point of that blue that's where the cone of your flame starts you're going to look to be about a centimetre further along than that. And that's as far as I would get that flame to that bezel, okay? So I wouldn't move my flame any further than there. Okay. okay? Right. When you've finished with that, you're going to have your bezel soldered and you're going to pop it onto your gemstone and see if it fits. Now, at this point it will probably be a bit snug but it doesn't matter because you've got the pattern matching and that would go the same for the flower wire and for the flame bezel so what you would do is pop it back onto your mandrel or your pen or whatever you've got and you'd give it a bash okay a gentle bash now if you've got a rawhide hammer that's perfect but again i was thinking okay what if i didn't have this at home what if i didn't have this rawhide hammer so i thought you basically could use anything you could take the end of a normal hammer and just cover it up with a kitchen uh, paper towel or a bit of um, tea towel or something just to soften it so you're not hitting it or you could just hit it directly with wood uh -huh. okay just as long as it doesn't mark it and when you do that what it does is it makes it bigger but you've got that matching pattern okay so you'll just keep tapping it round, tapping it round until it fits the gemstone. Now, what I did on the citrine pendant, and I'll show you again, is I actually put some of the bezel underneath it as well. So you can see through the gemstone, the honeycomb shape. Ah, beautiful. That's yeah, a lovely so idea. so cool. And all you do is you literally can just... We, can we, Adam's saying, can you put that on the bus so we can actually get a close-up yeah, sure. of that? Let's show you. Here we go. I'm going to tilt it towards Chris. There you go. That's it. Ah, amazing. See if I can tilt it another way for you. There That's we it. Ah, beautiful. Yeah. So you can actually see the honeycomb through the gemstones. Yeah, I thought we. Were, yeah, I thought it was actually uh, um, rose cut, yeah. but it's it's, it's it's got a bit of fasten on it. It's even be even better if you had an absolutely clear gemstone. Yeah, it would be perfect. amazing. And um, Michelle, say no, MG Nikki. That bee pendant is is the uh, best I've seen. Oh, stunning. Thank you, Michelle. It's so easy to make. So all I did was I used a disc of st uh, silver underneath, about four millimeter. Doesn't need to be any thicker than that. Now the radiating lines that come from it, I actually pinched because I was really lucky enough to get Rachel's kit um, ah, a couple of weeks ago. Yes. But if you don't have that, you could use the end of a ball pain hammer mm -hmm. that would make lines around your piece of metal. Or you could use um, a burr, which I had before, but a burr is just um, a drill bit. Yeah. And just pop a drill bit in. You can literally draw onto your metal the radiating lines. You know, they're really organic and swirly, so you know, you don't have to be extra precise with them. So the other thing I wanted to talk to you about was the bee. Right. So when just you, before you do, on. let's get the graphics live oh, for this because they're flying on pre order. So uh, I'm gonna tell fun. you these are ridiculously expensive. Uh, they uh, really are. What elsewhere? Oh yeah. Expensive elsewhere. So we well, yeah, it's very, very hard to get in the UK. Well, wait until you see this amazing price point, Jory Makers. You get Nikki's instructions as well with this honeycomb pendant. How many have we got, sorry, Ross? Hundred available and you were saying Normally we bring the most popular first. Every single one of them is flown on pre order. Um everyone has bought also across each one. Um, yeah. Okay, okay, we can do that. Yeah, we we suspected you couldn't hear. That. I can't hear. <laughs> <laughs> you get three of your little bees. You get what? Um, let me just. I'll measure this in a second. Yeah. Of your fine silver, twenty nine pounds. There's a lot of it as well. There's ten centimeters of it as well. So ten there is centimeters. A lot. There you go. Um, so it's 0 0.5, 8 millimetres in its width and then 10 centimetres in its length. How beautiful is that? And you're obviously not going to use it all in one piece. Well, it depends. It depends what you're I mean, I used gemstones. it in this ring as well, you know. Um, well, phone lines, baskets, gone crazy, Nikki. Not your price, though. 
not your price. Did you hear where these are going no, to? No, I haven't got a clue. And see, at that, I would be buying it now at that because they cost, I'm going to say, three times as much as that. Ah, okay. It's fine silver. Yep. Three of your beautiful little bumblebee accents and you get it all. Yeah. Behave. <laughs> yeah. With the instructions, that's four pound per component. Can I mention something about these little bees yeah. as well? Can I, you pass me one Do for you want a little bee? Because I want to show you something for comparison. So these little bee components that you've got here, I don't know whether you can see it on screen. Yeah. On the overhead. Right, okay. Can you see how thick these are? So normally, if we look at, because I put the other solderable accents just to compare it. So a solderable oh, I accent. Mean. So you want to like a yeah. you almost want a side profile. Exactly. Don't you? A solderable accent is quite slim in profile. These bees, if you could use your tweezers. Can we do again. that? I could use Hell's tweezers and I can just do it side on to show you. Yeah, can we show a side profile? Can you see it there? Can you see how thick that bee is? <laughs> now, it might not it might not mean that much to you until you have to solder that to a piece of metal. Yeah, you gotta be I guess you yeah. can be a little bit more robust with you him. Really you really can. You can give He's him a robust bee. You can give him a good bashing. And the reason <laughs> the reason I know this is because I did it on this copper ring. Yes. <laughs> yes. Now copper and silver, soldering them together, you've got to give that some welly with heat. Are you blushing? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> amazing, amazing. So you've got to give it a welly to get some heat on that. Yeah. Now, I really put a lot of heat onto this mm. and that little bee withstood it. It withstood a good bashing he's from a, me. He is, <laughs> he's a tough bee. He is a tough amazing. bee. Amazing. You get three of them as well, the little bruises. Honestly, they're amazing. And again, <laughs> if you wanted, if you could make a gorgeous little stud earring with one of them as well. Oh, gorgeous. But yeah, they are so brilliant. Honestly, a look, little bit of that bezel just yeah. on there, yeah. little B and a little. I love that with the copper sheet as well. Isn't it looks that amazing nice? with the copper sheet. On a silver ring. It's so and cool. Again, to, you said this to me before we actually came uh, on air. You were saying, like, look, look, the only place I could actually source these previously was from the USA. Yep. And then, of course, you've got to pay postage. Yep. You've got to pay import tax. Yep. And all those things, which yep. means 19.99 ridiculous. is unlikely, isn't it? It is. It is. It's. it's it, honestly, it's ridiculous. You cannot yeah. get it for that price. Let's I also want to tell you about the. Well, I'll, I'll wait until you bring that one. Let's do the floral one. <laughs> the floral one is the one to tell you about. Yeah. Well, this floor. Look at this. Uh, might well be my favourite. It's to gorgeous. Be honest. Can I borrow those? There we are. You can. Those trees is back. So you get three instead of your bees. You've got little hummingbirds. I love hummingbirds. Yes. Yeah. Only about an inch, aren't they? In height, timing birds. So that's it, hold it that way. And then you've got, love this. Yep, so if you look on the, this pendant here, the gold colour pendant, that's here. Uh-huh. Can you see that? Let me see if I move this forward to you. It yeah. Easier. How are we now? Oh, look. That's brass. That's a piece of brass. That's a work of art. That's so beautiful. Did you see what you can do with them? No, they're not bezel strips. They're so much more. You know, you, and, and I've got them here. You can literally cut the individual flowers off. And I had an idea afterwards. Bed. You could, when you're, when you're making a ring, if you're making a ring with prongs on it, or if you're doing a necklace and a cabochon and you're putting prongs on it, I would solder a little flower to each of the prongs. Mm. Beautiful. So you get your ten centimetre strip of your flowers. Yep. In in fine silver, not in nine fine two five. Silver. Yep. Then you get the three of your little hummingbirds that you can see there. There's the thickness. And yeah. they and they are really substantial. They will take a lot of heat. Those little birds. Wow. Um, all of this again. This is nine. Is it nine nine nine? Yep. As impurity. Yeah. It's not. It's beyond nine two five, isn't yeah, it's it? Yeah. I think I've said that right. Yeah. Um. Anyway, twenty nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Fine silver. Yeah. How have we got these then, Roscoe? I'm going to say as well. I have never seen these hummingbirds in this country. Okay. Ever. Okay. 
And you really championed these, didn't oh, you? Oh, absolutely, because I love them. I love working with them. I said, and I know how hard they are to get, which is why I suggested that we try so and get them in. So are these down to you? Yeah. Ah, and these are, you can thank our Nikki for these, well, the core screens is a, is a clear reflection. Oh, incredible. Um, love it, the little tulips. And there's another one, I think, which is a there silver is. one. Is that here? Oh, beautiful. Yes. Oh, no. It looks like tulips and... They're all different, to be honest. There's like three or four different flowers well, yeah, on there. Yeah, and I guess you've got different stages of the tulip being open, I suppose. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. At £29.99, pence. it's the purest of your uh, silk. It's not your closing price, though. You get 10 centimetres of your tulip strip, and then you also get your three hummingbirds as well. Um, 19 99 how amazing. How well, amazing. Well, no, just, no, no import tax, no, no delivery. No. Just one, one just delivery. One. Well, yes, delivery with us. but Nothing like what you're going to pay for Nothing like States. USA delivery. I Go just wanted to show you with the flower mm -hmm. is that if you're going to use, and this is where it comes in with the flower and with the flame. So I'll just pinch probably the flowers if you're going to show them. Yeah. If you're going to use this as an outline, um, like I have done on some of the pendants, there's a very particular way of working with it. Um, trying to show you this way, it's probably better. Because what you want to do is you want to curve your metal around into a shape. Now, because it's fine silver, it will take some manipulation. But the best way I've found to do it, and I have watched some tutorials, and I've actually watched a tutorial from the guy who designed it himself. Uh -huh. And what he does is he has... Um, he has one of these mandrels or just something round and he holds it quite near to himself and against his bench okay so that he's got a firm hold on it and then what he does is he pushes it around the bezel to shape it i'll bring it back into screen for you now it's just that hang on let's get rid of that a second and he pushes it around the bezel okay so oh, it forms okay. a shape so like that yeah okay then when he's got it in say you can do it the whole way around so you've got a complete circle okay when he's got it like that what you'll find is it needs tapping flat with a hammer and then you'll find it's got like a slightly rough edge it's not like a complete circle what you do is you get your dremel and then i know that there are little tools like this at the moment on our uh jewelry maker website Mm. and you just burr out with your dremel to get a nice round circle okay yeah. to get a nice neat shape and that's how you do it as an outline around a cabochon okay amazing so you're almost using it on like a frame as opposed to yeah, actually exactly and to, yeah. to actually support it I exactly suppose. and then if you want to solder it once you've got it around if you want to solder it to a piece of another piece of metal so if you're using silver or copper or brass or whatever metal you use underneath what i would suggest you use is a process we call sweat soldering oh right interesting nice. and what it means <laughs> is i you know lovely i bring all the niceness here what it means is basically sweat soldering is on one of your pieces of metal you'll flux it and you'll add your solder and then you'll heat it up to temperature until the solder actually melts okay or mm. flows then what you'll do is you'll flux both pieces bring them together and then mm. bring it up to temperature and that will solder flat okay so that's the way you Perfect. do it if you want to use it as a frame sweat soldering sweat soldering oh, it's okay. the future there you go and um, we do have one more project to bring you remember all of these do come as well with the honeycomb pendant uh, written tutorial which again you won't you don't receive that physically it uh, um, you can can download it upon dispatch of your order and if you go to your order history so all the w's at jewelrymaker.com if you go to your order history and then download content then you can actually print it there i've got one more to bring you which is flames but can oh. i also just say i know that you're really inspired by nature and the sea yes do you know these would be lovely coral reefs absolutely honestly you can use them so much coral reef would be amazing there's little fishies in there yeah, as well yeah, there is honestly that you'll get it home and there's so much that you can do with it it's you know it's incredible stuff your mermaid yeah ah <sighs> honestly i know they, they're flames but they could be corals couldn't yeah. they and well. our jewelry makers are so imaginative yeah. and so gifted you know they're going to come up with the most incredible ideas yeah this is this is the most famous one is the it one yeah is it yeah 
Um, Fire bezel, it's called. Oh, amazing. Well, it, it's on its own, this one. Yeah. So you get your 10 centimetre strip of your fire bezel. It's very substantial, too. Yeah. It is. Well, you can feel that way, but at the same time, it's nice and soft, yep, so you know definitely. you can manipulate it. Now, um, if it's the most famous... Yes, it is. That explains why we've only got 60 of them. Oh, OK. A bit yeah. more challenging to get hold of, so I would be quick checking out on these. <gasps> I cannot emphasize how expensive these are and how difficult they are to get. Honestly. You can get them all. That's 30 centimeters of your bezel strip. Yeah. And also your um, accents. The bees I would call the them castings. That they're, they're, they're more than accents. They're like castings. That there you go. Really are. Perfect. Six of those. Yeah. For under 55 pounds today. Which is how much I would pay for one strip. Really? Yeah. yeah. You'd expect to pay fifty-five pounds for, for one, one strip, strip of it. Wow! Amazing. Yeah. So you really are getting a fantastic yeah. deal. Thank because you, Nikki. They make or break jewelry. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Well, the, the, yeah. I mean, that there's no. I don't know. Don't say no, there's no way. But if you are an, uh, you know, the like the highest, most talented silversmith like yourself, yeah. Nikki, <laughs> it even it must be difficult to create that honeycomb design. You couldn't, it'd be, you know, you re on a bezel wire, it's it's nigh on impossible. You just couldn't do it. Yeah, you know. there you go. So, so it's these kind of uh, components. Well done, everybody. Again, we only had 60 available opportunities. They are going to sell out. Um, I can br bring you one quick cabochon opportunity. Oh, these are exciting. The gemstone of the day. This is old mine oh. and shows you how different this gemstone can look from different locations as well. This is Amazonite. Oh, I love those. Oh, look at that. Shows you how different oh. gemstones can look from Incredible. different locations. So old mine, basically these would be sourced uh, pr probably 2012. Oh, really? Even before. 2019 these were actually purchased now we um are uh, not sourcing anymore from this location no. due to the current situation um let's hope that things improve improve yeah. uh, and then obviously we can maybe address that then um but these are pre um old mine is what we refer to them as 29 pounds and 99 pence they would be lovely with the flower the they tulip would be gorgeous bezel. With the flower bezel yeah if they come in a uh, case like this, absolutely amazing. We've got um, literally minutes, seconds now left on show. Fourteen ninety nine. Coming up on Friday, I'm going to be joined by the lovely Mark. Very excited because it feels like ages since we've seen Mark on this ship's side. Um, and look what he's got. He, yeah, he oh, sent me a photograph of these those. yesterday. I was like, oh, they're nice. Do you know what they remind me of? The bullseye agates. Yeah. They're very similar. It's ocean agate and nice. you get all that lovely selection of colours. Loving, loving, loving those. Nikki, do you know when you're back? No, I actually don't at the moment. I haven't had your rotors yet. So just I haven't had your rotors yet. Fingers crossed not, not too long because we can't no. wait to see you again. I'll be back in Such next month. Such a talent, isn't Aww, she? Thank, thank you for you joining so me, much. lovely. Always um, gorgeous. We've had a giggle, as we, we always have. do. I'm back with you now on Friday, as I said, with a wonderful Mark. We've got a cracking weekend for you, and I know you've got a super Wednesday uh, planned as well. Make sure you check out your baskets, particularly on lots of the items that we've brought you today, the bezel strips, um, of course, uh, uh, the cotan, everything else. I'll see you on Friday. Have a lovely day.